There's another way to sub on my my button. Um, try exclamation mobile and see what pops up. Go. I'm not sure what pops up when you do exclamation mobile. Sweet old lady gave us rubber. <laughs> I know I had something. Alright, the vine still owes us money as well. From the 22nd, so I'm just gonna like nicely remind him about that too. Why am I always like on the 10th fucking floor, man? Honestly, I haven't looked at it yet. I'm sorry. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, very nice. You got freedom of speech. Trying to eat, man. Why don't you wake up at the house? They don't have a car there. I call penthouse. God, imagine trying to have conversation while I'm trying to eat man. license related thingy thing let's go sign into clock work while i eat and while we wait for bane to be around Maybe we go to sanitation and we give our husband food. He probably has no money for food too. He's always broken starving. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? Good morning. You stole your body, you know that, right? Yeah. Okay. It'll be like that, uh, until further notice. You guys, you guys. Um, where are you? I want to feed you. Yes, please. I got, uh, <laughs> this rental's very expensive. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to feed you. 
Uh, I'm by the yard. I wanna come down? I I just you know what? I was gonna go that automatically. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll be here. Right? You uh, you running sanitation? Uh, uh, when Bane wakes up, yeah, probably for a bit. Um. Yeah. What do you do now? Uh, well, Bane's all around yet, so I'm probably gonna go to City Hall for a bit and just walk in there and just wait for Bane okay. to wake up. Yeah. Um. Oh. You know, if Arthur's around. I met his grandmother. Um, in a very like actual grandmother. Yeah, in a very creepy way. Um, I'll tell you about it in a second. I'll, I'll see you like in thirty seconds. Okay. All right. Bye. Hi. Right, bye. <laughs> he didn't give me a telephone number. I'm at the yard. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Mm -hmm. Hi. Looking good, eh? Mm -hmm, you too. Hydrate? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah, you're not starving on my watch. Four burgers is crazy. Yeah, well, you're gonna eat all of them. Could you uh take care of this for me? You know, just hang on to it for a bit. Yeah, I'll be okay. Thanks. Yeah, I got you. I am so hungry. Yeah, I know. I have no idea. Yeah. So I went to the scrapyard because I just wanted to um, uh, see if the furniture guy moved there. I was just doing stuff and then I was alone in the building and then I just ran into this old granny and I thought it was a ghost and I thought like she was going to stab me. It was really creepy. And then she said she was like Arthur's like grandma. She was looking for him. And um, she said he had gotten like into trouble last night at the sanitation yard and she was looking for him and she was really worried. And... Um, yeah, she doesn't know where he is. She hasn't heard from him in a bit. I know he got shot last night too. Wait, what author? What are you? What are you talking about? Wait, wait, which author? Not, Arthur Maguire? No, no, the other one. G.I. Joe Arthur. I guess that one. Yeah, Arthur Rogers. Winter Soldier Arthur. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Damn, he got shot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he got shot. And he's missing, you said? That's what, that's what his granny says. I didn't see him yesterday, though. I, I saw him with Coke in them. And he would just come out of the hospital, so... I told her that. But yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll check in with Cloak. See what the hell happened. Sounds like another incident, you know? Yeah, maybe. I did talk to Charlie before Storm when he said that, um... The storm was, uh, last storm was quiet, so you couldn't have an issue with any, um, anything happening at the yard Are at all. Being a hoe? It was good, at least. No! Yeah, union members are being targeted, so it's, uh, you shouldn't really have to worry about, about yeah. you guys getting hit. Yeah, but everybody, all the union members are not dressing up as union members, so everybody's at risk either way. Yeah, that is true. Mm-hmm. Arthur, thank you for the 10 months. MSP, thank you for the 100 biddies. Okay. Hey, well, thanks for the food. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll take care of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a big day ahead of you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. You want to do welfare checks, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try not to text me, that way it uh, doesn't like, lead back to you, because I'll yeah, probably end up deleting my contacts or something. You're good. My contacts are all like, encrypted, too, so. Down. Pop sack. Something like that, yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, uh... 
I gotta talk to Teddy. Okay. I'll see you then. Love you. Thanks for the food, eh? I was gonna hug you, but okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Love you. Love you too. Teddy. Hey, yeah, brother, come here. Come here. Uh, oh. hey, you wanna put your truck away or something? Teddy, the Sani King. So many micro like stutters around like South Side. It's crazy. all the houses. Whee! Finish our food while being clocked in. Maybe give out a license or two. I definitely think a lot of the government pay golf carts and that's good because one day I was signed in for like seven or eight hours and I made like 12k which is crazy. Kind of crazy. And then we just chill. Now we eat our food. I was Eve nice to you know yesterday if you never paid the tax. Because in Eve's eyes, you know is you know is <laughs> Her uncle, not her nephew. Learn the family tree. Eve sees all the original. <laughs> Eve sees all the original clean boys as her uncles. Except Ray. Yeah. We don't claim Ray. Sometimes we don't claim Mickey. I have a garlic and cheese pizza.
came in, so I gotta flow. I'm a link to my phone, so I gotta go. If you pay me, you gotta put the phone down. Drop a verse and a record by my phone town. Probably got mayo on it. Shut up. Is JP included in that? You've never met JP. Like, not even once. Keep on dissing my mayo pizza. Come on. Keep on dissing my mayo pizza. Uh, I think uh, DOJ job score also cut. <laughs> I don't think I'm making as much as a clerk. She's like the female Bob Marley. You are my lang. Sky, thank you for the six months. Bob Giants, thank you for the one year. Thank you. I appreciate it. People who don't dip pizza in mayo are the wrong ones, huh? Hold up, hold up. Huh? Alice, Alice, you are you are wrong for that. I did my cross and mayo. What? W. You put mayo on a sandwich, right? And cross is just bread. I mean, not you're you're not wrong. Yeah, you're you're essentially like not wrong. I need to plug in my mouse real quick as well before it like dies mid conversation. I like how everybody is selling racks and stuff now. It's crazy.
I also caught my okay, now you're just like looking for a reaction from chat. I wonder if a um, mining rack can go in an apartment. I doubt it though.
people. I want to go get a coffee real quick and then um um did you still want to talk to me with Marty? We can always just uh start up Sani and talk when he comes around. Uh, didn't you get a new job recently? Mm, wait. Um, give me five. Gotta go get coffee real quick and stand in the elevator, Max's elevator. <laughs> Why do I always forget the dance? 1493? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll be back. Right back, chat. Right back. Gonna get some coffee. Remember to hydrate, stretch, guys.
say you love me, then prove it. She said she fought with the music. I got the shooters, they side with a boost. Said we gonna slide just to do it. You say you love me, then prove it. She said she fought with the music. I got the shooters, they side with a boost. Said we gonna slide just to prove it. Gang, gang, gang. No, I'm a demon. Side up on you, said I'm geeking. Side up on you, said I shoot for no reason. You know that I'm violent like Trevor or Reza. You wanna talk? Guess I'm gonna slide to a feature. Why is who talking on me? I need a hundred bands for a single feature. You know that I'm rich now. I'm gonna slide up on you for your bitch now. And you know that I'm how to be lit now. And I spin up on you with that Smith now. Like, you know that I'm going. I spin up on you, said go long. Huh? I don't give a fuck what you saying. You catching these bullets, you know I'm gonna go far. I'm really the go, really a demon. I gotta pull up on you, said I geek it. I pull up on shorty, she twink for no reason. I know I'm about it, I'm off in your jerky. Why is you talking? You know you can't hurt me. Side up on you and I'll put you in dirt. But you know that I'm flexing, you know what you like. You say you love me, then prove it. She said she fought with the music. I got the shooters, they side with a boost. Said we gonna slide just to do it. You say you love me, then prove it. She said she fought with the music. I got the shooters, they side with a boost. Said we gonna slide just to prove it. Oh. Alright. Got some coffee. <laughs> Alright. Got some coffee. I'm gonna go do Sani soon. Oh, shopping. only be signing at City Hall? <laughs> no. I usually go hunting. I usually go hunting and I uh, stay signed in too. <laughs> I, give, I give licenses at um, City Hall. I mean at the, the hunting lodge too. New clothes track. Does this top come in red? <clears throat> it's not like our red, you know? I wish it was like our red, you know, the sub red. That would have been like perfect. But it's not our red. <laughs> Sad.
Memories on my face, warm feelings I can't replace. There's a lighter when I'm with you. Take me away to somewhere new. Golden beaches, skies of blue. Margaritas to deceive you. I've dreamed of taking my car and driving as fast as I can. I'm driving, thinking about all the new adventures in a Friend I can't replace Seeing stars and getting many Oh, what are these textures? What? Huh? What are these textures? This looks like a mistake of some sort. So it's like the texture from... This is definitely not right. something that ain't right i can't figure out what it is i can't figure out what it is but something ain't right and what the fuck is this This too. Hold on. <laughs> Something is okay. That seems fine. I don't think these were textures previously. This was definitely not. It's not like something is. I feel like something is wrong. Just being there 
Oh, was always the texture. Weird, very, very weird. Oh my god, hold on. I want to be sassy to this guy. You're the bookie. Shouldn't you know? Sassy Saturday coming in hot. Hi. Oh, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm okay. I just wake up. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, hey, I'm not feeling the best. Okay. Need yes. A, you need a hydrate. Yes, I, I have, I have some water and things. Um. What are you up to? Uh, I'm about to meet up with. The hat in the vest is hard, though, man. I'm about to meet up with Bane, and I'm gonna go do some sanitation. He was the one that talked to me last night, but ended up uh, meeting up with uh, Papa Cheesy and talking to him about stuff. And then I also talked to Carlo and Fiona um, with him as well. Oh, okay. How did that go? Um. I think everybody is frustrated. I called, oh, yes. I called B Man yesterday and I asked him, like, when was he gonna, you know, like, tell me about Tessa leaving? And he said, like, and then he said, like, how did I find out? And I told him, like, I found out through somebody who was not in the family. And I asked him, like, why didn't he tell me? And then he said he had to tell Juno first. <gasps> what? <laughs> A gas. Wait, what? Yeah, that's what he told me. What? Yeah. Okay, and did you say I why? I said, I said, shouldn't you have told the family first? Then he told me, but Juno is family. And I said, that's not what I meant. Mm. That's that's not what I meant by t saying he should have told the family first because I'm not equating that Juno is not family. I'm telling him that he should prioritize Juno the over family. family because if that is his oh, sentiment, yes. if that is his his thought, shouldn't he have he then told? About... Shouldn't he yeah. then have talked to me about you before talking to the family? Then, if he's oh, making well, it personal. Okay, either way, that argument does not uh, fit because uh, it is always you know supposed to be about family first, not individual like relationship, right? So, Juno relationship and you relationship sh with me should not matter when I leave. It should be about structure, right? Yes. So, if you are thinking about family first, if you are thinking about people who need to know first, if you are prioritizing family over your relationship, it would be to tell you and Jo. Yes? Yes, and he still did not even do that. He, he walked into the house after he talked to Tessa and he, he still did not do that. Yes, and also, you know, there's there's also the fact that he treated that differently than me leaving. Yeah. Um, yes, so if, if y you're right, you know, if... Uh, I told Bucky and, I was going to come do sanitation with you, he said very original. If that was the case of he needed to gently break it to certain people so they wouldn't get upset, yeah, but he shouldn't have brought that up in the, the meeting that I had left, right? Exactly. Because it was emotional for you. Yeah, potentially. And then, yeah, then, I, then I brought up to him that if, like, if he did that, right? I said, but Tessa's my sister. Right? If he was making that argument too, right? Yes. 
Okay, do you want to know something even worse about that? Okay. Okay, Tessa tells Juno before Vito that she leave. <laughs> so this argument that <laughs> we need to talk to Juno, eh, <laughs> I don't know if that is real. Because Juno already know. That's crazy, what? Obviously, do not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, yes. why would he still need to go talk to her? Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing because he was worried about how she would be handling it. Maybe, maybe he didn't know but that again, Tessa already talked. But it, it it doesn't matter my, at the end of the but day. My argument is still the family comes yes. first before any emotional issue yes. you have with your girlfriend. It is how it should be, especially for the leader. And this is the issue that I had and why I'm not there. The priority only apply for certain people. And yeah. the priority is not clear. If yes. that truly was the priority that family come first over this relationship, a lot of things would be different. I, I Do you agree. remember? I agree. And, and, and you know, this was hesitation I had when I tell Viman that I wanted to see his leadership skill because I, I, I did see this repeatedly. That's crazy. And, uh, you know, there are. Juno is not the only issue. There's a lot of decisions like this where it does not seem as if the rule is clear for how to behave. And uh, it, 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 it does not make sense. The actions, the decisions, all of these things that are being made so uh that's that's yes so that, uh, the, the wild thing is like everything that i went to talk to um that i went to talk to um that i went to talk to luciano about yesterday and then carlo wanted to talk to me separately but he wanted to talk to luciano early in the day um we all then met up because we said, you know, what's the point of all of us meeting separately? Carlo has all the same issues. Mm. We're going to use your truck and then use yeah, mine. I think storage. a lot of people, just mine fucking... if, if they do not wow. have the same issue, um, oh, I need to go sign up from club. Maybe they are. Okay, I'm not going to say that. That is quite mean. Say it, Lori. Uh, it's fine. If, if they're not having the same issue, maybe they are not paying attention because it is issue. It is not just one person perception of issue. These are yeah. continual issues that need to be fixed. And whether it is uh, possible to fix it enough to make this situation uh, work um, is you guys different. A group? And I, I know for you, I, I don't know, for, for me it is just too much. You know, I, I, I feel like... A, well, I, I tell you... I was on the fence. The the Juno kind of drama thing pushed me over a little bit, but that is not why I left. Did, did, um, did you know like anything about oh, like bad. her brother being around, Jerry Sweets being around, and her getting so upset because he left right? again to Japan and like yeah, Vito that. having to go and take care yeah, of right. her because of it? I will not tell anyone. Oh. Well, I know that she had some issue where she... I have to go to the city hall real quick and sign out. ...gets okay. very... ...upset. I don't know if it had to, anything to do with the Jerry thing. Are you um, confident you can scan and hack yourself? I don't know. Re regardless... Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I, I do know there was some sort of situation Wait, where you will not end up in hospital because of some sort yeah. of drama and uh you know other other doctor thing i can't really talk about oh, but uh hey, i uh I, I don't know i don't know i don't know anything about that i just think that uh, I, I mean i learned yesterday that 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 was a whole thing that carlo told me that when they were pushing like pushing like on the street late night that he had to leave. Hey, do you guys want hunting licenses? Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I was about yes. to sign out, but I can quickly give you guys hunting licenses. <gasps> what would be work amazing. here? How much is hunting yeah, license? Amazing, because please. I want to get on to come hunting uh, with you. It's a thousand dollars, Lottie. Lottie, let me ah! call you back real quick. I'm just gonna help these okay. two gentlemen and then I'll okay. come back. Okay. Right. Uh
Oh my god. Is it, ca is it cash only? Um, no, it's from the bank. Okay, easy. All right. Um, um, I need you to flash me your ID. And while I write everything down, I need both of you to tell me where you can hunt and what you can hunt. Okay, let me give you a. It's just going to be me uh, applying for. Um, but yeah, the, the only place is the Polito Mountains and mm -hmm. specific uh specific deer that um you know you get in the contract all right and then that's correct and then a follow-up question does having a hunting license um correlate with having a weapons license can you have a hunting rifle just by having a hunting license um Wait, one more time that question, I'm sorry. All right, so <laughs> you have a bunch of different licenses that you can obtain, but if you own a hunting rifle, um, does that correlate to you having just a hunting license or would you require a weapons license to own a hunting rifle as well? Uh, you just need your, uh, your hunting license. That is correct. That was a tricky one. You almost got me there. I'm yeah, yeah, I know. I, I wanted two, a two specific. Different. Yeah, I, I wanted a specific. <laughs> two different <way>. lives. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let me go here real quick. Three, nine, eight, four. All right. And you should receive that bill. And then if you check your documents and your general information, your hunting license should be there in a few seconds. Boom. It's right there. Thank you. You are very welcome. Okay, yeah, honestly, I appreciate this. Take care, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you out there and very, do some money. Welcome. All right, I'm going to sign All out right, and see you. start so sanitation. Much. You are about welcome. That was great. I don't want to double dip. Pulls Lottie back. Hello. Hello again. Sorry. Are you eating something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so my plan is to uh, talk to Vito today. Um, Bane. Yeah. Uh, talk Thank to Vito again. today. Take Bye. Care, you guys, happy hunting. Appreciate um, it. Talk to Vito today and um, just air all of this out, right? If my... If he so... If he defends Jedi... Oh, because of Toe. In any sense, I I don't know, Lottie. I I, I don't know. Well, I thought with that. I tell you that, um, you know, I was thinking of leaving. I had talk with V-Man. Oh, during Baki talk was when I decided, for sure, to leave. Welcome, um, to, welcome to how the world works. I err out, not necessarily. The grievances with you know, or, or as you know. Mm -hmm. didn't matter too Beats much i tried not to really focus on that it was more about issues in general about uh, communication being awake maybe being left out all this sort of thing the talk ended up uh, what was finalized for me leaving i hope it is different for you but i i think that oh, yeah. regardless of whether it is you know that is the priority Bye -bye. for me these goalposts completely move all the time of what the family is, how people are acting, the communication, the structure. There are so many issues. I mean, that, that is a lot of issues for me too, but it's it's for Carlo as well, right? It's when um it's uh it's things like that where there's no there's no structure in the beginning of like the storm, right? Which was your issue too, right? Where there's no overlap yes. going in from the beginning to the end. And then my issues as well is that I am not, I'm not, I'm not a priority to Vito when he wakes up. I have to find out from other people when he wakes up. And then at that time, he's already a few hours into his day. And what is he doing? He's spending that time with Juno already. Yes, yes. Uh, that is a big issue. Big, big issue. Especially for you and your position. Exactly. Uh, and I'm trying to tell him... I'm trying to catch him up on important family issues and I cannot do that because at that point I am tired and I want to go to bed. Yes, it is. Um, I don't know. I think I think um, 
Uh, what I mean more is that the uh, Juno prioritization is a symptom of a further problem. It is not Juno's fault. I think it is I don't Vito. Think so it it is it is Vito that is. Uh, yes, the fact that he was more worried about that is very very concerning to me, far. as far as when Tessa leaving instead of talking to you, especially knowing the context of Tessa already talked to Juno about it. Yeah, he is constantly like, if if. He have a relationship where he is needing to put more energy into that uh, before prioritizing, you know, family and potential issues because losing Tessa is a big deal. If I am being honest, mm -hmm. she would be an amazing asset to any people and she is so close to so many other people. I agree. The family not finding out from him is a big deal, especially because I don't think anyone else found out from him either. Yeah. And for you to not find out yeah. is a big deal because now, I, I I don't know, I don't know. That's that's that. It, but not only that, but you know, hearing that he has to leave to take care of Juno, hearing that you know, uh, and and seeing repeatedly, you know, eh, when I talk to him, he gets call about Juno, you know, there's bomb incident, you know, all that <laughs> is fine. She she call him in panic while we are talking, you know, and it is like it feels as if it is constant his attention and needs for the relationship, and if he is going to try to elite family, you know, so it is necessary to choose which is priority, and if she needs him so much, she also needs to understand that too. That family should be priority, and if it is not, then it is not right for him to. Pretend it is. Yeah, I, I agree on all of those sentiments. And Lodi, I also want to let you know that losing you is also big for the family, and they just don't realize that. I I appreciate it. I I mean I I, I think so too, but I I don't care. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, it is uh, you know, um, I it it is better for me. Yeah, I know. In the long term. Hello. I'm happy that. I'm happy that you could make that what? choice. Yes, well, um, I just, I, I feel right bad now. you have to deal with all this. You could be doing what I'm doing. Too. Do you know, do you know what Carlos said last night? You what? don't have to join. He said he feels bad because he feels like the family is holding me back. I never pressured back. you. I mean, I think that oh is true. Oh my fucking yeah. god. I imagine being uh, your job duty. Okay, uh, oh, can you go back uh, to the sanity room? Bucky's gonna join us. Can I join? I need to make money. Want to do some sanitation, Lottie? Yeah, sure. <gasps> as okay. long as I don't drive. No, I'm driving. Okay. Me, I'm being okay. Me, I'm okay. You want? You want to? Okay. Where are you? Uh, I'm going to be at clothing store I think uh, come on Sandra's app with the um, promenade oh. near Little Venice. Near Little. Venice. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to go there to exchange and to uh, trash clothes. Trash clothes. Okay. We'll pick you up. Ah! Oh. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. Okay, bye. bye. Then, we're in you at the uh, Sandy Yard, I think. Wherever you are. I don't know. Okay, we're in Lolly mm -hmm. first, then we're going to Sandy Yard. Oh, I need to run. No, it's just there's no point in going to the sandy yard to get you, going to get Lottie, and then going back to the sandy yard for her to sign in. Okay, Bucky. You can't even, you can't even argue. You can't even argue that. You know I'm right. Okay, buddy. You, there's no way you're not that stupid. You know what's funny? I said that about you to Eve yesterday. Wow. Yeah, I did. I said that. Oh my god. That look was wild. I said that to Eve yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Mm. 
yeah, we're getting Lottie first. Deal with it. All right. Bye. Right for my security company. Sometimes I purposely don't hang up after I say bye with Bucky, so he gets the satisfaction of hanging up. Very random, but okay. Because he really likes hanging up on me for some reason. Bane, we need to do a, another session of just trying to clean up all the circles. I am down. Remember how much fun we had when we could see all of them again? Oh, it was so good. It was. It was, that was beautiful. And now there's, see, here's the thing, like, so many of them are housed so that we can't even get into them. Yeah, but we need a, we need a, we need to break down the doors. Yes, we gotta break in. Yeah. The Sandy truck's gonna fit. Oh, never mind. Lottie's here. Hi, Lottie! Hi. Hello. That's not where you sit. I like your backpack. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to check in with mom as well. Yeah, we're going that right now. Hello. I think that man might be really mad at me because I really broke his truck. Oh. Oh, that really last time it. you and Tessa tried doing Sani? Yes, I haven't done it again. <laughs> you haven't fixed the truck either? No, I just left it there. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yeah, Bane's truck is also broken. Yeah, it's fucking totaled. Well, bad. I don't look after your stuff. Get right to. I tried to. Even the, the mechanic man couldn't get it out. Okay. <laughs> it was wedged so bad. What about what about the vine? Yeah, they say they they say they can't tow it. What? I don't, I don't call him, but they say tow person won't, no one will be able to get it, you just got to leave it. Oh. I swear to god, if Bucky uh, kills the vibes today, uh, I'm gonna be real disappointed. Because Bucky's a vibe killer. Yes, oh. Bucky is a vibe assassin. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Yes. Bucky. Yeah. Bucky boy. Okay. Alright. I'll be back. I'll be. Zoom. From the group. Oops, I. Nice. I nuked it. Nice. Yeah, same thing. Get out here and trade these materials. Oh, I forgot. I never told you about that. Yeah, I'll be back, Eve. I gotta trade these materials for him. Okay. Uh, which one's uh, alloy again? Uh, aluminium. Okay. Uh, Lennon, Lennon Lee. That's Bane. What? Yeah, it's oh, his wow. government name. Okay. Just worst. like just like Bucky is James Bonds. What nuts, right? Wow, that is weird. Yeah. They're like little nuts. Little nerd. Mm-hmm. Gonna take your seat. Ha 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 ha. Um oh did uh, uh Papa Cheesy has a has a burner right now, by the way, if you tried calling him. Whoa okay. I don't have his number. Um yeah, let me give you his burner number so you can don't text it, but you can call it, okay? Let me read it out to you. Alright, Bucky, get in the group. Um, do I delete oh. this number? No, 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 you keep his number. Okay, okay. Uh, 420. 100. 5628. Look it up. So don't text Will it, we stop but you can call store? it. Yes. Yes, Bucky, we need to get you in uniform. Hello. 
lucky you're not going to assassinate the vibes today, right? Uh, no, everything. <laughs> Are you dumb? Not everything. I I I pulled it out of the ether and then to my phone. Yeah. Why don't you why don't you believe me? Perhaps I Why can't you just accept that I know things? <laughs> okay, fair. Fair, yeah, there is a lot I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, Eve, give it to me. Um, how are you doing? Are you okay? Okay, dog. I'm playing trash with Eve. <laughs> Toy trash with you. I know. I know. Strange, strange places and days. Oh yeah, no, I, I like trash. Just, uh, normally don't. But I'm trying to get money now. But also I hate getting money. But also I need money. I and already they lost the place, pay. Spain. Where is it? Oh, it's yes, it is uh, more profitable to uh, sell ice cream than to work, doctor. <laughs> laundry to the right. Yes, oh, okay. that's really bad. So if I work as doctor, just I I, I just don't. Oh, my headaches the name are money so getting so much yes. mini headaches in this area. It's crazy. Um, yeah, no, I do not like this area. I'm not sure area. how how long you'll be awake for today, but uh, you know. I wonder why. Why, Bucky? Okay, Bucky. Yeah, why, Bucky? Why don't you enlighten us? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm saying I wonder why. Why well, say like that, huh? I wonder why. You're like that. Why are you saying it like that? What do you mean? I'm just saying I wonder why. Or oh, you're saying it like, I wonder why. You're saying it like that. Okay, and? Like you you even something. make money hunting. Okay, well, your feeling is wrong. You don't get any of it, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, yes. So we need we need extra person. We need so we can do four people hunting. Okay. Uh, well, uh, if you want to do anything later, you let me know. Okay, be safe. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, bye. Hey, check. Better. Hey, check. 68 whole dollar. 68 whole dollars. Just 10 more of these and it's 680. Yeah. Gonna be rich in no time, Morty. So rich. Not rich enough to afford hunting license, but it's almost there. Oh dear. Get this trash emoji. Hey, look both ways before you cross. Drain. <laughs> Drain. Oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Surprisingly, I'm okay. I am not okay. Uh oh, is Eve okay? Eve, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I like, totally <laughs> thought I was gonna make that cut. <laughs> You're like that car in those videos that go around the little barrier. Uh, like the train, and they're like, I can make it. <laughs> Let's say, huh. I was gonna make it and then I had a headache. I don't know what to tell you guys. That was a lot. <laughs> Bet Bucky, you need the hospital. Does anyone have bandages? Mm hmm. I could use some bandages. <laughs> oh, Bucky, before you could, you could kill the vibes, the vibes killed you. What are you talking about? 
Bucky. Yeah. Can you crawl in through the trash compactor and reach all the way into the glove compartment? <laughs> yes, okay. I can do that. Okay, okay just be careful crawling through that, okay? There's a lot of trash in there. They literally yeah, asked so much. you don't so want much. to be compacted. Well, maybe. Well, just don't yeah, press the button. Swimsuit season. Maybe I'm gonna. Let's check the ass real quick. Oh, I can still recover from what just happened. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Oh. There's no 24-7 here. You need a burger, Lottie? Uh, if you have any fry or any floaties, please. I don't- I don't go to senior buns anymore because I always want to stab someone. But yeah, I don't like it. Uh. That train really came out of fucking nowhere, huh? No, I saw it coming. It really didn't. <laughs> really out of his own. The fact that we got hit and then it took you guys like 10, 20 seconds in my eyes for you guys to fly off was just, it just killed me. Yeah, it was a lot. A lot happened. Uh. 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 I already um, fed Luciano too, Lodi. I gave him like, um, like four burgers too. Alright, it's a bug in the box. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, that was so funny. Brakes are sliding. I think you need a repair. Yep. <laughs> Did you just say nope? Or <laughs> he said yep. Are you being a hoe? Oh, okay. No. Oh my god, that was way too funny. <laughs> Oh, I met, I met an old granny at the scrapyard before storm. It was really creepy. I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, what? old people are really creepy. Men do have mortality, I guess. I am. Um, yes, I, I think they uh, unlock the secrets of the world when they get older. That's why it makes them creepy. I can't explain to you the creepiness. It was just something else. Why was it so creepy? Because I was in this big, like, scrapyard building all by myself, and then this old lady was just there. Like, it was just way too creepy for comfort. What are we, what are we doing? Cutting trash. Oh, it's a, a new spot? It's a new spot, yeah. The trash mother load. It's just annoying the amount, of times, the amount of times we have to jump, but it's okay. Oh no, it's kind of a good workout. Technically, we only have to jump like four times. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. He says he's fine as he smiles through the pain. Uh, I yeah, see Bucky's Shana. the most bothered out of all of us. Because this is a shit job. Whoa, 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 Bucky. And why are you here? Because you accuse Johnny's me of being natural. lazy and not working. Why don't you oh, go yeah, to Johnny tell? Is, um, Johnny is chopping wood now. Yes, uh, I see him there. He's like a bear. Yeah, he really He's likes He's a bear. Him. Yeah, he does.
Paycheck. You might have to actually get mud. Hey, Natalia. Hello, how are you? I'm alright, how are you? I'm okay. Uh, can I get keys to the house for a bit? Um, yes. I just have to check where I can grab where are you? I'm at the house. Oh, uh, can you go to the apartments? Yeah, I can do that. Um, because I am around there and that's where the key is. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll meet you back. Alright, be there in a bit. Bye bye. Bye bye. What I would give to be able to clean the trash from the apartments. What I'm saying. I'll be right back. I gotta go get key for Natalia. Ten four. Takes a chance and takes the elevator. Elevator does not work. <sighs> Pretty sure the elevator does not work. <sighs> Get away with Shannon's precarious here. Guys, do you guys remember which key was the house key? Because I don't. <laughs> do you guys remember? Double zero is Nino's. You guys are the best. Please, let me, my friend, please. And just one thing in my life, just not be like, scoffed. Where's my plant? Just, just, just one thing. Just, just. Where's my plant, though? Whatever. Just wanna have things like work. And then, I swear to god, I'm gonna take my phone out of my sim so I just don't have to talk to people while I do Sani. <laughs> Dude, there's like, there's actually elevator music.
puts things down, it like does not want to, like it is like not sticky or whatever. And then I, I look over. Right. And it isn't there. Yeah, I gotcha. I just no, no, no. hello. Hold on, man. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, can you get them to the car? Put it in the car. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna sound really strange. Mm -hmm. But does anyone hear, like, soft piano music? Um, it might be the elevator from the, um, the apartment building. It might be elevator music. Really? And I can hear it from all the way out here? Maybe. In his head. Maybe. Bucky is here. Oh, yeah. He's doing some extreme flexible I meditation. Did you drop it? it? I think it's stuck under the car. Oh my god. Oh no. Hold on. No, I put it in the glove box. Hey, no, no, no. Yes. Okay, okay. I got this. I got this. Okay. Okay, I tried to just give it to you before. Yeah. Take it! Someone take it! I can't! <laughs> Can I throw it? Hold on! Who is this? Who is this? Queen. I can put this in the trash. Um, can I? Okay. You can put if it I on put the ground. On the ground. You can put okay. it on the ground, buddy. Okay, okay, I just don't want it to get stuck. There it is. It's back. Okay, is it there? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. One time I tried to give uh, money to Tessa and glove box, and then it's op it goes on ground and just it open gets your stuck. pocket. Oh no. I see it. Got it. Oh, okay. 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 There you go. Alright. Alright, I got it. Okay. We're good. Okay, good? Yeah. Okay. Well, have fun, Tessa. Okay, alright. Okay, yeah. Alright, we'll catch up later, yeah? Yes, 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 please. Say bye. Yeah. Bye bye. I like Natalia. Yeah, she's. Bucky has great core strength. He really does. Yeah. He's scraping his fucking ass on the fucking pavement. Like a dog. Oh, they are. <laughs> yeah, dogs that do that are not good dogs. Okay, well, you don't have to go that far, okay? Maybe sometimes they can't help it, you know? And if they yeah, stop yeah, when you tell them to stop. Guys, there's no such thing as a bad dog. dog. It's just bad True. owners. True, yeah. You know, a good boy. True. Alright. Actually, today, guys, I watched a video of a, of a vet removing a dog's eye. And, um... Oh my god. Why? I, okay. It, he... It was just one of those, like, the, the, that was that Aussie vet, you know? Had it scratched the, the, oh the dog's God. eye, and he had to remove the eye. And he was really the dog was. I was a baby puppy, so I woke up, and I FaceTimed Luna. I don't want to listen to this. I FaceTimed Luna, and the first thing I told Luna was, "You can be grateful you have both eyes." <laughs> oh, the demon dog. Yeah. The hellhound. Yeah. Yeah, that that dog is. It makes me really upset. I know. That dog is. Yeah, but then he can wear an eye patch and look all badass. True. I read the dog. Sometimes what would the world doesn't. Say? Sometimes. Arf, arf, arf. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Sometimes the world isn't full of rainbow and sunshines. Yeah, sometimes it's filled with Bucky. Oh, okay. oh my god. Nine to five. That's the way to make living. I was singing that yesterday, Lottie. Really? Yeah. 
Maybe I heard you. Maybe that is why it's stuck in my head. Maybe. <laughs> I thought I got lost. You had to have his eye removed, really? That's sad. I love dogs so much. Dottie, what is your favorite kind of bug? Um, what? I like a lot of different kinds. Maggot is pretty good. Uh, uh, spider, which is nice. Uh, I like firefly. Uh, you did not just say maggot and my skin did not just go. Oh, you can't touch the button. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh, my skin is still crawling, Lori. Are you sure there aren't something on it? No, she said maggot. I don't like worms. Oh. Rookie touching the button. <laughs> I like those arms. Oh, yeah, Luciana was trying to call us. Hey grandma, you wanted to call me, but then you were on the phone and then Lottie called you and then you were still on the phone? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just checking in on you. See how you're doing. Like those beetles oh. that look like I'm they have armor I'm just on doing them. Sammy with Lottie and Bucky and Bay now. Okay, alright. I might, uh, might see you out there. Okay. Like, you know, right. I might see you out there like a, like a threat or just like you'll wave at me. That's right, that's right. You better fuck. This way, this way, this way. They look fucking. They look really yeah, cool. Yes. I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah, my 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 work a couple of shifts, you know. Bye. All right. See you ran. I love you. We too. Bye. <laughs> Guess we already got paid. No, no way. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I can't pick up any more. Ah, hi. That was so quick. Lordy, can you get out real quick? Thank you. I think we should go back to the yard and recycle. Already? Yeah. Yeah. All aboard. The Sani Express. Did you tell Bucky about move that Sani truck? Oh yeah, so... Uh, so Bucky, uh, so... Uh, when Eve starts flipping out his ride, and when she, uh, when she, uh, you know, brings the uh, the person who's going to be living there over to show them the house for the first time, she's going to park a sandy truck outside, <laughs> and uh, you're going to have to say, move that sandy truck, and then it, it does like a dramatic reveal of the house. But you can't yeah. separate the exterior of the house. Bucky. Bucky! Oh my god, Bucky! Why did you have to I get what you're saying? About what do you mean I'm rude? Why gotta be right, like that, Lottie, huh? you, you get it? You get Bucky's vibe killer mood? He just sucks out all the fun. I don't even know why we share happy things with him. What do you I mean? don't know. This is why we need our. Uh... It's not. How is that killing the mood? That's just a fact. This is why I always joke about Bobby, uh, our Bobby being the vibe restorer. But he he Bobby. he's rarely Bobby, ever around, so it's always around. the vibe assassin. I don't know, Bucky. Bobby I restores just... the vibes. I just feel like an ex extreme makeover Sani edition would be great. Yep. We were talking about flipping houses, and it would be such a great way to reveal it that way. And who says that I can't paint my I can't paint my my thing at some point? You want to see what this does? Oh, I wanted to exactly, see that guy. Buddy. Okay, so if I want to make six hundred eighty dollar an hour, we need to do a six. A job minutes. every six minutes. Yes. 
Yeah, this is probably not the job for it, body. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably senior yeah. bonds. Uh... Yeah. So now we take these bad boys and we bring them up to the machines. Oh, we do? Okay. Yeah, Bane, yep. Bane puts them in the machines and then we crush them. Hi, it's more here, Evelyn, you know? Eve, can I have the extra materials that Lottie accidentally crushed? Uh, yeah. yeah I just got it. Oh, you someone picked it up? Is that everything, Lottie? This is what I got. Oh, Wait, what? I think somebody just... Yoink full of stuff. <laughs> that was unintentional. Bane, that was unintentional. Bane, just wipe the cabinet out of existence. What the hell? I didn't mean to. What are you talking about, Bucky? Can I fit one more person? Yeah, we have an extra spot. I don't think you should yeah, do that, Lottie. Yeah, Please don't. What does Lottie want to do? He wants to stand on top of the recycler. I do think about putting yeah, yeah, yeah. my fingers in That's there fine. all the time. Did you sign no, anything? Eve, no! Have you ever put an orange inside of it? I think we try, try. Okay, that's, that's better. What about the gusher? That's fine. This recycler Hello. would probably peel the Hello. orange for me how instead are you of guys stinky doing? boys. Good, how are you? Doing pretty well. I'm gonna take your backpack. Thank you. I did too. We didn't get as many. Um, because you know what happened? I think that when I put stuff down on it, you were busy picking stuff up, and then three of them like went poof. Oh my god, and Bucky made one poof too. Yeah. Jesus and, Christ. And I pressed the button sometime. Nah, it's okay. Oh, when Lottie presses the button, it's okay. Yeah, oh, she, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. She hasn't been doing this as long as you have, Bucky. I only have 35 rep. Oh. I'd probably be 50 rep if it wasn't for the fact that I did power. You're like a little baby. Little saddy baby. A trash cub. What is a baby raccoon called? That's a good question. Raccoon? <laughs> really? Is it this keen to the world? No, I don't know. That's, I, let's, let's talk I believe that. you for a second. Yeah. Uh, a cub or a kit? That is not as cute. Hello, Charlie. Raccoon kit. After one more round of this, I probably uh, need to go to sleep. Uh, Get bed, body. Like you lasted day. longer than Bucky does usually. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bucky usually does two what, trips and he there? says, I have to go, and then he dramatically jumps off a bridge. Okay. Okay. I think I made a whole, like, $128. Yeah. But I'll pay you for your materials, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Hooray! I, oh, I don't have any material. No, but the materials that we just made, I, I pay you for. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm fat. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I knew about that. Interesting. Okay. Can't see the thing. Bot oh. ten. I can't press what it. I can't see it. Bot ten. ten. Oh, I'm I'm on the side compartment. Pressing button from yeah, side. I don't crawl into that one.
wish you the best of luck in doing so. Hey, if you ever need help, I'm sure there'd be plenty of us that would be willing I wonder to what this happens. Day. Can somebody clip the side compartment right, for me? Charlie. Good luck, I salute you. Goodbye. Now it doesn't happen. What the fuck? I press. I think Charlie's going to rob a bank. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I don't know where they came from, but he just decided to tell me. They grow up so fast. Right, from a simple sandy worker to a bank robber. As he sold a lot of, um... A lot of containers, yeah. I don't know, maybe if he has to rob a bank, I don't know if he has. Paycheck. Paycheck. Clean up the city bank real quick if anybody wants to pick up their paychecks. Apparently, all the trash there, because Charlie was just on the phone with me about it, is in like the open vent. What? Yeah. Then never mind, I guess. That's according to him. Most 2K just phone numbers? Hell yeah. Where would the trash be here? Grocery mm, store? Mm, clothing store, grocery store. Actually, it's a anyway. liquor store. Ice cream store. Ice cream store. I want to check. Thank you, Trey. <laughs> nice. Uh... All right. No trash. Nope. You came back with no I trash. Continue button? searching. I think we also can't rule out our roofs and shit. True. Got a job, thank you. Cypress. My old friend. <laughs> It's underneath us. I can feel it rumbling the ground. I still looked around in a panic. <laughs> Have you watched Avatar The Last Arbunder? Ooh, ooh. I have. Is it the first Is one or the second one? No, no, no. The, the airbender. Oh, the airbender. No. Okay. You made me think of that. Is that an anime? I think it's an anime. Oh, God. Bucky, you better keep your mouth shut. I don't think it is an anime. 
What's an anime? But then what is it? Just an animation? A cartoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I consider anime a Japanese animation. Wrong. Yeah. I think Bucky so too. here thinks that if it looks like anime, it, oh, it's, it's, it's anime. Okay, but how do you define what to look like anime? I don't think Avatar look like anime. It's look like cartoon. It looks like anime. <laughs> Bucky. So. <laughs> Sorry, Bucky. This is what I'm talking about. Do you like Avatar or your weed? Okay. Oh. Uh... What is this? It's an interesting choice. One day, Bucky, you'll learn. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not a week from now. Maybe not a month. Maybe not a year, but one day, one day you'll learn. This place. Me too. Hi. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are Shit, you? I accidentally compacted. Good, you I actually just drove you past our old there. house just now. Aww. You know, there are like 10 people trying to buy it, right? Yeah, but it's so expensive. It's like five, that's half a mil. Five, seven something, 570 something. It's a lot, plus tax. I, 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 well, I'm curious, what else did you buy? I'm sure you're living somewhere already. Um, yeah. I bought a, a Merpak house. Wow! Yeah. How you have that much money? Oh my god! Don't, but it's a collective asset between people. Bang! Bang! Come here! Oh, okay, cool. All right, congratulate. Is it nice over there, or what are you thinking? Because I was actually in the house market. Um, that's nice. I mean, I think there's only two people who have houses there right now. So. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, so it's quiet. Is that what you prefer, yeah, or are you wanting community over there? Um, I just don't want to live on the south side, and I don't want to live in Polito because it's too far right now, right? It's too far from yeah. not having a car, and it's just a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my god, wait, you have a house but no car. Hey, good for you. I wish <laughs> I had that kind of restraint. Uh, the way I see it is... Um, I know a lot of people also like did that back in the day as they bought a car first before a house and I think a house is just more valuable especially now. You're not wrong. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm happy for you. Um, I had a question for you, mm -hmm. if that's all right. Yeah. Uh, so, Kitty telling me that you do sanitation, is that correct or no? Yeah, doing it right now. Oh, Jesus. Um. Your materials, do you sell them or no? It's all good, I'm just checking. No, you're good, you're good. Uh, yeah, they go to, um, I'm the main material acquisitionist for Nino's uh, mechanic shop. Uh -huh. Got it, okay. And it's ex exclusive, you're not allowed to sell to nobody, right? No, no, I can, if I don't have an active material order with him, I take whatever is next, yes. Oh, alrighty. Uh, w would it ever be possible for me to put in an order with you? Yeah, hundred percent. Really? Okay. Well, well, what is your price for materials that you do? Um, it depends on what the market is right now. For example, circuit boards are between six and seven, and then right. everything else is probably between uh, three point five and four, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. It, it it solely depends on what um, is happening in the market, right? 
Mm-hmm. No, of course. That makes that, that make complete sense. No, stay at $2 per material your whole life. Don't ever change. Yeah, so that's basically how, how I do how I do work, basically. It's just depending on what the mark rate is. All right. All righty. I got you. Well, it's good to know. I Because when I look in yellow pages, all I see is uh, Mr. Lying and, you know, happy for him in his business. But I, I was curious, <gasps> you know, what? You okay? No, some please sticks oh, like just no. go into my people. <laughs> Easy to say it, I think. Do you need help? Are you okay? No, no, no. Okay. All righty. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to, you know, the people I am working with. And then I will give you a call and I will try to place an order. Thank you all. Sound good. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Eve. I talk to you later. Be safe. Bye bye. Scary thing, All the best. Here's your talk. Group six. They were trying to weave the needle. Yeah. Fathers, thank you so much for the prime for four months. Appreciate it. All of them. Them in grime. All the same. All the same. True. Bunch of dumb people in big trucks. What is what did OTT just write out, babe? The price of mats gonna come down real soon. Stop fucking around or you gonna find out. <laughs> oh dear, really? <laughs> oh. I'm quaking in my boots. <laughs> Oh. God. Oh, sorry, that made me laugh. Oh. God, I love people's petty wars. Ben, did you realize how consistent it is, right, though, that... I mean, we talked about it yesterday. As soon as gangbangers get threatened instead of like acting out against the people who threaten them they just go after the civilians in the end of the day mm -hmm. our times uh, never change these are the same people who go after random people because they accidentally leak locations and they oh, mess up the yeah. people they were supposed to go after Yeah, it's all about the war mentality is flawed. Yeah. God, some things just never change. Are you threatening them? Um, so essentially what happened is the company was selling, um, <laughs> um, PC parts, right, Body? Yeah. And then you know started selling PC parts. And then um, the company didn't like that. And uh -oh. then in retaliation, instead of having a civil conversation about it, um, the company started going after Mr. Lang's um, sanitation. Oh, shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Bucky! Should I not have said oh, that? Oh. Um, Um, in retaliation, they decided to go after the sanitation union and the materials where everything comes from. And they shot up um, a civilian yesterday. Oh, okay. That yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Those people should get charged for being serial killers. Isn't that like... Why do I feel like shit? Because you uh, hit me? Maybe because you punched Eve in the face for no yeah. reason. I'd feel no, like no, shit no, too. No, 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 no. Yeah, why do I, why am I hurt? <laughs> why do you hurt? Oh, I don't know. Because <laughs> I hurt sometimes. sometimes. Maybe, maybe sometimes, Eve's fucking jaw is that fucking chisel. Sometimes things just happen, Bucky. <laughs> Sorry. Bucky! Sorry. Bucky! Why? What the fuck? I throw the trash in the back. 
<laughs> Why do we... Oh my god! I need bandages. <laughs> You need bandages, you need bandages. You just knocked me like three times yes, in a row. You oh, just punched me in the face twice. I'll give you a billion bandage too. <laughs> oh. I'll give you a reason to get a fucking bandage. Okay, there's some band-aids and there's some cigarette. Thank you. I feel like you need a smoke. Calm down, you silly boy. You take everything, Bucky. What? I have some for you too, if they do. Honestly, maybe Lottie is the fiber store that we need. Yeah. Probably. Convince how to be my you sugar mom. Take the Bucky? Yeah, you're not going- my cigarette isn't good enough for you. <laughs> yeah, Bucky, what the fuck? It is a gift. I don't want cancer. Smoke- s smoke a lot- Lottie's fucking cigarette. What if it was yeah, a candy it cigarette? Smoke it. Yeah, Put it is. between your lips and feel death upon you. That was- that was a sentence. Yeah, I know. Wow, Bucky. Now you're running away? I'll take the cigarette. Who want to sit next to you? Just kidding. Why is he in the driver's seat? Uh, we do not uh, want him driving. Uh, 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 I lagged. I'm playing musical chaz? What's going on? What the fuck is happening? I don't know. Blame Bucky. Yeah, Bucky, I have no idea what happened. You were in your head and then, you know, you just, uh, Oh, oh, that's why he hurts. I forgot. <laughs> he has no idea what happened. What the? Everything's purple. Oh, hey, neighbor. I like the whip. Hello. I thought I was on the lean for a second. Oh, you thought that was your neighbor? That is my neighbor. How? Oh. Is it? Yeah, she, uh, she lives behind us. Well, in front of us, technically. Oh, you need to make all your whips purple too, so it's just like the purple neighborhood. Yeah, the purple neighborhood. They call ourselves the ballers. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Bucky would rather die. Yep. Well, his arm's purple. Speak up, Bucky. Unaware. Say it with your chest. What do you mean, unaware, Bucky? You just roll up your sleeve and show off your purple arm. Unaware. Unaware? What does that mean? It's what you are. How am I unaware? Unaware. Underwear. Under there. Over there. Loyal cat. Teddy bear. Pile of hair. <laughs> bear of hair. hair. Legionnaire. Pretty fast. Secret lair. <laughs> Dangerous dare. Pretty pear. Scary bear. I already said teddy bear. <laughs> I said scary bear. Yeah, no, I already did it. You lost. You're the first to lose. I didn't lose, Bucky. It's not a <laughs> competition. Yeah, you, lost. you lost. It's not a competition. Yeah, you lost. The right. <laughs> I like how you know that I lost it already. Go right. Sorry, not go left. 
Well, it's because you did the exact same thing last time. You didn't know where you where you <laughs> lost where you were going. Um. Billion air. Uh -huh. Not Ben. You already lost. Funky dare. I already said dare. When? It's a dangerous dare. That's not fair. Oh. Funky smells. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that rhymes. Does it matter if it rhymes, Bucky? Pure poetry is what it has meaning. Now that has no meaning. It has a lot of fucking meaning. Going light so much it hurts my oh, eyes. I can't believe this. Put down, Lottie, paycheck. Let me know when you want to stop, Lottie. Yeah, I think I need to stop. I'm sorry. Oh, lights. but yeah, I, I shouldn't let you know when I want to stop. Lottie is an angel. Okay, uh, thank so you. am I. You are just weak. Okay. You know what? That's it. I'm calling it quits. Okay, we'll drop you off. Okay, honestly, good. What do you mean, good? Yep, I said it. I feel like the firstborn child that gets neglected once the second one gets born. What does that mean? I don't know, it's just, that's just the vibe I get here. <laughs> and now you're jaded because of it. That one there. That's a pizza place back home. Really? Yeah, damn an ass. Careful! I would run over him. Okay, he's clear. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't even know if we have things to recycle, but we might as well just break it down. We very much do. You alright? Anything left? No, it's not. <sighs> that hoodie. <sighs> All right. Okay, I'm heading out. I'm gonna All make right. some call before I go to sleep. I might oh, be wait. awake way later, but uh, I don't know. All right, call me, okay? Okay. It was wonderful having you, Lottie. Yes, thank you for having me on your trash adventure. Thank you. Bye. Bye -bye. What do you want, Bucky? What would be hilarious? Oh. I made this joke last time. I did. Just get a little boy to sing a beautiful song. <laughs> Pixie, does that slow? It's a lovely, lovely voice. Fuck! Oh, you didn't get it. Can you play a trash box? No. Oh, second. 
Huh? Okay, yeah, we'll do bus. He's backing up. He's backing up. You say backing you're signing in and out. He's backing up. Yeah. Are you guys pulling out? Oh, uh, just for a moment. All right, all right. You guys are good to go. Hello, miss. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, oh I have to uh, reach over here. Oh, I had a machine in here. Hey, good shit, man. Those things. Yeah. I got yeah, it. You can customize can, it at movies that, yeah. or, yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys are good. Oh, we're good. All right. Appreciate it. Yup, yup. Just stay filthy. Mm -hmm. No group. No group. All right. I am. Um, there's two stacks on that because one stack is Luciano's. Oh, yeah. Now we're back to the, the back to the pumping. Yeah, yeah. Now is the real time. Hey, wait, let me join. Let me join. Let me join. I got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. Now we can switch out our our manual for automatic. What? Yeah. I feel like we gotta do that. I don't know how much it is. I think when Charlie figured that out, it was 10k. Wait, do I? Am I dreaming all the time? But I, you know? I, I kind of forgot about it because uh, I think he said he so much bullshitted him. Hmm. Uh, Laudy was great. It was nice having her. Yeah, she is. I love Laudy. She hope keeps the mood up. Hope she does what is right for her in terms of all decisions in her life. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> anyway. Up with you. I have a headache. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> the usual. Oh, Jesus. Me too. Um. I don't know. I woke up. Uh, we have a rack filled to the brim with GPUs, which is nice. Uh, I almost thought you were gonna say we have a rat in the house, and I was like, okay. I that. I mean that too. I mean Bucky. Uh. We have uh. I don't know. Kind of just, uh, another day of work, really. Oh. Oh, I don't know if Marty wants to bring this up to you or not, mm -hmm. but, um, he told me he's already torn between two things. Um, uh -huh. he wants to, Oops. like, that's it. Oh, or not? The fresh box? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rhyme, mm -hmm. money, right? So he mentioned to me that, um, he got like a, he has like an offer, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. An in with, uh, with the fucking god that. Hey. Tommy Cuso's with you guys, right? Yeah. Um, ready up? Oh, yes. Duh. Um, his trucking company. Okay. And Amadi is torn between getting into truck because like none of us are into trucking at all. Yeah. So oh box, 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 box. So none of us are into trucking. Like we dip into all sorts of jobs and whatnot. Like we have like me as in like, I do Sani. Oh, I'll get back to this. Uh me, Sani, Bucky Toe, Tao, fucking Toe. shop, fucking mechanic and whatnot. Yeah. Um, uh, Marty's gonna get into, oh, well, huh. The Charlie is also Sani, Turo, fucking EMS. 
But, like, we don't have anyone that's, like, really into trucking at all. Uh, run to the blue thing at the front. There's a box, too. And so Marty is, like, he was talking to me. He was, like, like, I can make a lot of money for us. The fucking crew. The, the crew but, you know, he also is torn on whether or not he should give up Sandy for it because he'll lose his rep anyway. Okay. And I told him, it's, like... It's great, like, it'd be a great source of money. I think it'd be great to have someone doing that uh, within our fucking circle as well. Mm -hmm. and then, but at the same time, I told him, like, in a situation where you are too busy to work and we needed to either fulfill an order or, uh, like, get shit for ourselves, in the event where Charlie isn't around and you aren't around, I'll have to do Sandy with, like, random groups which i'm okay with but i have to split mats mm -hmm. so it would just like put a pretty big dent in our situation because me and marty usually go out and oh bag me and marty usually go out and work together where we need to fill up our supply for something mm -hmm. so he's uh he's torn on whether or not he should get into grime or if he should uh just stay doing sandy i definitely think grime is a good opportunity because i think it's definitely gonna lead to bigger transports into like bigger things like um i definitely think it's gonna lead to like filling up gas stations at some point maybe yeah. with, like owning atms like what if it leads up to owning gas pumps not necessarily the gas station but the gas tanks like who knows mm. if that's a thing you know that's that might right. be profitable um i think that's definitely a option um i also don't think that if he wants to do that he should it's good money but i he should be hesitant on being sold on tommy kuzo's um business and i say this because the state announcement of the other day about um mm, was right. was literally about i'm pretty sure it was about people who take government entity jobs and try to make their own business out of it and try to make money off of government entity jobs right and i try to tell tommy kuzo that he should go and speak to the judges about Which, it oh my God. because um we already found out it's not the mechanic shops and it might be places like senior buns and people at down at trucking who are right. taking the trucks that Brian gives them and profiting off of those. Right. Because Tommy Huzo's already been putting Co and Limited behind his like name and advertising. So that might be an actual issue and he might be hit by like a state lawsuit. Who knows? So he should just be hesitant of that, but you can still work, be fast tracked with these big trucks, right? Right, like that's like the main selling point for him. And like it would, it would be a pretty big fucking source of income for our group anyway. Mm -hmm. Our biggest problem right now is just fucking liquid, ca uh, liquid fucking money. Yeah, I agree. I know he has to also put in a lot of money in buying his own trucks, right? It's like 25k, 50k or whatever, 15 or whatever. It's yeah. Like like two sets of like tier two and tier three trucks that he has to put money into. Yeah. Yeah, I basically wanted to see like your feelings on it and your opinion, and that was gonna be what was gonna be the uh, the deciding factor. No, he should definitely do something that he thinks will benefit like the group, right? He should definitely, if he wants to do grime, he should go and do it. If he thinks that, um there's more benefit in it that way he should do it and i mean me and you will 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 be fine like we have charlie as well charlie always is sitting on materials um charlie does kind of solo dolo it sometimes but that's fine i think with the right like talk about like hey you... some people you're not in this like yeah. alone you have a group of people who need like you know help can can do it right yeah. Right. 
I'll, uh, I'll let him know. Yeah. Maybe he mm -hmm. fucking gets his ass out of bed. Yeah, so I think that's very valid if he wants to. Um, if he wants to do that. At the end of the day, like, he doesn't need, like, Tommy or anybody who's working down at trucking to... I mean, it's good if you ride in a truck with people who have these things, but, I mean, there's a lot of people at that level who are high up, like, I think Tony is, Fiona is, Marlo is, I think... I mean, Fiona's getting that, but, like, I mean, I think she rides with Tony, who is at that bigger truck with... And he rides with Octo, who's at that big truck, and... Like, ev ev everybody kind of just leeches off of everybody, if I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And what they were saying, he can get his stars up pretty fucking quickly by... Mm -hmm. Just go getting in with the big trucks. Yeah, Penny, Penny was riding with Marlo, and she, like, got 20 stars in one day, but she only lost, like, 0 0.5 Sani rep. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? But, to be fair, she barely had any Sani rep, so... Yeah, true. And Is she... it true that, uh, if you have, like, all the stars you could possibly get with someone, it won't go down? I, I have no idea. Because, like, I've been hearing that rumor. I, like, I, like, haven't met anybody who, who, like, does work two jobs, you know? Right. I mean, I know, like, for example, Nino works G6 and he is a mechanic, but I don't think, I don't know if he loses shit. That makes sense. Because I, I, I've not heard, like, I've, I heard Toe and Sani don't mix, but I've heard that if you do Toe, you don't lose, you lose Sani rep, but if you do Sani, you don't lose Toe rep. Like, where's the consistency? But I don't know if G6, you know, fucks with Sani rep, right? Like... I don't think there's people yeah. who, like, take that chance. Very strange text from Tiny saying he's around. He never lets me know he's around. I can't know. The fuck, the bus just hit all the cars. What the fuck? Tiny the tea sipper. Ah. Uh... Fucking locals are fucking wild. <gasps> the trash. Down at the barber shop. I think it is. Hello again, Bucky. Why does it matter? I mean, I don't see why not. If you don't see any other reasons why you shouldn't, down to the right. If you don't see any reasons why you shouldn't, then, uh, go for it. Sani run going well? Uh, yeah, I think so. What the fuck? Somebody just decides to like... Like... Go fuck this up. What 
vibing, you know, we're vibing, doing some sani, getting some orders done. Jeez, people are speed demons. Yeah, I'm here. You got it. I love what um, Kate and Nikes are doing with the furniture stuff. It looks so so fun man damn it actually Good like shit. looks so fun i hope kate is enjoying it i miss kate so much i miss my bestie <coughs> the furniture stuff looks so fun Nexus to Kentucky. No wrong. Pick up Nance. Gets hit by a train. Alright. Let me know when you get in. What's up, Charlie? Here I am. I see one. And I see two. Room yep. ready. You have to have a room ready for Nance, you know. Ooh, have fun. I hope you find some fucking good shit. Is he robbing the bank? Uh oh. What the fuck? Oh shit. Those are those are definitely weed grows. Mm. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> I like how he just has the side compartment. It's so funny. I love the side compartment. Are these my headphones? No, these are not my headphones. What the hell? Jesus. Alright, well, I wish you the best of luck. Eh? Give me updated on how it goes. Alright, goodbye. Charlie and Turo are going to venture out uh, onto the islands on like the east coast because there's trash mm -hmm. out there. Is that? Yeah, so the island uh, east of the power station and like a little town. Yeah. There's one there. I see this and trash they... at the at above the Sanchansky mountain range. Oh, and there's trash at Catfish View. Catfish View, uh... Fucking... Uh, Humane Labs. 
And if you keep going down the coast, there's a couple islands as well. That's where they're going. See if they can find any fucking like grows or some shit. Hmm. Well, they should, uh, they should do it. Go be fun. Done yet? Getting there. Oh, I wish to clean up these spots. I mean, with crowbars being so, like, you know, prevalent, like, it's like so bad. Yeah, it was my imagination. <sighs> Ooh, box. Where? There. We're missing it. So, right over there, where all the cars are going past. I don't know where I see it. Oh, God. You know, find the compartment. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I'm here. Let me... <laughs> oh, I was trying to make the train. No. No. <laughs> So, Eve, how do you, uh, do you, do you have, like, a different, like, after you slept on things, right? <laughs> do you feel any differently compared to yesterday? Uh, no. All right. Something late nice night happened. Um. And, yeah. No. More bullshit? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I had to find out that Tessa left. You can take that. Hey, Marty. Oh, yes, bring Marty, bring Marty, bring Marty. I'm uh, doing Sandy with uh, Eve at the moment, just her and I. Uh, Charlie and Turo are going down to uh, talk, talk, explore the islands off the coast uh, talk, talk, let's talk, let's to look talk. for trash there, possibly find some secret stashes. And, uh, what? Yes, that's why they're going out there. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, Bucky's doing computer shit. He just scanned for new Wi-Fi connections and hacked into them. Well, he should be doing that right now. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So, uh... Hold on. Um... We were gonna uh, basically, even I were basically gonna do, do Sandy uh, until you were available. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Oh, that was that thing. Oh, Hello. Hey, right. how you doing? I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright. Um, we should talk. Uh, you mentioned it yesterday, but we should, uh, we should talk about it. You available? Yeah, I'm available. Right, well, okay, I'm, I'm actually, I have to go to a meeting, but I'll, I'll be available right after. Uh, what are you up to right now? Uh, I'm just doing sanitation with Bane. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll give you a call then. Let me just uh, finish this meeting and then I'll be, I'll call you, alright? I'm gonna jump. Bye. Go to a meeting. What could be more important than talking to me first? I, I, I cannot see what could be more important than talking to me. I, I, I cannot see what could be more important than talking to me fast. Uh, Marty is also around now. Hi. Uh, do you want to meet up with him? Yeah, we can. Okay. Right. Where is he? Um, he might, probably, he might be at the house. Probably should just pick up a rental or something first. Okay. My rental's at Sunny. Yeah, we can head there. Recycle this stuff and then resume afterward or something. Yeah. Hello, Will. Okay, so write it correctly. Talk to appointments are always top priority. Did you put the decimals in the correct place? So you fucked up. God damn it, Bucky. I thought you said you were confident. Clearly, not for the right reasons. Sure, sure thing. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I did Sandy once back in the day, and I fuck with it. You know, you're doing a job with a bunch of people. We have parts we can recycle. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, fuck it, yeah. Uh, do you need a ride? I got these three great people who make it a lot, you know, very interesting. Good, that's good. All right, we're going to be, uh, going to let y'all do your thing, okay? Be safe out there, all right? Okay, goodbye. Marty does not need a ride. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll ping where we're going. <laughs> Probably should also stop at a clothing store first. Do you want to put that in my uh, truck? Um, I 
I'll just keep this on me. Yeah, I'll just keep this on me. Right. I know. Then do you need to take the shit out of my truck? No, we'll just keep it. We'll just take it later. Kind of. Right. I am so scuffed like half of the day through. Like, it's so annoying. I know what the car. Oh. Move out to the driver's seat. Up. I'm gonna stop at a clothing store and then I'm gonna buy myself some fucking convenience store food because I can't be asked to go to fucking Barnes. Yup, mood. Yeah, 156. 156. Halfway there, but like I said, I don't really mind. I just like getting materials. I don't care for the styles that much. <laughs> Only person I think who Vita could be talking to right now is Juno, but I don't see him prioritizing that over, over Eve. <laughs> Stop the car! Stop the car! Just stop the car! Let's get the shit out of me. Yeah, that was a little scary. Nah. Hello, Bucky. By doing what? Motherfucker, you don't need to do that. It's just gonna delay us a little bit longer. We don't need to blow money on something we could just wait a little longer for. Oh, wait. Did, did Carlos see our, um... You understand? How much is a single? How much is one? 8k? Again, right? Listen, I would just fucking wait, okay? Hi. Hey, Abe, it's me, Tiny Tony. Hi, Tiny Tony. How you doing? I just want to check in and say hello. Hi, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. All right, good, good. You also have the MAC uh, address, correct? They, they call it for you in about our idea with the what my van okay uh, parking it out from no okay I, I wanted to double check this with you that it's uh, an okay idea so what we've been doing is we've been uh we've been taking the van that i got mm -hmm. parking it out front now everyone with access can pull my van out and i got that big trunk i mm -hmm. got a big caboose on that bitch you understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh that way, people can leave, like the growers and stuff like that, can leave whatever in the trunk. And then someone with a key comes over, pulls out the 
truck, pulls everything out, and brings it inside. That way we don't need to worry about, because I know a lot of the growers have been getting yappy with me about, well, we need a key to put it on the dryer and all that shit. Mm -hmm. This will eliminate that need, and we can uh, be a little more cautious with who has keys kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I was, um, I was under, me and DeVito were also talking about just buying uh, another car that doesn't get driven around at all, leaving it there and just putting yeah. a key in it too. Yeah, honestly, it's not a horrible idea either. That's, that's definitely not a horrible idea. Yeah, I mean, we can still, I like that idea too, and we can just, um, we can just throw, throw ideas like that around and still talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's perfect. Honestly, I would be open to, uh, God, if I get enough money, I can buy a different fucking car. I'd be honest, honestly, would be happy to make the uh, van that car to put the key in. Because uh, I bought it cheap. I bought it at 14 grand. I don't even know what it is now. It's definitely not 14 grand no more. I don't more. think so. I mean, you don't even have a trunk, and it has trunk right, right now, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it has the trunk oh, yeah. and all that. So, uh, and it's a six seater if ever we did need to pack it up with people to go somewhere for, for whatever reason or leave from the house. And it'd be a good community, community truck. Mm hmm. I like that. Uh, all right, good, good, good. And and we were worried uh, originally that that might prevent me from selling weed, obviously, because if I get raided, the car's going to be parked at the house. The house would then be up for raid. Uh, but I think we came up with a solution to that. I'm just going to take the the van uh, before we go to sell and park it at the apartments. Then we go sell, and then when we're done selling, grab the, oh. the van again and bring it back up there. Okay. So shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I mean, we can still, we can still, uh, between that and then just, you know, if the key is at the house, that eliminates a needing to have the stuff with that at the house too, right? So Exactly. Um, then no, not everybody has to carry a key around too. I think that's the easy solution. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. That's good. That's good. Did I miss anything yesterday? Uh, sorry, I wasn't around. Um, I'm trying to think. Not a lot of people were around, honestly. Okay. <laughs> All right, good, good. I, I know today we got we got a bunch of people just woke up. Uh, so I've been I've been reaching out to different people, uh, get some stuff done. Um, but okay, good, 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 good. I figure we'll probably get some sales done today, make some money today. Um, I don't know if anything needs to be done for the computers, but I'll check in with Carlo about that. Yeah, it's a Carlo thing. Yeah. All right, good, good guy. I spoke with him just before I called you. Okay, perfect. All right, good. Well, if there's anything I can do, anything I can help with, you let me know, okay? All right, I'll probably check in with you in a bit. All right, sounds good. Well, Be bye. safe, Eve. Bye, Eve. Damn. See the writing on the wall there? <laughs> oh, wow. It's funny you point that out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, earlier, uh, yeah. Hmm? So earlier I told you that, um, yeah, Tessa dipped too, you know, after Lottie did. And did you tell me that? I don't remember. I don't remember if I did. Well, now I know. Um, and yeah, nobody told me. Um. What? Yeah, you know, Vito told everybody immediately that Lottie left, but, uh. You know, he didn't do the same for Tessa. And when I asked him why, he uh, said he had to talk to Juno first. And found that very Jesus funny. Christ. Buddy, what the fuck are you holding? Hold on. You completely missed. That was so embarrassing. Completely overshot that. Like, that was completely overshot crazy. That. Oh. Alright, that's good. Nice, nice. I gotta get the warm up in, you know? Anyway. Can we stand yeah, the reason, like, uh, at the reason I picked this place is because, uh. Can we stand at the wall? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, we can. Yeah, let's stand at the wall. The reason I picked this is because of a lot of our important meetings back then in prison, a lot of our pack talks happened in the basketball court. Nice. So we thought we'd, uh, come here. Ah! <sighs> Oops. Nice. All right, Marty. Take it away. Ah. Uh, well. First off, Eve, how are you? Are you doing better? 
Spain said you were stressed out yesterday. Um, yeah, this this wall, the saying on the wall, kind of like reiterates how I feel. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I hate to add on to that, <laughs> but um, I feel like you have the right to know this. Um. Remember when we first bought the house? Uh huh. The f you f beat it! Oi! 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 Get the fuck out of here! Gosh, so rude. Anyway, um, yeah, it was like a, it was like what, game like a, a week and a half ago or something like that. My fucking popcorn. Maybe, maybe over. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Donnie was with us. You know, Donnie pitched in a little bit. You know, it was it was all good. Um. I can't for the life of me know why. Uh, I'll never be able to explain it. But Donnie pulled me aside. And I guess I was just his ear to pull on for a lot of the problems he was having. A lot of the problems he was having with y'all. <laughs> uh... And uh, I just kind of, I just kind of stood there like a deer in the headlights as he said all this stuff I, you know i tried to be there for him because it, it seemed like he was genuinely like going through some shit but at the same time here in the headlights i'm wondering why the fuck is he telling me mm -hmm. um i mean long story short it, it, he said he doesn't <laughs> He doesn't trust, like, half the people that you got. And a couple people in particular, he he downright just does not fuck with. Like, he, he, he's, he's had a, uh, a couple of them basically, like, talk shit about him behind his back or something like that, which, you know, is never... Never a nice thing to hear. And, uh, yeah, he was just, he was just letting it all out, which I mean, it, it's good to let it all out, but you got to let it all out to the right people. I mean, if he doesn't really like talking behind people's back, whatever, he sh if he's having problems, he should bring it to the people, not, uh, not to me. I I agree. We we have a certain we have a certain thing in place, and uh, yeah, this is this is bad. I should I shouldn't have to be his uh what they call it in church his confessional. But um I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I told Marty, uh, you know, your guys' internal affairs is none of our business, but, I, uh, you know, apparently according to Donnie, it is, and, uh, he just seems way too comfortable oversharing, at least to Marty, and usually most of the developments Donnie has, he tells me, which, I mean, you know, I enjoy talking to the guy, but, uh, you know, my question is, why does he, A, trust us enough to say this shit to our faces, and B, feel like it's necessary to do so? That 
that is that is the question of the century right why do people think it is yeah. necessary to do so when they've been giving the opportunity to do the opposite and they they haven't i do kind of find it funny um eve when you when you sent me to carlo uh, for love advice. Got to uh, talk to him for a little bit. Because Donnie specifically named Carlo as like a person he has a problem with. That is that is no secret. That I think everybody yeah. knows. Well, I mean, I'm sure you all know. But um, that was that was news to me. I thought you all were, were tight as could be, family. And um, I don't know. He, I mean, he went into a little bit of detail of like why he had such beef with Carlos. Something about socks or something like that. Um, this man has the pettiest reason of disliking somebody because of a take over stocks get I, over it look my 200 dollars in burger shot is just chilling there i don't i don't really get too serious about it all at the end of the day it's just numbers but um yeah um sorry i didn't bring this to you sooner it's just um I really did not know what to do with this situation and like what he was telling me. I didn't know if it was like that big of a deal. And then, you know, I met with him the other night and he dished out a little bit more of like, you know, I, I asked him like, hey, like, congrats on the new place. You guys moving in okay? And he was just like, uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, about what we talked about before, as things improved, and he just kind of sighed, and then he said, hmm, they're there. And then he happened to mention that, well, I guess, he didn't name any name specifically, but he said uh, one of y'all left. And then, I guess, Bane later informed me that it was, it was, unfortunately Lottie which is sad because I we, we like Lottie she's very yeah. nice yeah so again <laughs> I just... Lottie wasn't the only one. Oh shit okay you know it's none of our business that's all left you but... oh no. I don't think but that's yeah, gonna just... be the end of it but yeah it just uh Yeah, just wanted to to bring this to you cuz, you know, as Bane put it to me before, if if somebody was talking about us, our fan, our whatever, our crew, our family to someone else and we didn't know about it, it would we'd feel as a, like a disservice. I appreciate that. Um, I think this helps me a lot in. I think this helps me a lot in what I probably need to do moving forward, especially if I am going to bring things up because I've brought things up in the past. I've brought up concerns about Donnie and it was dismissed in the next conversation, being told. Donny is solid. There's nothing to worry about when I've brought up concerns that I think Tony is a red flag. And it was it was completely dismissed by 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 me being told that now nah, Donny is fine. He's all in for the family. And then I I hearing this, hmm. I I disagree. 
Yeah, I mean, if he's never brought up these concerns to you guys, then... It doesn't sound like he's really all in. Ah, uh, to begin with. I think, I think his... His intentions might be still all in for y'all. He's just, um... Being fucking stupid. Let me finish his sentence. Well, yeah, they, uh, yeah, that's a very broad way of putting it. He's not handling... Um, he's not handling... He's not handling things certain... Like, certain things well. Of uh, Especially when it comes to... Like, disagreements and obviously maybe even a little bit of beef. That's been... Uh, that's been going on. So obviously, I appreciate you guys like bringing this to me, but you brought it to me out of good faith. But in my next conversation, I would have to, I would have to bring up that my concerns about Donnie were right and true, and that he is the biggest red flag that I have seen. And I'm going to be asked, how do I know that? And... Right. How do you want me to approach that? Um... Honestly, it is up to you. I, I, don't, I would say... I don't have to... I don't have to say anything, but... I can I can still word it in such a way. Right. Um honestly it's up to you. I mean I think as we kind of put it yesterday, ideally maybe you just kinda get tiptoe to the uh to the subject. Because my thought process on it, and I, I guess it kind of honestly depends on how you guys feel about Donnie moving forward. Um, you know, he's told he's told me stuff. Uh, but who's to say he doesn't tell me something worse down the line? Something he really should not say. Wait, repeat that again. Sorry, I was texting Carlo. No, you're fine. Um, like we were saying, we you, you could tiptoe on the subject, like tiptoe towards it. Mm -hmm. um, do some fancy talk in order to basically just come about it by yourself. Of like at least his issues, not necessarily that mm -hmm. he was talking to me, but his, but his issues. Um, because it really depends on what y'all decide to do. With Donnie moving forward, of uh, y'all, you know, still bring him in on shit, still have him with y'all, because who's who's to say that he doesn't bring something worse to me in the future, or something more serious, I guess. Hmm. So if you if you want me to be that ear to Donnie. I I can, but um, you no, know I ain't, I'm, I gonna, I'm not gonna think, I'm not gonna tell you how to handle your I people. Don't you know, I think you should, Marty. I I mean I I know T is is nice and all, but I feel like at some point you should just be like I I don't want to know this. Yeah, and Donnie should know to not do that too. He should. I mean. Back in the day, we would never tell other inmates our dealings. That's just... That's a bad... That's a bad time. Everybody loves a little bit of gossip, but... Um, uh, you gotta keep uh, your cards close to your chest with what you got going on. Especially cards you got going on with other people. Yeah. I appreciate this, but, um, yeah. In all reality, there's, 
there's something I need to question somebody about today and if an ounce of defensiveness is sensed on my radar, um, I'm out of you. Mm. Wait, what do you mean you're you're outie? Like just walking away? Potentially, yeah. Well, I uh I know that's a probably a tough spot to be in, but I mean, at the, at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta do what you think is right. You know, we don't we don't know what that what that is for you. Only only you do. I'll I'll probably have more contact at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, you know, I want you to work out with you and them, but if. Uh, Departing is what's best for you. Then, you know, I would want that for you too. At the end of the day, guys, my husband left. The family I married into. My husband left the family I married into. My daughter just left. Because all of her frustrations were brushed away. And now my sister left. And the only reason I'm kind of sticking around too is because I brought my other sister, Fiona into this family and now I feel extremely responsible for her happiness as well. Would it be would it be wild of me to say that do you feel like you're in a family of, of strangers or is it just more that the people that you actually care about just have slowly drifted away. Both, I think. Okay. I um. Yeah, that's that's a rough spot. You know that it's. It's daunting when you stand at a conversation and somebody tells you who's in the family that they think that the family is holding you back. I was completely shocked when they said that. And they said they felt bad about it. Well, I gotta, I gotta fucking call Turo. Okay. I'll let you if you need this money. Oh, that's fine. Because I feel like I have certain expectations that the family want from me, but I did not sign up for this at all. And the people right. who should be doing it aren't doing it either. So what is what is left? Family and family and bonds are are tricky. It was Carlo, it, Hazel. You want to make sure that you're with the people, I guess, with the right people. I mean, with that big lug over there, it was something we slowly built. Um, and I can say proudly for everybody that we considered like a brother, a sister, like I would, I would die for those people. If there was a guard or a PD that had a gun pointing at him. I, I would gladly take a bullet for him during a riot or whatever. And I think that's what I think that's what you look for in people. 
is not necessarily blind loyalty or blind like devotion but people that a you genuinely care about and <laughs> b people that will have your back no matter what and you know for this guy here and everybody else that we had I checked both I, I checked both boxes there I was lucky I um I I consider us very lucky for what we had and I think we're getting there again right man it takes time but right where I, I am right now it's just I just don't all I see, right, is I feel like, you know, if you turn off the light and you just have like a bunch of glowing eyes staring back at you. I know that sounds terrifying, but I feel like you have all those eyes looking back at you because or it's, or it's like you're, you, you walk onto a stage, right? You walk onto a stage and it's like. It's like you have this expectation of people wanting you to do something and you're just there and you have i wouldn't say stage fright it's just like you didn't plan for this you didn't rehearse for this and i just i just don't really i just don't i didn't sign up for it i didn't sign up to put on a show and I didn't try sign up for any of this. I didn't sign up to hold people's hands. I didn't sign up to set the stage. And I didn't sign up to do any of this. Sounds like you got to get that spotlight off and walk off the stage. That's what's best for you. Yeah. Yeah, like Marty said, you know you best. I just want to make sure that Fiona is okay, and that's all I care about. Uh, have you... Everybody else is in an okay spot. Yeah. Have you, um... Have you talked to Fiona about the way that you're like feeling right now? Um, I haven't had time to. I talked to Carlo and Fiona together yesterday, and all of it was basically just Carlo's concerns about the family. I feel like, um, I mean, obviously, you do what you feel is right. I don't know, maybe she needs to hear that too. Like from you. And uh maybe it'll like it'll ring true for her as well, like if, if you're feeling this way, you know? I I think I would. I think there might also be a world for her crazy enough that she is staying for me and I'm staying for her, which would be so awkward and funny. I <laughs> If that's the case, you just you guys gotta hold hands and skip on out. <laughs> yep, right off into the sunset. Yeah, that would be really funny. Yeah, we hate to have this on top of your plate, hop all the other shit already, but you know, like Marty said. If someone was doing that shit to you, you know, I wouldn't expect you to not keep that from us. Um, Carla wants to meet up real quick. 
Um, before I meet up with Vito, if that's okay. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Oh, you yeah. gotta head on to him. That's that's uh that's what you gotta do. Yeah, I okay. guess so it's good if I you know talk to as many people as I can before I have the big talk. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, Charlie and them are trapped in the house anyway, so this is good timing. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. That's great. I'm probably gonna wait here. All right. Sounds good. Even. We're always here if you need help, and if you need anyone to talk to. I appreciate that. For real, call us if uh, call us if you need anything. Okay. I will. I appreciate you guys a lot. No problem. Uh... I appreciate you just as much. Good luck, Eve. Bye. I love them. I love hey, them. More. They're like they're like little bros, you know. Oh, this woman is jacked. Holy. What's the tattoo on her? Holy.
you like this bowl? Why? What, what about this bowl? Like what it says? Yes, everything does suck. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Good enough to. Um, get some Sani, hang out with Laurie for a bit, and then um, Marty and Bane had to talk to me about Donnie, actually. What about Donnie? Uh, Donnie, Donnie's been using um, the Not Pack as his personal therapist and talking about um, family matters. Oh god, like, like what? Everything. Down to his dumbass oh thoughts god. and who he doesn't trust and... Oh my god. Everything. Oh my god. Yeah. It's never ending. Yeah. Everything. Oh my god. Let me guess you brought up the house key thing too? I, I have no idea. I actually wanted to ask me about that, but it, it probably did. Jesus fucking Christ. And I told Vito that, you know, I felt like Donnie wasn't in it. And then Vito was like, yeah, I, uh, I had a, I had a, um, had a conversation with Donnie. He's all good. He's all good. And I was like, okay, well, I feel like Donnie is a big red flag, but okay. And this just proves to be that I am always right. My... My people reading skills are just always right about people. Yeah. But yeah. Christ. So I need to like, so the way I found out about Tessa right was Lottie told me right, and then I called Vito yesterday, and I asked like, were you not gonna tell me about Tessa leaving? And he told me that he had to talk to Juno first. Fucking hell. And I said, should you not have spoken to the family first? And he replied with, but she is family. And that is not by the slightest what I meant by saying, should you not have talked to the family first? Right. My, I was more questioning, should he not have prioritized telling the entirety of the family before comforting his girlfriend Juno over her best friend leaving. Then I brought up the fact yeah. that Tessa is my sister and I can my daughter left. Should I should he have given me the same courtesy by reaching out to me first in the same way he reached out to Juno first? Yeah. yeah this is um God every this is just all just there's no stability in here, Eve. No. No, nothing stable, and it's just like when you—it's th all just a mirage. Like you think it is, and then now here we find out about Donny. I mean, God, how long has been Donny doing this? Well, ever since Bane and them got their house, apparently, like they're like I don't—they're they're like I don't even know the guy. And he just like hung out with us. Us. He, he apparently helped them when he didn't want to give you the money for the the kickoff. He gave yeah. them money to buy their house. What? You, what? Yes. Oh my god! What the fuck? This is what I'm talking about. Like, we, if if I had it my way, I would cut all these people out of the everything. Fuck that. So I'm talking to Vito, but I I really think you should be in the conversation because I'm not just going to talk about the Juno thing yesterday because I do want to call him out on that. But there's so many underlying issues that need to be brought up. And if he gets defensive over Juno, Carlo, I, no. I, I am not staying for that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm down to be there as long as Vito lets me be there. Yeah, I can ask him. I mean, I feel like you should... 
I mean, I wanted to talk to him myself, so I'm, I mean, this kind of works out. Yeah, I'll ask him. I'll, I'll tell him straight up. At the, at like, the end of the day, like, I stuff. was trying to, I mean, I was trying to tell Luke's like yesterday, like, I know the stuff with uh, with him and Juno's difficult, but like at the end of the day, like I, I've been so conflicted because I have. I'll go ahead, and answer Zavito. Yeah. Hello. Hey, hey, I'm uh, I'm out of my meeting. You um, available? Yeah, I'm available. Uh, I'm with Carlo, and uh, we both want to talk to you. So is that okay if we do a, like a, a group group a combo? You want to? Oh, okay. About the, just because we want to. You and I had to talk about a specific thing. Is. Oh, Car no, Does Carlo know about that? Yeah, I mean, there's, that, there's a lot of stuff that we all want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, all right, what do you want to mean? Um, we are, my, me and Carlo are at the, uh, we are in Vespucci. Um, mm -hmm. I can ping I'm you, if you now. if you want to come here. Uh, is it by the Venetian? Uh, no, it's like on the other side. It's like a basketball court. So further, uh, further south towards uh, fire station or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. All right, I'm gonna. It's like past a big rusty, uh, penis-shaped um, statue. Rusty penis. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's easy to spot. I'll I'll be right there. I'm just driving down the beach right now. All right, uh, just. From Spucci, or from uh, Venetian. Yeah, yeah. It's like a basketball court. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah, he thinks I just want to talk about Juno. <laughs> yeah, wait until you drop this Donnie card on him. Yeah. Fucking hell. I just, like I was trying to tell Luch yesterday, like I just think there's just too many fires to put out at this point. It's, it's... Yeah, the, the, the Fiona and, and, and Tiny thing, which has been lingering for a long time, and just because it's like not there anymore like i just want you to know like this the underlying issue is still there and that's been that's been going on and then there's the me and donnie shit. then you had lottie and juno like is this just fucking hell oh my god like i was about to say like i've been so conflicted because like I, I i love Vito so much and i want to have his back but being here is so hard because of the people around us right now. Yeah, I agree. Hey. Hi. What's up? What's up? Oh. <laughs> How did we even stop? Oh, what's uh, you, you, Eve? You said you have several things to talk about. Um, yes. Um, so firstly, I probably want to talk about a yesterday's conversation and Tessa leaving. And I'd like you to, um, reiterate, I guess, about, um, why Tessa leaving wasn't treated the same as Lottie leaving. Uh, in what sense? What do you mean? Uh, I mean, both of them were members of the family. I know they were put through the two-week, um, you know, leave or get the fuck out. Um, mm -hmm. Lottie left. The whole family was told, you know, Lottie left, there's no way back. But when Tessa left, that wasn't treated the same at all. And a lot of us didn't even know up until later and had to find out from external people outside of the family that Tessa had left. You didn't have to find out like that. You happened to find out like that. True, yeah. But, um, okay, yeah, the circumstances are very different. Lottie talked to me here in, in on the beach in front of everybody. Lottie was a part of the meeting that we had while already having made a decision to leave the family. I, I thought it would be much more important to immediately tell everybody that Lottie is no longer in the family, seeing as she was in the meeting that had happened, what, five, ten minutes prior to her telling me that she had already made a decision? Um, so that, uh, I also thought that Lottie didn't have any particular hope of returning. <laughs> I don't really particularly care that Lottie's gone. I never really particularly care that Lottie was in. Whereas <laughs> Tessa was also of very different circumstances. 
Tessa talked to me privately in an alleyway and, 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 and had not given any indication before about the things that she mentioned to me. Um, I was also uh, not feeling well that day. Uh, I talked to Juno about it because Juno's her best friend. Juno has been so close to Tessa over the years that I've known her. It, it, the one person that made sense for me to talk to about Tessa and possibly mending that situation or getting context to understand if there was a problem there I could fix so that Tessa wouldn't leave was Juno. Juno brought it up to me that Tessa had already told her. I talked to Juno about it. I learned some things. I learned I understood things. I planned to tell everybody in the right moment. It, it, Tessa's also not part, and both of them, neither Tessa or Lottie, are critical parts of any operation that we have going on right now. It is not mission critical to inform everybody immediately that Tessa had left the family. But Tessa, you want to talk to me about personal, Tessa, you know, Tessa if you personally was, slighted, then it's fine. Well, Tessa, I had no issue. Either of them had left. I did not feel slighted at all. I can even bring up that Lottie is my daughter. Tessa is my sister. And both of those instances, I did not demand to know that they had left. And should I stand here and say that I demand to know first that they have left, but you are standing in front of me saying that you are putting Juno's interests before the family's interests when Tessa was in the family herself. And you're also telling me that you have, you're not treating a member of the family the same way just because of somebody else's personal interests with them. That's, that's not what I said at all. Well, let, let's, okay, let's break that down then real quick. What, how am I prioritizing Juno's interest? Because you said that they over, had a, the you, they, you said that they had a better relationship over the years and you were trying to save it. As you said, I don't know, I do not care for Lottie. She can go and fuck herself. No, no, I, I wasn't trying to save <laughs> Juno's relationship with Tessa. I didn't say that. I said I was trying to, I was trying to understand Tessa's decision through Juno so that I could save Tessa from leaving the family, if that was even an option. Whereas Lottie's decision to leave was because of Juno, and that wasn't actually to address that's, at that's all. That's not the case at all. Is that what Lottie said? That's what a lot of people know and has been happening and was never addressed at all. That is, wait, Lottie said that the reason she left was because of Juno? A majority of it, yes, because she felt uncomfortable around Juno. A majority of the time, That's... She, Lottie wanted to sit down with Juno, and that was denied by Juno herself, because she said she had no issue with Juno. She has no issue with Juno. With, with, where Juno has no issues with Lottie. And the I, one I disagreement they had about was about the whole Juno thing. Why do you ring that untrue? Because you can tell when people... You can tell when people do not like you. You can tell when people do not want to talk to you. And you can tell when people feel slighted by your actions. And if Lottie comes to me and tells me that she knows that 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 Juno is treating her differently from everybody else, I do believe her. I I talked to Lottie about the reasons why she was leaving. And she did mention the friction she had with Juno, but she did not say that, that was a priority. That was the number one reason why she left. She mentioned a lot of different things including things like communication, things like being excluded by people, not only Juno, not only Juno, but excluded by everybody else in the family too, with very few exceptions. She mentioned a few names, including yours. She mentioned not knowing about things, not being informed about things. She mentioned feeling out of place. Mm -hmm. She mentioned not seeing people because apparently there was a scheduling issue. She mentioned a plethora of things. And one of them was Juno. But in no way form did she mention that Juno was the number one reason why she left. So either she's lying to you or she's lying to me. Which one is it? I would have to ask her that. Which well, doesn't but does but which doesn't matter anymore because she's not here, so it's not a main issue right now. Sure, sure. Well, that's right. Uh, Lottie's opinion does not fucking matter. That's absolutely right. Now, Tessa is a different thing. I wasn't trying to prioritize Juno's relationship with Tessa. That is absolutely false. What I was trying to do was understand Tessa. And my best resource for that is Juno. But was Tessa's the decision not 
already made at that point. Sure, yeah, it was, yeah. That doesn't mean I wasn't going to try, if I could, if I understood more, because I was, frankly, left very confused about what Tessa told me, about some of the reasons that she told me were were the reasons she left, or she's deciding to leave. Did you, did you know, did anybody know that she wanted to buy the house that she was suggesting, the one on the corner, from us, down the line, after we had burnt it and used it? No. Did anybody know that? No. No. Well, she mentioned that as being as being one the reason, the real reason why she had proposed to buy that house instead of the ugly yellow one. But she had mentioned the ugly yellowness of the house as being the reason to openly to everybody. So that confused me. She also felt like she had been out of place the whole time. Apparently, this whole time she has been feeling out of place. Not a word that I ever hear about any of that. And I figured that if anybody knew more about that, it would be Juno. And so I went to Juno to understand Tessa. Not for Juno, for Tessa. I don't see why that's a problem. And again, Tessa isn't mission wasn't mission critical for anything at the time. So I, I don't see why that's a problem. I, I, ex explain to me why that was a problem. I understand if you feel personally slighted about it, Eve, because you're right, she is your sister. And if there's anybody I should have told, it should have been you, and I accept that. Well, I'm just trying to understand why the same, let's say, um, uh, protocol, energy, whatever, was not kept from going from Lottie leaving to Tessa leaving. And again, I am, I'm your third in command, and I would hope that you would also come to me with issues like this before anybody else, too, to understand this issue, potentially. Sure, and I, I, I would have, yeah, I, I would have, and we would have had this conversation about Tessa leaving in, in more detail, absolutely. That I didn't come to you first doesn't mean I wouldn't have come to you. I, I wasn't trying to hide anything, if that's what you think. I'm just trying to understand it in my head. Okay. Well, now, it's good that we have this conversation then, so you can understand where I came from with all of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of things that I've also just been missing out. I had no idea there's, that Jerry Sweets has been hanging around and that he left already and that that was um, troubling to Juno as well. I, I had no idea any of this was happening too. Yeah, yeah, Jerry Sweets did come back for a few days, yeah. He helped out Carlo quite a bit with the weed stuff, actually. It's all again. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was those are my, my my main concerns. And then um, there's a lot of other things. For example, Donnie. Um, yeah, this I is, had, this, you're gonna get a kick out of this. Yeah. I had brought up that Donnie had a very worrisome conversation about you. I told you that I feel like Donnie is potentially an extremely red flag. And then you told me that you had a conversation with him, and he's solid. He's in. He's for the family. And then today, um, trusted friends of mine had come to me and said that he has been uh, using them as personal therapy and they essentially, um, they, that he is essentially, from what I understand, still holding extremely every single grudge against the, against half of the people in the family. He is, <laughs> he's still extremely, has extremely bordered hatred against Carlo. He still talks about his dumbass stocks and he gave these people money over giving his kick up to us. Yeah. When he didn't want to give the money to Carlo for the kick up, he gave it to other people instead of us. And this is still after you, he, you and him talked and you told me he was solid and he's still doing these things. He does not want to. He does not want to make it seem like there's anything wrong when he is still battling all of these things. Yeah, it seems like a common theme. Okay, well, then he's already Fuck been talked to once. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, Vito. Like, I. Like. It, it, it has been. So the, the so many people around us, I feel like, are just so 
inconsistent and just are just there's so many fires burning around us and it's so hard to deal with like i'll be honest i like you solely are one of the main reasons i still want to you know i'm still here and helping like i i fully support you i love you and i'm and i'm here because of it but there's so many people around us that i just want to get the fuck rid of and it's it's been eating at me and and it's just it goes from things like donnie all the way to just like stupid x no no offense luca great great person i like hanging out with him but i mean he puts me at risk more than fucking you know just puts me at risk so much with all the shit he does and it's and it gets on my nerves and and i tell him one thing and then it happens again and we tell him another thing and he's texting fiona about putting stuff in the house and then fiona's got to get a new sim card i mean the guy never learns stuff like that and it's just these people are just driving me off the fucking walls yeah it, look I, I i understand there's people fucking up and there's, there's people that that have um that have these issues that we need to resolve uh, now now that we have made an incredible step forward which is the house and getting all that set up our next priority we haven't had this conversation yet but our next priority should be not we gave people an opportunity those who chose to stay we were giving we are giving them a chance now and if people are fucking up what we need to do now is select the people that we want to really stay in and those that we don't select are out now we choose who our people really are and 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 those that still are undetermined and we're not sure about we put to the test and if they fail they're out that should be our next priority going forward and if luca fucking fails and he fails if donnie fails and he fucking fails luca has failed though clean. a lot Sure, then we'll take that into account. He fucked up the other day with the text message. I get that 100%. And who's going to do this? So if he fucked up, then he's out. If Donnie, Donnie still hasn't resolved his issues, then he's out. Period. We do not need a fucking drama club. And who's going to do this? Especially not right now. So if we gotta select people, then we gotta select people. If people are having issues and they're not learning, then they're out, period. There's plenty of people out there that are more than willing to give us a shot and that we should be more than willing to give them a shot. Flash, for example. Johnny Sinatra, maybe. <laughs> I met a guy the other day called Mario DeVito. I don't know if he's related to Tommy DeVito, but the guy seemed fucking solid. Okay, but why, why do we keep on adding people continuously when we don't have that foundation set in stone yet oh no i'm not talking about adding people i'm talking about i'm talking about considering people down the line once we get rid of whoever we need to get rid of and if you want to get more people involved then we can and we bring them in slowly i'm saying bring them in now right but pick and choose who stays and who we bring in later there's there's so much to still build up for example the house there's the, uh, the other day i don't know, even know if you know this Vito. donnie accidentally picked up the dumbass computer of of billy yeah. i also don't know why billy is 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 like he, he pays 25k and and well we have to move him in like i, I don't understand half of the things that's happening there's no there's no solid structure i don't know who is supposed to be doing this his pc parts get lost and like who is covering that cost who is taking responsibility for covering the costs for all of the things that go into the house yeah i mean i'll be honest too i've been um i mean obviously you know i've been taking a lot on my plate i've been doing damn near everything when it comes to the legal operations i mean with the help of fiona and a little bit of tiny as well um i mean the reason i'm doing it is i mean honestly solely i just i really don't fucking trust anybody else to do it and i don't want anybody else to fuck this up for you know people like me you eve like i i, I don't mind taking on a lot it, it is a lot at, at times um you know my hands can only do so much uh and it's a, it's a lot of steps from going from the pushing to the the cleaning to the to going into the sewers and, and stuff and and i don't mind taking on that a lot of that responsibility but that, i mean that's a big part of the reason why i have been taking on so much is because uh i just want 
I want to keep what we have, you know, safe. And I don't want anybody else to fuck that up. And with how everybody else has been around me, I just, I'm, I'm worried. I've just been worried. Because with how inconsistent people have and how people are leaving, I mean, what happens if, you know, it's not necessarily the case, but what happens if, you know, we would have had someone like, like Tessa as our, as our pusher, right? And then Tessa does this and leaves and we'll we go back to square one. So, so I've been trying to take everything on on this end because God forbid we have people fucking snaking us and doing these dumb, dumb therapy sessions with other fucking groups around. At least, at least if we cut these people out or tell them to fuck off or they just fuck off themselves, at least we still have progression yep yeah you're right that's why that's why you were selected to do the pushing carlo yeah because i know you're not gonna walk out <laughs> at least i would hope so I'm not, I'm not just gonna leave out the dry like i said i'm i'm it's hard and it's it's been very stressful but at the end of the day, I 100% have your back out of he's, anybody he's here. He's not right? so, like answering any of the questions. Yeah, this whole thing—it's—it's it's, it's, you know, like, I get you. You're concerned that people might be bagging out. This whole Donnie thing is new to me. That—that that is also coming out of left field. I feel like there's a lot of things coming out of left field for me all of a sudden. Lottie, I'm honestly, kind of expected. Tessa, completely fucking left field. Uh, Huh? Now this whole thing with Donnie, I did not know that was an issue whatsoever. I, I, I feel like I don't people, know, people I don't speak enough. I don't know, but that well, then I had a conversation with him, right? And I thought everything was settled. So if it's continuing after that, I had no idea. And, and I think this is also part of that pro the problem that people aren't speaking their mind and telling me these things, and and expressing concerns so that I can try to fix and mend the problem. Because at the end of the day, that is what I am here for. I am here to <laughs> fix the problems that people are having. And not necessarily your personal and emotional problems, but I'm here to fix the issues. Right. And, and I spend every waking minute, every hour hmm? of my fucking hmm? life in this city hmm? talking to people in the family. Mm -hmm. And so it blows your mind hmm? that people aren't speaking their mind to me. Hmm? It, 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 you can, you're concerned about people walking out? I don't think it's 100% founded in reality, Carlo. The only people that have walked out have been uh, ice cream making, rainbow backpack wearing, bug loving, okie dokie saying Lottie, and then Tessa. Those are the only people that have walked out. And if anything, I think we can agree <laughs> that they weren't exactly the best fits anyway. Uh. So we could say, you know, okay, it's it sucks that they're gone. In my opinion, more Tessa, much more Tessa than Lottie. It sucks that they're gone, but we can make do without. Nobody else is leaving. Who else is leaving? Has anybody mentioned any any, any inkling of wanting to move on and leave? And, and and I don't know about it because now I'm thinking this is all a possibility. Has anybody mentioned wanting to leave? Well, not necessarily, but and then, but then we find out about people like Donnie who are just doing it without us knowing. Yeah, that's a concern. And at this point, Donnie has he had a fucked conversation up a computer in, in our house. And that's another thing. Like, I, I know it was an accident, but at what point does he have to be accountable for it? Because, like, we fucking lost a, a damn a whole PC because of him. Now, I, I'm not telling you right now, if, if it would have been the other way around and I did that, Donnie would have been on my fucking ass about it. Yeah, I didn't know it was Donnie. And so, so Donnie was the one that specifically fucked that computer up, broke it or something? Yeah. Okay, then he does need to be held accountable for that. Yeah. How much was a computer set up like that? Thirty something thousand dollars? Last I heard, that was a while ago. I mean, thankfully the desk was fine. We just lost the parts in it, but I, in the I already, in the hard drive, it I was the you know supplied the the GPU and CPU with my materials, and then the rest of the cost is is yeah, it's like sixteen thousand to replace the VPN and the hard drive. Yeah. But that that doesn't even i mean you can't really that that fixes that but i mean you can't really replace anything that's on we lost yeah. buttcoin and we lost apps that we had on that thankfully god god thank it you know thankful that it was not my computer because i have the most apps and most buttcoin out of on anything there but i mean it was it was still i think like a few buttcoin and and apps that are gonna 
No, then we're gonna have to get more buck point for to buy again. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it does suck. It does suck. I mean, obviously, I don't think Donnie meant to do anything particular to fuck the computer up. I don't know. Accidents happen. It's fine. And, and as far as I know, that day we were trying to rearrange things. There was a lot of weirdness happening. So I can't really, we can't really 100% blame the guy, but Billy Bronson sh should be compensated for that somehow. If we have to take it out of pocket, then we have to fucking take it out of pocket. I mean, what can we do? This guy's computer. Again. And him buying like whose him. pocket? Well, he, that's his computer that he's putting down in our house, right? Yes, but again, why though? It's. Does that guarantee him keys to the house? No, 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 not at all. No. I, I, and I, I hope nobody has made that bizarre assumption that because they put money towards the house or anything towards the house that they would be automatically granted access with a key that was never said it would be crazy if people assume that there's like 15 plus people right that put money towards the house i mean, i just want to sell this house bro some I more than others this, for sure including house, no. billy bronson he put in quite a bit I also hope people, like people buying, have. putting money in, into the house or things into the house, I hope they also understand that that doesn't mean that you're, that doesn't grant you any status, doesn't grant you any position, doesn't grant you power or influence. I, I hope people don't assume that. Billy Bronson is very much being vouched for by Tommy Kuzo. But he is in the same boat as, for example, Flash, if he were to come in. Mm -hmm. Same boat. He wants to help out with things. He wants to volunteer his computer to be put into the house. He wants to volunteer $20,000, $25,000 into the house. Great. We'll take it. Why not? Doesn't mean you're not going to be tested. I don't I don't like this at all. Can Vito, like, be Mina? Like, can, like, Vito just be Mina? So Billy Bronson is still t is still t is still to be tested. We still have to figure Billy Bronson why? out. Why? But why? So far, seems like a solid guy. But why? Tommy Cruz was vouching for him he heavily. We'll see how it goes with Billy Bronson. Aside from these things that you've mentioned, anything else? Um, I mean, I guess it's just a question, like, do you really think that we're able to keep going forward and putting all these fires out all the time? I mean, I'll be honest, like another one of the issues too, like, and, and it might not seem like an issue because it's, it hasn't been around or hasn't uh, been right in front of our eyes. But I mean, there's still the thing between Fiona and, and Tiny. I mean, that, that, that is, hasn't been unsolved for like still. <laughs> I, I, Tony is... Tiny see. has mentioned it to me in passing. He feels like that was already done and see, over with. See? Does Fiona feel otherwise? Yeah. I mean, she just wants to sit and talk to him, really, and just kind of have... I mean, she felt like... Oh, I'm pretty sure it was mentioned that she was, it was going to be like a mediated talk, but it just hasn't happened. Yeah, Tiny was a wolf for a little bit. Um, I think it's Tiny. That Tiny's... I mean, he says it's fine a lot of the times, but then, you know, you know... I mean, you know Tiny. He says it's fine, and then... You know, he gets a little sip of the tea and the guy just fucking spirals it in the fucking force fire. Yeah. If Fifi wants to have a talk, then we can have a talk between Fifi and Tiny. It's not a problem. I know Tiny's over it. He's not 
It's not going to be against a, a, a talk. It's fine. Tiny and Fifi have worked together as well. We, well, the four of us, right? You, me, Tiny, Fifi. We've done runs with weed and yeah. shit, and it's been fine. It, it's been, I don't sense any friction there. And if there is anything hidden under the surface that I'm not aware of, again, somehow, for some fucking reason, then it should be addressed. If she wants to have a talk, then she can have a talk. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. We could do that today. But Tiny's when, around. But when, when, I, when I brought that up for this uh, up, I don't think so. When I brought yeah, this well, up, comes around, then let he me know said we there's no need for problem. a sit down. Uh, that that should not be a problem anymore. Really, it should not be a problem anymore. But again, if people still feel like there is animosity towards other people, then that is a valid concern. But the thing is, just it just never was solved, too. You know, like it's not like it's coming up again. It's just it, it was just never solved in the first place, and I think. Fiona, at least, and I mean, Tiny hasn't really been around as well, but Fiona, I mean, yeah. her, her and, you know, we, when we go on these things, I mean, she just is able to put it away because, you know, we have business to do. But that doesn't make it, you know, the issue go away. It just makes it, you know, so that way. But she's just mature enough to put it away so that we could keep getting things done. Not necessarily erase the fact that you know there was some problems there well look frankly you asked me a question carlo do i think that this can move forward with all these fires that we have to put out no i don't i do not think so if there are continuous fires as they appear to have been without me knowing without it being apparent and, and and therefore solvable and addressed and extinguishable these fires i cannot know because unfortunately the way this works i do not even see the fucking smoke mm -hmm. no. if i do not know i cannot put a fire out but even mm -hmm. if i did know and there's just constant fires coming up and up and up and up and up we are literally crippling ourselves time and energy that we spend resolve that we yeah spend resolving these fires and putting them out extinguishing them and addressing them and talking and talking and talking it's time that we should be spending being productive out there in the streets i and agree that's why and that's why i brought up is, the house step right like that's i felt what we were stuck so much and i just that's why i got the idea of just you know pitching to you guys like we need a house let's actually put a document down and require people to do it because i felt like all of our energy was just going into fucking exactly what you just said. Yeah. Okay. But, well, we got the house though. It's, but how I much feel like of what was brought up as, right it's, now it's, it's happening again almost. is gonna in hindsight it's gonna be done. If I were to go back, I would I would I would still agree with you with the whole decision to make the priority of putting money together and getting the house. I, I in hindsight I agree with it. But you know, in hindsight also that put us in a very difficult spot right now. Because even with just Lottie and Tessa who again, not necessarily major losses, right? With the group in general, it sucks to lose people. Don't get me wrong, but not major operational losses. Both of them put money towards the house. Imagine how how Lottie and Tessa are feeling now. The, Lottie put in what seventeen thousand, Tessa twenty thousand, ten thousand. I don't know what it was. They, we in a, in a certain way, even though in hindsight I would do it again. We rushed a little too too fast to work towards an objective because now people are tied in. And now people are leaving, or, or at least Lottie and, and Tessa left. And maybe Donnie now is going to be out as well. Maybe Luca as well, and they have money tied up with us. That makes it so much more uncomfortable. That's why my priority when Luch decided to leave was making sure that we had a group that would not constantly have fires starting up before we started asking for money. That's fair, but I feel like we've done all that we can for these people to feel comfortable or to find their way and to do things. And it's just at the end of the day, it's I mean, it's partially is on them. Yeah. So fuck no, them. No, it is. Well, then fuck them then. Now we're in a position Take the to house say for ourselves. Them. Yes. Now we're in a position to do that. <laughs> yeah, Carlo. If you can't get your shit together. And you're gonna start making fires down the line, you're out.
So my answer, my answer to your question is, is that if we cannot fix the issue of constant fucking drama for the stupidest things, then no, we cannot go anywhere. Do I believe that issue to be a fixable one? Yes. We get together the inner circle. We decide who it is that we decide we, we consider to be the core of the group, trusted, and confided in to not start drama, to understand that drama is going to cripple us, and to commit to the idea of avoiding it at all costs. That will be our inner circle. And those people will have keys to the house. And those people will make decisions as to who's in and who's out. Carlo, you're included there. But that does not work if you yourself are having doubts. I, I don't yourself. have doubts in any of us in, 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 in these, you know, like you or Eve or like the people I have confident in. It, it's just in others. Yes. I mean, that's what that's another thing. Okay. It also does not work. If we're creating drama and issues out of things that do not need to be issues. My opinion, this whole thing about me somehow prioritizing Juno and my relationship or her relationship with Tessa. Not only I had a complete left field, but so unnecessary. I don't think I, I do not. I, I do. I do. I think that you had more of a bias towards Tessa and Juno's relationship. And you did not care about Lottie at all because Tessa, uh, because Juno did not like Lottie. So that was a very easy conversation to be for you to have. Yes, I do think there's bias. Yes, it's okay that Juno is your girlfriend. I just wish that you kept the same energy you had when coming to tell us that Lottie had left and that you kept the exact same energy to inform the family first that Tessa had left. We were all in the house after that conversation that is the energy that i wanted from you both of them are related to me and i i put the family first in reaction to that news and i wish you did too vito i'm sorry Eve. you're absurd <laughs> for saying that you wish that i did after the way i just explained it to you and i broke it down to you the way i just did <laughs> You are absurd if you are still, after the conversation that we just had, <laughs> and supposedly settled the subject, are still telling me that I apparently <laughs> made a decision to not treat both situations the same mm. because I, what, am in a relationship with Juno? <laughs> are, are you a child in a woman's body? Did we not just fucking talk about this? And did we not just settle it? Did I in any way insult you? In any way? You did not need yes, to you insult did. me like that in any way no you did just insult I me i did not yes you did you just said that i made the decision to treat both of those situations differently because i have a relationship with juno and i said that was perfectly fine no it's not perfectly fine that's <laughs> why it's an insult <sighs> that is unacceptable you would put that on me somehow that I'm making a decision based on my relationship with Juno after we just talked about it and I explained why I treated the boat differently <laughs> I didn't think about it again until you brought it up again well maybe you should have because apparently <laughs> we just put out a fire right <laughs> but I didn't know that there was actually still a fire there because you didn't say anything else. You sparked it again, Vito. You're telling me I lit that fire? Yes. I lit the fire of you thinking that I made a decision based on my relationship with Juno. Because I, apparently you think it's unnecessary drama. It is. Is it because it relates to Juno? No. It, it's because it's absurd. Is it because a, a majority of issues people do have comes back to Juno as well? <laughs> so there's more all right then you know what let's let's take it a step back <laughs> what other issues are related to juno from everybody else what other issues 
a majority of the time that the gossiping and stirring comes from Tiny and Juno. And maybe you are too close to see that. As when all the issues do not come to you because half of the time, Juno and Tiny are already talking about it and handling it on their own. Tell, tell me, tell me what issues, what gossiping is being done by Juno that is affecting more than Lottie. Let's let's leave it. Let's leave it at that for now. More than Lottie. If if I'm not. By the way, I'm not saying that there was any gossiping coming from Juno about Lottie, but let's assume that that's what you're referring. Or one of the things that you're referring to. So aside from that, what other issues of Juno has Juno caused with gossiping? And who has who else has issues in the family with Juno? Uh, Natalia is probably a good example, but you probably do not care about that. Why do I, why do I not care about that? Uh, because Natalia has has been an an issue on herself with um, side comments, but again, that was probably um, that was also stirred by Juno and Tiny and their own occasions on separate occasions to me as well. How so? What, what what are you referring? Are you referring to about the the comments made about sidebars and and phone calls and things like that? That was an instance where we were at the airport the day Carla got hit over the head and she had said something um, about uh, Luciano leaving, and Juno mm -hmm. took so much offense to that that her and Tiny stirred up, up on it about, and then they came to talk to me about it, and then. I don't know who else they talked to about it afterwards and it wasn't a big deal to me because i was worried about other things at the time and then like i said they took it upon themselves to try to sort out that issue they didn't take it upon themselves to solve to, to, to another issue that people discuss things that other people are doing and 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 they find problematic is not a problem it's not necessarily stirring the tiny and juno talked about those things doesn't mean that they were stirring or gossiping they were sharing opinions that they both had in common <laughs> about a person they thought was being problematic for X and Y reason. They both brought that issue to me. They brought it to Joe. We talked to Natalia. The issue's resolved. This isn't about gossip. If there's a if there's a person who is still somehow emotionally traumatized and bringing that and making snide side comments about Luciano leaving. They're not fit for the family right now. They're not fit for this group. If somebody does not understand that there will be sidebars in which they they will not be privy, there's information that they will not be privy to, they are not fit for this group. And if they're making side comments behind your back and behind my back, then it's a problem. And I would encourage anybody, Juno, Tiny, you two, anybody, to bring those issues to me so that I can fix them. Because then there is a fire that needs to be put out. And a person that we need to perhaps cut out. This isn't about gossip and <laughs> stirring. We'll consider that one addressed then. What other issues with who? With regards to Juno. I wasn't here for it, but it was a conversation at the dam that I got told about where... Juno and Tiny had told Lottie that she could not be friends with Yuno anymore, and they took it upon themselves to tell her that. This is just work, okay? I thought you were Who told you that? My dream, my career. Uh, Lottie herself. Did you talk to Juno and Tiny about what they said? Uh, Tiny's not been around it. Juno does not want to talk to me. What makes you think that? Because she told me as much. Well, if she if you said that, then that's a problem. I did not know that. She told you she does not want to talk to you. Period. Uh, when I addressed her, when you had asked me to talk to everybody before taking on this role in the family, I had a long conversation with her on the beach, and um, me asking her if she could trust me again after she felt extremely slighted that I had not called her after I left for my own personal issues and nothing to do with the family, she said, it is what it is. And you took that as 
you, she does not want to talk to you, period. Yes. Why? Because she doesn't, you know. Again, this is the same, you know, the same issue where I know that Lottie knows that Juno doesn't want to talk to her, interact with her. Carlo knows that Donnie doesn't want to act with, with him. Fiona knows that Tiny does not interact with her. I know Juno has the same feelings towards me. You just know these things. Okay, so if there's friction between you two, then it should be discussed. And you I two tried. should have a sit down. I tried discussing it with her. Then, okay, if you have, then you should have brought it to me so that I could perhaps address the issue. But I hear nothing from you about that. Why not? Vito, I I try to warn you about Donnie, and Donnie is still a red flag. I feel like if I, I try to tell you that, that Tiny and Fiona need to sit down, and you said Tiny is fine, they don't need to sit down. I feel like my word and my opinion does not matter at this rate. If you want to feel like that, that's completely on you, because that is not the message I'm trying to get across. Now, if, if I say, no, Tiny and Fiona seem to be okay, I don't think there's a necessity for a sit-down, is because I did not know Fifi still had an issue with it. Again, a fire that I didn't even know existed. I had let you know that she would still like the sit-down, but I, and then I had told you what Tiny had thought, and then you had told, told me if Tiny doesn't want one, then there shouldn't be one. You don't want to stoke the fire. Did I say that? That, that if Tiny doesn't... That... That doesn't make sense, because if Fifi wants a sit-down and is still having an issue, then a sit-down is necessary. You had brushed oh. the, you had brushed the sit-down aside after you heard that Tiny is okay with Fiona, but Fiona isn't. I didn't know Fiona wasn't. I, I literally just heard that from Carlo right here. I, I had told you these things. The thing is, is it was brought up, but like, there was, there was never any solution, so why do you think the fire would have been put out? Because things die out over time, you know, and, and issues become... True. But it doesn't. Well, not, apparently not, right? Not, not right? in this, I mean... this past month of being around here. It just doesn't. People do not let go of things. Unless they are told, you let go of it, or else you are fucking gone. Or unless they speak up their mind and say, hey, actually, no, hello, everybody, this is still an issue. But that doesn't happen. Like I said, people would rather talk exactly. behind people's backs. Exactly. And, and again, we go back to the fire, and there's no way I could have known Fifi was still having an issue. If, if she doesn't speak up, I cannot know. I would assume then, based on the information I have, that the issue's done and over with. <laughs> I think she just spoke up so much, and it was just never resolved. And at that point, she just felt like she had to put it away to uh... progress our business. <sighs> okay, well, obviously that's unhealthy. So now that we know about it, we can address it. But oh, this whole Donnie thing, for example, is another example. Is is another, well, yeah, example of the, this issue being recurrent. Clearly, I talked to Donnie after you told me your concerns. Bro, I, I said okay. I talked to Donnie. I can't believe he just the like the concerns seem to be resolved. I literally can't believe he good. went. We're moving forward, he Donnie, just but he like personally not. attacked. And there was Eve no like way that. for me to know that. Are you a child in a woman's body? That's crazy. That's even, I can't even to believe my face, he Donnie said, said that. That's crazy, you know, bro. At least he's kind of acted Dude, fine. Dude, I, I have the fucking patience yeah. of a fucking saint. So to find yeah. out from not even anybody... I mean, at this point, Donnie wasn't even stirring with anybody in, in the family. He's going outside. Which is even worse. That is even worse. Yes. That is also unacceptable. But okay, we're, we're kind of circling back to that topic, but we, we were talking about Juno because apparently this is a, a critical issue. If, if Juno said it is what it is, I do not think you should interpret that as her not wanting to talk to you. Does she I not do talk agree... to you, Vito? You should also probably know how she feels about people in the family, no? I talk to Juno on a personal level, and I, 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 I am extremely hesitant and careful to not mix what I do personally with Juno because she's my girlfriend with any official family business. Because that line is extremely dangerous when it becomes blurred. If there is an issue and you believe that there is an issue, 
between you and Juno, we should have a sit down. We should resolve this issue, hash it out, <laughs> and move fucking forward. So you've brought three things to my attention, Lottie. First of all, what you said on the dam, what Tiny and, and Lottie and uh, Juno said on the on the dam to Lottie, was that they found it to be fucked up, if you will. That Lottie was so outspoken about wanting to continue a relationship with somebody who had threatened a family mem member's life. That is not an unreasonable thing. And it, that, 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 is, that is not an unreasonable thing. Lottie should not have... And I talked to Lottie about it afterwards. She didn't have the whole co context of things. So I don't necessarily blame her for that. But if she had had the context of it, like was assumed, she should not have been prioritizing a friendship with Yuno over Gigi getting a gun to her fucking head. That, that's not an, that's that's fucked up but again that's what they expressed to Lottie again but why would it why why is it that place to express this to her in that situation why not w what's the issue of them expressing that opinion to her it's like it's, it's not that place. Why not? If, if you feel it's that place, then then fine. It, it was... I, I don't think it was... They told they told her that she couldn't be friends with him. I don't think that's what they said. I think that's the way Lottie interpreted it. Because they said that it, would, it, it was fucked up that she was prioritizing that friendship. Over Gigi. I, I, from my understanding, I do not believe there was any point in time that it was mentioned that she could not. Be oh yeah, I heard it from with, Tessa. With I heard it from Tessa. I think that's her interpretation. I heard it from Tessa. Because Tessa was scared about the family after that. Fuck. At the end of the day, our lives would be made one hundred percent easier if people would go directly to each other with the concerns when it comes to each other. Hash it out, talk about it, resolve it, and move the fuck on. Because then we don't need to have a sit down. We don't need to become. We need. We don't need things to become bigger than they are, or they, they deserve to be. Or, you know, it, it's good if people talk to each other. There's no problem with that. If they can't resolve it after talking to each other, that's when they should come to us. Yeah, I just think the issue is nobody has gone to each other. You know. Yeah, but I insist on, 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 on this Juno thing. I'm sorry, but what other issues? Aside from the ones you mentioned, which have been basically Lottie and, um, and well, and you. <laughs> you, you made it out to seem as if a vast majority of people <laughs> in the family have an issue with Juno. <laughs> uh, it was the Natalia thing, and then uh, I wouldn't know oh, about yeah. anything else. Okay. Okay. Looks at Paolo. So clearly not a big issue, right? Would <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, or would I be mistaken in, in saying that? Answer. I'm gonna take the silence as no. Not a big issue with Juno. Um, unless unless Paolo has anything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Throws Paolo under the bus. <laughs> I mean at times I think she can get a little bit in the way. <laughs> Thank you, Carlo. Of what? <laughs> Things that you need to do. Me? Uh. For instance, like when we're going on our runs and stuff, I mean, she's always calling you and getting angry that you're not there with her. Yeah, she does do that. Yeah. What do I do? What do I do, Paolo?
Tell me what I do. When she calls me and I'm in the middle of a run with you, what do I do? An answer? No, I do answer. Why? Why not? Selling drugs? Driving in a car? Se selling drugs or otherwise? Driving in a car? Tell him, telling Juno, hey, sorry, look, I'm actually busy. I can't stop what I'm doing and go to yes. you and spend time with you. Yes. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> so what's she getting in the way? I, of exactly? I think she just, I, I think she just thinks that she has this ability to, to, um, to pull you away from things whenever she needs you. When it, it, it's just not the, it shouldn't be the case. Like she shouldn't even be calling you in the first place that when she knows that we're going on these things, you know? She knows she should know that you're focused and you, you should put her in her in her place. I do when I tell her that I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to meet up with her and spend spend cuddly cuddly time with her. I'm gonna continue what I'm doing, and she should wait for my call. She's also not a fucking mind reader and not omniscient to know exactly what I'm doing at all times. And these things don't necessarily take half an hour, 20 minutes, Carlo. They take two hours. I, so, yeah, I know. She's going to call me eventually and be like, hey, are you still doing the thing? And I'll be like, no, no. Or, sorry, yes, I am doing the thing. Sorry, I can't meet up with you. I'll call you when I'm done, which is what I've done every single time. But what else has she pulled me away from? Well, I'm just saying, like, I think it's fucked up that, you know, then she goes and puts you in, like, when, when we're doing those runs, I mean, you joke about it or and we, we we joke about it but like you say you're in the doghouse with her and i think that's fucked up that she puts you there because you're dealing with stuff that we need to deal with like that one day you know we we, we, <laughs> we said we had to go up to Polito for, for another run and you and you you were like I, you know i don't know if we could do more because you she she was needing you for some reason and i think you, she just needs to be put in a place to realize that that stuff comes before her and she shouldn't feel the need to call you in the first place you're right you reach out to her if you need her you're right. That's my personal issue with Juno. But and in that same circumstance, no, it doesn't. How, how has how did that affect the family? Did I not go up to Polito that day anyway? Even cracking jokes about the how the, the dog house. I honestly don't remember, but I just know that that happened. That's a personal thing between me and Juno. And with very few exceptions, I would say there has been rare, extreme rare circumstances that I have dropped anything to go spend more time with Juno. In fact, the opposite has been more true in every possible way. I have dropped spending time with Juno to do things with family members. Even if it is just fucking talking for six hours a day seven hours a day that's over dramatic so what else has she pulled me away from it was more so the fact that i just don't think she understands the separation not necessarily that you're not or uh, i mean not necessarily like I think she tries to do that and it just sometimes it's just uh by the way do you guys have food real quick what someone have food oh yeah just like, ate my last fries <sighs> no he doesn't defend he doesn't defend anybody like he defends juno obviously I mean, for me, I mean, the general thing is not necessarily, like I said, it's not. My my more concern is has been with just the vast majority of everybody, like just that I could just trust around us. That that is where my 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 worries come from. Like I said, at the end of the day, like. I'm fully here to support you and I, I help you out. 
but it's hard with or not hard but it's it's difficult with the people like that i can rely on it's just and i was i was you know thinking about it too like it, i mean and there's nothing we could do about this but it's it's been very hard with the things that i do without the you know the core like mateo and uh and sammy you know like they're hard yeah, I mean, there's nothing to do there. Like they, I mean, they got they got priorities. I'm not mad at them. You know, it's definitely doesn't help. Yeah, I I miss those people too because they were also people that would help us a lot with what we're going going through right now with the operations that we have. Right. So, yeah, I get that. Thank you, Stalin. But yeah, like you said, nothing we could do there. I don't want to dance around subjects, and I don't mean to circle back to it. <laughs> no issue. Settled? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go back to my train of thought. Unnecessary. <laughs> sure, buddy. Uh, completely unnecessary. Sure, buddy. Out of left field, and not relevant to what should be priority right now. Sure, buddy. Which is moving forward. Sure, buddy. With what buddy. we have, the house, the sure, crypto, the buddy. weed. Materials, all sure, of them. Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. This drama with Donnie, unnecessary. Not you ask me, can we move? The drama coming from Donnie, unnecessary. Oh, from him, yes. Yeah, yeah, completely unnecessary. This guy, he should, he should be in at this point. Or if not, he should, he got, he should have left a long time ago. Yeah. now what i mean i mean you said to yourself we can't constantly put out fires like this like it's just one it's just unhealthy for us and then and two it's just it's just not a plausible like idea it's not realistic Well, um, this conversation itself is, is, is quite, quite revealing. I just, I, I don't know. I, I mean, what, how do we move forward? You're right. How do we move forward? Do, can I, can I, can, can I just look at it from my own perspective? Can I move forward knowing that the issues we've discussed here really are settled? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You can tell me right now they are, but. No, I know. I don't know what you're going to go do after this. I don't know what you're going to say. And if history is any sort of indicator, well, things will resurface. Yeah. Then let's all just We've tried fuck off. to put let's, this together let's all and just make it fuck work. Off. Me and Carlo and Fifi stay in people. the house. If you, in, Vito, you in. go, don't, you go live in your little bubble with Juno. Weeks I gave him. You know? People insist on staying in, but also held that feelings and, and know, actually don't want to be in it, don't like it here, what the fuck are we going to do with that? How are we supposed to know what is really going on in the hearts and minds of people? That's what's How going am I supposed my to heart. know what's even really going on in the hearts and minds of you two? That's, that's what's going on. My, I just told you. Did you read that? Yeah. You read I mean, that, at, at what point do we just, just let people walk away from us or we just say, fuck this and walk away from them? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll walk away right now. I'll walk away right now. Refund you all the money. Give me that house. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we just walk let's, away from them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just go. Just go. Yeah. It is, it is not worth putting something together with the doubts that we have expressed here to each other. It is not worth it. It will drain each and every one of us to our core. Yeah, I, I I'll be honest. I've been feeling drained, completely. And it's obvious there's a lot of people who feel the exact same way, but they just don't voice it. We only know about Donnie's concerns because he's voicing it to other people. Who knows who who other people like really feel? And at the end of the day, like, are we gonna stand here talk about all these things and? 
what are what 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 work do the three of us have to put in to appease everybody else and make everything work is it worth it at the end of the day the amount of work and the amount of things people expect i can tell you now what people expect people expect financial structure people expect funds to be put into the house so they can use to make all of these operations work who is doing that where is that coming from people expect a smooth transition from let's say the eu crew like i can i can me carlo fifi whoever else is around to you Vito, and that doesn't happen it's not happening that that that's what one of the main reasons the communication that isn't there that isn't happening these are the things that need to be worked on and at the end of the day is that worth putting in all the work when at the end of the day the past month has just been constant fires that we think we're putting out and it just does not get put out is it worth it at the end of the day we came back we said we're not a family we're not an organization we came back and that was said to every single person at a big meeting the biggest meeting that i've ever seen looking at new faces new hopeful people that i have not seen before and they're all just standing there expecting so much from you from luciano from everybody and then it was just you left that's a lot on your so shoulders at the end of the day and now it falls onto everybody else and at the end of the day you have to ask yourself can you do this with all these people still wanting the same things people are expecting to be micromanaged i'm i can't do that again i did that in sabras i can't i can't micromanage people who aren't proactive and that there's a lot of people who need that unfortunately in life and i really cannot do that how long have you felt that way everything you just said how long have you felt that uh probably i don't know since people have been bringing keep on bringing stuff up that have have needed to go like leave leave it behind and just move on it's the constant phone calls when you're not around Vito. when people are like yeah so when are we doing this when are we doing that people who look for direction and then it's the hours that i have to wait for you and then i'm exhausted by the end of the day because i have to talk to you about all of these concerns and issues and then the next day it just repeats itself because missing joe is a big part of it as well yeah yeah it is it is a big part of it yeah joe has been missing but yeah. in that sense also eve the whole point of putting you in a position of leadership was to assume all those responsibilities did i make the incorrect assumption that you wanted that responsibility i don't think that being an advisor meant that i had to micromanage people's business and dealings that's exactly well at least in terms of feelings and, and feelings and, yes and, but and not the... but not the business that they were that they had to do i don't i don't think that i had to be the exact same person i was five years ago and be their corpo boss and help them and tell them what they had to do on a day-to-day -day basis because that's what people are expecting i thought that would be you it is it is me but if i'm not around then the next alternative should be the other people that have been placed in leadership positions and in that case it would have been you and joe even though that wasn't necessarily what you signed up for if i'm not around people will call you because we have announced to everybody that it is the three of us at the top different roles yes but the three of us at the top if i'm not around of course they'll go to you and if you weren't around and joe was and they would go to joe yeah and i've been, but it, I've come, been it comes I've with been it trying you know, like... to hold on day to day to day and i have been and then like i said it's hard having to wait every single day for a conversation when i'm nearing the end of my day and then most of the days i don't know when you are around it's extremely hard i can't keep on call like calling your phone every hour hoping i know when you're awake i call you 
almost every day. Not, not I will say not every day, but I, I call I call you every day. I call Carlo every day. Oh Fiona, almost every day. <laughs> I call Tiny every day. I call. He calls Fiona every day, but he well, calls Juno me every day. I call everybody. What? Every day. But he calls me almost every day. But he calls Fiona every day. Huh? Well, in that case, Eve, if you've been feeling that way, then I do not think that you should be in that position that you are. And it's not because I don't think you're capable of it. It seems like you just don't want to have that, I guess, the baggage that comes <laughs> with the responsibility of a closer lady, which is being somebody that people will look to as a leader. Hmm. That's just, it comes with the role of a leadership position. <laughs> if Joe's feeling the same way, then it, Joe's feeling the same way. Hmm. And, I feel, in my opinion, that if you mm. have felt like this for a while, that I I feel like you should have brought this up to me. I feel like a lot of people feel this way, Vito. Well, about about what? What do you mean? We're talking about leadership positions. No, I just I mean the feelings in general. And I'm just, I'm not saying I can't do this. I've just expressed to you everything that comes upon doing this and everything that needs to be done and i'm saying that i don't see it being done okay so it's frustrating to me when i hear that this is a lot of people who else is having issues we've talked about donnie we've talked about well obviously lottie and tessa you two are bringing these concerns to me about juno for example unspoken fifi we mentioned her not bringing up or ha or stopping or, you know, having stopped bringing up the issue yeah, with Tiny. He's, he's just adding, like, who, work who roles. It's not just about... It's not just about... It's, it's pressure towards, like, wanting to see operations succeed when there is no clear path to it. I, that's that's I, anybody, oh. that's everybody in, who are running the operations right now, too. I, 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 I'm sorry, but clear path? We've been working on the house for two weeks. Was that not clear enough for everybody? And, and we've had the house for two days. Mm -hmm. Direction was set. Objective, clear. Expectations, clear. For anybody that wasn't in a meeting, I specifically said... For anybody not here, make sure everybody knows. Ugh. I'll try my best to also do the same and let people know. God, he's so trying it, to just, like, piggyback. Well, that was clear. Like, like off has, of me anything, right now. If people are going to complain that there's been no direction for two days... He's just, like, like piggybacking accept. off of me. But they have to specifically say that for these last two days, we have had no direction. Mm. And then I will slap the fuck out of them. <laughs> sure. Okay. Respectful. <laughs> With the back of my head. Mm -hmm. Now, if people want to say we don't know what's next, fine. We could talk about what's next. Let's put objectives on the table. We have yet to have that meeting where we have now set up the house correctly. And we have to say, okay, we're missing this. We need this amount of money. We need this amount of materials. I need this amount of wood. We need to have X amount of butt coin. So on and so forth. We, we haven't discussed that yet. That's true. What does Eve know? But it's been two days. <laughs> One of which was spent moving. <laughs> so. <laughs> what lack of direction? I mean, can I ask you what is going to be done after this conversation? This conversation is putting into question everything that I had in my mind, which was what I just said, basically, talking to, well, the two of you plus others about what it is that we need and making people aware of those objectives and putting them to work towards those objectives. That's what I had in mind. They're a general plan, but it's a good plan. Here we are. Here's where we need to be. Here's what we need to get there. Simple. That's what I was going to do. Now, 
there is an under, uh, underlying issue, which is apparently this might not even fucking work. And that, let me tell you, if we decide that, that, that this is not going to work, that there's no way of moving forward confidently, mm -hmm. we're in a pickle. Why? Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but we just bought a 400 and something thousand dollar house that <laughs> Tessa was right is ugly as shit. I kind of like it. I kind of like nice. it too. That's nice. I, I, you know, yeah, okay, fine. I, okay, at least the three of us agree. Yeah, I saw a drop of that Nathan's today. Yeah. At our house, actually. At our house. So is it okay if Fiona comes here? Sure, yeah, bring her in. Now, want... if, if we decide, hey, you know what? This isn't worth continuing. What the fuck are we going to do with that? First of all, we have to sell the house. Do which we? means we have to... Well... Well, it goes back to the whole money thing. Because, E, first of all, you have like $100,000 tied up there. Carlo, I don't know how much you have in there. Yeah, We have to look at the sheet. Billy Bronson's got 25000 Tommy cuzo has got 20000 You know, so on and so forth. If, if we decide to tell everybody, you know what? This isn't working. It's a lot of fucking money. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Sell the house, pay everybody back. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. It, obviously, there is a solution, but eesh, the way you know what I I think if anything, if, if we decide to do that, I'm not saying we do, but we the idea is very easy. We sell it to a to a group of people that is up and coming, that would be interested in buying an ugly or the uglier type of house in Mirror Park as a warehouse. It's not going to be that difficult, but that puts us in that spot, right? I'll just keep it. Or we just keep it. Then at that point, we give everybody keys and tell them you can use the house for whatever, right? I mean, fuck no, or, or, fuck that. Or then we decide who gets keys and and <laughs> we move on. I guess I don't know. Yeah, at the very minimum, us three. I, I don't need my own. I've been I've been sharing my my key with Fiona. She keeps it because she's a, you know wakes up earlier than me. But I don't need my own because I'm usually with her. <laughs> we just keep Natalia around to decorate the house. You know what I mean? Nah, I can decorate that bitch. Oh, perfect. Then fucking Natalia's key. Wait, does she have a key? No, she uses mine. No. Okay. Uh, wait, she's. She's already been in there to, to decorate? She put floors down upstairs. She like, I think oh, she put nice. floors down here. Oh, good shit, good shit, okay. Did she fix the staircase? Mm, no? I'm not sure. This conversation is, is revealing in a lot of ways. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say that I, I, I feel now after this conversation completely drained and demotivated when I wasn't feeling like that yesterday. I don't know what to do with that. The fuck am I supposed to do with that? Apparently, Juno was a big issue. And we don't have to talk about it. I don't want to circle around, but apparently <laughs> that was a big fucking issue again. Yeah, Sorry that reason. you feel that way, but I mean, to be honest, that's how I've been feeling. So I'm just being honest with you. Sure. It's good that you're being honest to me and with me about it. I get that. I'm not... I'm not holding it against you that you brought it up. I think we're all being held back. By our own yes. internal drama club? Yes. By having people need to rely on us, by having to set expectations in a group, and that essentially holds us back into things that we probably want to achieve outside, inside, when you have to make decisions and constantly think, is this the right decision for a group of people where a group of people who we barely know moving back as well. If you look at the, the group that we call up every day now, how well do we even know these people around us right now? It's true. That's true. Yeah, I, I barely know Natalia. I don't. Yeah. I, don't I mean, I think we're trying to build. A, I think we're trying to build a house on fire with wooden planks, and it's just not going to work. 
Okay, so what's the solution then, Paolo? What do you what do you think? I think we take the close is the close and we separate. That's great. What do we do with the rest? That's up to them. I, I think you know, that... How do we deal with it? I mean, like... At the end of the day, I think that operations can still be ran. I just think that there's just... I think that organization can still be built. It's just gonna... It can just take longer. I feel like this was extremely rushed. I think it can... Like, the, the weed operation can still be ongoing. Just, like, not... Just not as close-knit as we we wanted. I think the dream can still be, just not now. Okay. Let let everybody still find their place, spread their wings, see if this is what they really want. But just do it in a longer term. I don't think there has to be a set thing right the second. So basically, you're saying let's not force it. Because that's what it feels like we're doing, right? And that feels like that—that that is part of the issue. That if it feels like we're forcing it, we're forcing something to work that clearly isn't working. Yeah, sentiment correct. In a sense, yeah. Then why did we ask for everybody to put in money for the house? Because I think, uh, uh, Carlo, I think we thought of it. Carlo, yeah, Carlo, Carlo, you say what you said like yesterday. You had it the best. In terms of just thinking it would help? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I thought that we were in a rough spot by putting an idea like that forward. It gave everybody, it, it would give people a drive, a motive. Uh, it would cut the fucking drama shit out. And it would progress us forward. And... Yeah, I mean, it was it was a shot in the dark to try and fix, like, patch all the holes on the fucking sinking ship. That's why I put that idea up. Yeah, and yeah. I had no intent to think, oh, like, this was going to go south or I wouldn't fix it. it I, I generally thought it would help. And, and just after, I mean, I, I know it's only been two days, but after just seeing what the, the, has came after... And people's like, I feel expectations like too. Yeah, I feel like it's it's just. I mean, it didn't work, and I'll 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 be, I'll be the one that to say. I mean, I it was my idea, so it is what it is. I I I don't know. Look, I know I I get it. I get it. And and I like I said earlier, even in hindsight, knowing knowing where we are now in hindsight, I would still have done the same thing. I would have agreed with you, and I said, okay, yeah, house is a good idea. Let's work towards it. But, you know, now now moving from that is where the awkwardness comes in because we're telling a bunch of people that have uh, have put in varying amounts of literal resources into an, a house that is no longer going to be used to centralize operations for everybody. Because what we're saying is essentially that. Let's use the house, let's keep it. Let's have people, uh, I don't know, continue to use it, but we're not also we're also not well, going we, to be officially a thing or what like you know like what what well, do we, we what does that look like it just looks like that okay, we we don't have our shit together and that's okay hmm. and what we could do with the house is we could keep the house and then we can just we can see if people want money back immediately or we can just agree to pay people back every week slowly and that's fine I can do that. I make I'll be enough honest, money. I, I'm, I'd be even in for that too. I, I, I could put in as much shifts as a doctor as possible because at the end of the day, I would rather, I would rather slave away at that fucking hospital than continually being drained with the other shit here. Okay. Hey, Fifi. Okay. Hello. Hey. Joe's around. Oh, Lee, no way. Huh. Are you gonna get Joe down here? I may as well. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna take a quick water break. Oh my god. Guys! 
this is the best outcome ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is literally the best outcome ever. Holy. I don't even care that he insulted us. If I can get away from this drama filled. Oh my god. I'm gonna get water real quick, guys. Stay cozy. Stay fucking cozy. I'll be right back. And yes, Am, you can still be. No, I think I just propose the idea of just oh. rather than always, you know, letting these people walk away or cutting the fat, we just walk away ourselves from these people. Okay, so summary of the conversation. Joe's on his way, actually. Wait, hold up. Probably wait until he gets here. Yeah, yeah. It's GG. Hey. Hey, GG. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, but we have a football game and you're our quarterback in one hour. Hey, I haven't seen you at the Escalade. What did I just read? <laughs> you're right back in one hour. I'm cozy with you every day, baby girl. XX. Why don't you just come snuggle up here? Ah. <laughs> uh, nah, guys. This I dreamt about this. <laughs> Not the XX. Shit, we're gonna have to meet up and get you that uniform. But um, yeah, it's it's in and out. Flash text to me. Oh, I, yeah, saw, I saw Apple today, enough. Apple and Winter. I Apple ID'd a person who looks like a K-pop star, and it was Apple. 
<laughs> yeah, I ran into him the other day too. Football game still happening? That's what we're trying to figure out right now. Uh, Luch said he'll call back and and he's gonna check with uh, with with their people to see if it's happening. <laughs> Joe said he's walking. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go so ahead. Him up. I'm gonna pick him up. Yeah, I need to go have a tinkle. No, you... I'll pick him up in a sec. Okay. Tinkle. Yes. Hello, how proud of you that I did not walk away when Vito said that I'm a little girl in a woman's body? I thought you were gonna walk away. He said that? Yeah, he. Yeah, I, I, I called him out on his Juno bias and he said, I'm a little girl in a woman's body. What the fuck? Yeah. It's okay yeah. though, words don't hurt me. Mm. Hey, Lottie. Hello, how are you? I'm alright, how are you? I'm okay. Um, yeah, I got to bed again I soon. I, um, I but I just wanted to check in on you. Um, and uh, see if you're if you're uh, doing alright. Um, I'm having a big talk with Vito right now. And oh, Paolo, okay, okay. And oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pee break right now because Fifi joined oh. and Joe just woke up, so it's gonna get oh. spicy. Oh, is everything okay? Um, I not, think not my business, I guess. No, but... I think you leaving started um something good. Oh, oh, well, that is good then. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Uh, I'll update you after. Okay. Okay, dog. Okay. 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 Love you. I talk to you. Love you too. Bye. Yes. No, no, no! Don't burn the house. We need the house. Yeah, we're just I was kind of thinking. We're just gonna. Kind of everybody. thinking about the house, and I was thinking the house. You know when the marriage is going to shit, and they have a baby to try and save the marriage. So the house is. <laughs> we already have kids. Actual kids. No, I'm sterile. God damn it. Hey, where are you? It's, a it's a water Hello, supply. Apple streams. What? Yeah, this that. world would burn down. <laughs> Anyway, did you update Fiona though? Make a job. Alright. Did you update Fiona? Sort of. Yeah, kind of. So, well, Fiona, if you have any concerns about how you do not like how anything is like right now, now is the time to really sink the ship. And that's how I can put it. Okay. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, the. That's fine. I, the thing is, is like I feel like I have been vocal about my concerns to Vito. Like, Apparently not. Like, oh, ma'am. No. Well, Vito was uh, just saying that, that he doesn't he has, think that you. He, he's yeah. He's like I don't think Fiona has talked about any of her concerns. What? Yeah, I even told him about. But isn't your he concern. the guy that said I had zero zero issues with whatever well, I tried the fuck bringing happened? Up, I, I did mention on your behalf the tiny Tony stuff still, so, and that you know, that was. You brought it up, and it was just never solved, so why would it just go away? Well, I have... The thing is, is that, like, my issues I brought up, but I can still see the broader issues. Mm -hmm. As well, and those are obviously going to be concerning. Right, so I think you should just mention that. I didn't mention that, because I knew that that was still a problem for you. But you weren't here, and I couldn't bring you here. Oh. Yeah, you dropped it. Oh. Do you have food, Hello? water, hey, Joe. bandages? Do I have food? I got bandages, I ain't got... Advil? I'm asking if you're hungry. Fuck, I could use Advil. Um, I'm thirsty and a little hungry, that's about it. Alright, you want food? If you don't mind, thank you. I'm having a good day today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, great. Um, Let's fuck it up yes, real quick. Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yesterday was probably one of the worst days I fucking had. But then today, I wake up, fucking <laughs> bright as rain. It's, it's uh, what a miracle. Drugs, you know? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna ruin it for you, so... Oh. In. oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... TLDR. Quick rundown. Oh, did you guys get the house? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we do. Nice. Uh, good. Yeah, it's nice. Big step. Uh, the shield Big later. Step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. Yeah. You see it. Yeah. We pulled I'm great. glad, we, I'm we glad my great... ten thousand dollars, you know, contributed to it. Well, yeah. Was yeah. Thank you. Go down with one of the best Joel. rug pulls in history. Yeah. Well. <laughs> now we now we're gonna sell the house. Uh, it's been two days, and we're looking to maybe sell Wait, the house. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah, we're moving forward. Yeah, we're buying. We're buying some nothing. We're just buying out. We're cashing out all the stocks. Oh, you guys are being funny, right? Yeah. Ah. Kind of. Huh. Been two days. All right. So TLDR. Wait, was there fucking asbestos in the house or something? <laughs> uh. Could say that. <laughs> oh, that's like that. not good. So here's the thing: there was fires in the house, but it seems like nobody knew except very few people about those fires being in the house. And me in particular, I had no idea that there was any fires, and it was like smokeless fires too. But apparently, it was burning the place down. So yeah. They have to sell the fucking thing. That's such a good analogy. Mm. So, TLDR, uh, real quick for you, Joe. Lottie's uh-huh. out. Tess is out. We'll get into detail about that uh, afterwards. But uh, those, right. those two are out. Uh, uh okay. Yep. Huh. Hmm. Donnie's, Donnie's questionable. Donnie's questionable. Um, hmm. Found out that. Essentially, we found out that Donnie. Um, was going to another group and airing his grievances about everything in the family. Oh, perfect. After, you know, after I'm, we, I'm... after we sat down and, well, after we sat down and spoke with Vito and Eve, and, well, you know, it. when he wasn't giving his money for the house, he was giving money to that group for their things. Oh, love it. I love, I love when people do that type of shit. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck um, everything like uh, the the stocks issue, the fucking his problems with oh, me. Uh, like, oh, he's still going on about that with you. Yes. He's still going on. Yes. And, and and can we just all please just look at the goddamn fucking market because I want you guys to know that Donnie wanted everybody. All right, look look at your goddamn phone. Everyone he wanted everybody to buy at point zero nine five, and that shit is at point zero eight. It has only gone fucking down. Holy shit. <laughs> hmm. Good thing I put a dollar into it. <laughs> oh. Besides the point that my hey. my um Jesus. advice was correct. Besides the point, but anyways, yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess baseline, people aren't speaking up about issues. There are a lot of issues within the f- group. I, I'm just gonna call it a group. But a lot of issues within the group that just haven't been resolved. And there's this concern that we have that even if we were to address these issues as we as we see them, it, when we are privy to them, when people do decide to speak up or make the, their issues known, when we do address them, we're concerned about the long-term survivability and sustainability of the group if those issues keep getting brought back up. Because it, it seems like we put out a fire, but it really isn't, and people don't say it, don't speak up their mind, but then they bring it up later, and then, you know, so on and so on and so forth. And there seems to be issues with everybody in some sense about direction about where this group is going who we are what we're doing so on and so forth a lot of things that i don't agree with and i wish people would talk to me about these things so that i could address them the way i have here in this meeting this meeting initially started with me and me and uh, me carlo and eve do we, do we do we have like a fortune 500 company or something and it fucking feels like it like sometimes uh... I, I wish we could at least be rich, but like, no, like, we're poor. Like, and, like yeah. when's the last? TLDR. When, 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 when do we come back to this? Child in a woman's body. And, and we we connect with each other. How long ago was it? It's been over a month now, maybe five weeks. Oh, yeah, month, about six five weeks. weeks. Yeah, five months, weeks. And, and, and of those five six weeks, everybody's got their fucking emotional and dramatic and. And, and worrying about everybody else's shit rather than their own, huh? Like, it, it, it doesn't take a fucking, uh, a rocket science to fucking understand, like, this shit don't happen overnight. And, and, 
uh, maybe, maybe, maybe some people need to fucking step up. Or step out. Some people have stepped out. Yeah. Yeah, that um, should have so happened fucking two weeks ago. Yeah, Three weeks yeah, ago, yes. honestly. Fucking agree, yeah. You know, when I said, hey, if you're not really feeling comfortable and you want to walk out and do something else, do it. You know, like, around then, you know, when I said you got two weeks to figure it out, think about it. Two weeks to think about it. Yeah, that's probably when it should have happened, yeah. But, um, here we are. Anyway, um, but yeah, a, a lot of underlying issues. Uh, Eve, Joe, uh, Carlo, and myself have discussed these. Some of these issues are just amongst us here. Fifi just recently came and joined us, and now you as well, so giving you a rundown basically it seems like there is no confidence between the three of us that have been here from the beginning so Car carlo myself and eve um in terms of whether or not it's sustainable moving forward we're now discussing options as to what we should do in terms of deciding that we do not move forward what does it look like what do, what, what do we do with the house what do we do with people's money what do we do with like for, for example the computers so many things uh, so that that's where we are now, kind of assuming that we're not going to continue forward as we are, trying to figure out what that looks like. Hmm. Any, any questions before we move on? I guess I need some elaborate. On which part? Like moving forward, what, what, what are we what are we really talking about here? Well, there's two options. Number one, we keep trying to force this thing to work. Like Carlo said, um, keep trying to build a wooden house with, you know, it's on fire, uh, with more wooden planks. Uh -huh. We give people objectives and we move on and try to I hope that people don't continually bring up drama when it's not necessary. Or we settle on, this is Eve's suggestion, um, not formalizing anything now, keeping it kind of very loose with what we're doing, not officializing things and maybe in the future letting it develop into something down the road but um well those are those are kind of two options now that second option is what we're discussing now and what that looks like uh, hey so because we, we need to define that we need to set expectations with what that means does that mean that people then are allowed to go do other things with other people in terms of official business like in donnie for example just using him as, as an example um go and work with whoever he's fucking been pillow talking with and not have any sort of commitment and compromise to us i would say yes that should Obviously, be no be no commitment to us if we are not giving that commitment back to other people because I don't think we have that capacity right now because that's what everybody is expecting right they're expecting they're expecting the direct orders they're expecting the hand holding they're expecting the micromanaging which in matter of fact I don't think we can provide right now okay I agree but then we have to discuss what that means with the house and what that means with the money that has been invested by certain people. In fact, by everybody. Mm -hmm. So, the house right now, current as it stands, we have currently three computers set up, correct? Mm -hmm. Two benches, mm -hmm. one large, one small. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. drying racks in the house mm -hmm. and storage space, correct? Nothing else? That is, that's essentially it. The one computer is Carlos, one is Billy's, one is the vetoes, the bench, the veto board, and then the drying racks are Lucas and Tiny's. Okay. Um, so let's discuss each one of these industries, uh, I guess, individually. Um, let's start with the weed, because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're talking about an operation I think we want to continue going with, Correct. despite there not being anything official. So. Um, we just have to get everybody on board with that then. Tiny, Carlo, Luca, for example, you'd have to all be on board. There would only be one key dedicated to that particular industry and you would hold it, Carlo. Anybody needs access to the house? Well, you and Fifi then would share this key. But anybody needs access to the house for weed-related purposes, they'd go to you, get the key, do whatever they need to do to the house, get out, sell, etc. The focus of the reputation will still be on you because you have the highest reputation, correct? Carlo? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Then, um... That kind of settles it there. Tiny, Luca, anybody else interested in the weed game would answer to you. You would be in charge of that operation. Simple. The benches. One of the biggest thing about this house thing was that we would be able to get access to the big bench 
so that people could manufacture things they can't manufacture in their apartment. Correct. Who would control that? I will ask DeVito if I can just buy the bench from him, and that is, you know, we, we just pull money together to just buy the bench from him. It's as easy as that. Yeah. We I, just, think, we just I give... think Eve just is in control of the bench, because, I mean, she already does materials. Oh, yeah. All, all, all the materials go into the bench at the end of the day, too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there is no operation with regards to the bench. You buy him out, you get the bench, period. Done. Mm -hmm. We give Billy gotcha. and DeVito his their setups back, and we try to um, compensate um, Billy as well for his lost VPN and hard drive, too. Say, sorry, this happened, dude, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the crypto okay. is still up to Fifi and Carlo. Well, what, what if... What if I mean there's an alternative to that because that that would be the easier solution. Salute so about the football one sec. Yeah, happen to no. It'd be hard if it's in forty minutes, man. I'll be honest. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Gotcha. All right. We'll cancel. Yeah. Uh, still in in meeting. Cancel. Yeah. All right. We'll cancel. All right, Joe. I know football. Um, no. Somebody's gonna have to break Gigi's heart because I just filled her heart with the idea of being a white backer. Oh, that is. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not a position, but it's, thank yeah, you, lady. Sure. Do that. Uh. I mean, unless unless the veto is PC is left in there, he is planning on. He is planning on. He already bought a mining rack blueprint. He wants to set up a mining rack. He puts in so much money, like. Every single time he does not care, it's again, but this is about cutting people out and setting no expectations as well. Right, right. But the alternative would be to actually set expectations and keep certain things going, even though there isn't a greater good, if you will, right? There isn't a bigger picture. It's just the simplicity of, hey, let's get a few people that know each other and are relatively okay with each other to put their computers together and have a super crypto mining setup going you know which i think is that's what's the objective was going to be right you put the, the rigs together with a I rack like, and I all like that the and the three too. of them working together make more crypto is, is that correct yeah essentially yeah i mean my pc is like the main hub for it right because i got the most apps and i got the most crypto right now yeah but then wouldn't it be convenient to continue with that idea i mean just get tommy and uh, and, and bronson on board with it just tell them hey look the three of us are going to be in charge of this crypto shit we're gonna put them all together. It'll be, it's better for the three of you, right? Rather than everybody going individually and kind of cucking themselves. That's my opinion. Uh, it's, Unless uh, you want it's, that to be a part of like the, the separation, right? That, that, I mean, I just don't want them, like, if this is, if there's gonna be a separation, I also don't want that to be an expectation that this is still uh, the same option as then it feels like the same option as option number one, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, right, right. Okay, well, we would have to just be very clear with those expectations. That it is an option number one. That it is what I just said, friends getting their computers together, working together to get access to things that otherwise would take each one individually a lot longer to get access to. Exactly. But yeah, we'll start is, with the person... Is, yeah. we'll, we'll put We'll put this the decision to the one person that should matter right now to us period and it's carlo you're the main rig you have the most access to things you have the most butt coin so on and so forth would you be willing to work with the veto and bronson the way I'm, I'm suggesting yeah but what happens when we get access to things on there like are they brought into that Is that you know what i mean i think it gets confusing though yeah that's that's where you would have to discuss Especially that H, because... that hq app i'm shooting for yeah that would like... um at the end of the day, we have we have all the blueprints for a second, a second setup, a third setup. It's like at the end of the day, we don't need all of these. And if we're, if these people are just being kept around for this, like for example, Bronson's setup can just be replaced with our own third setup. We also have you know who can get us the server racks. I'm just okay, trying to so cut it's, out it's, people it's, who do not have to be there. Right, for simplicity's sake and for just kind of really going down to the bone with the cutting, if you will. It would be better just to separate that. Yeah? Mm-hmm. 
clean cut. Okay. Then in that case, cut out the crypto operation. Give the computers back. We'll replace Bronson's. We work towards that. We'll make the priority right now then. Replacing Bronson's computer first. Second, if people want their money back for the house, we have to find a way to fucking make that money and give it back. How are we going to do that? Oh, there's a list of n near 20 people <laughs> that have put money in for the house. Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, I, I don't think everybody should get their money back. <laughs> I agree. That's just my I, opinion, but... I, I, I agree. I agree as well to an extent, but bear in mind, there is a disproportionate variation in what people gave for the house yeah i gave twenty thousand dollars i'm not gonna ask for oh a single god dollar Gigi back. just twatted out about it hold on no no no, no. <laughs> i'll call her i'll call her i mean i i wouldn't gg the football game's not happening anymore i wouldn't i wouldn't like i wouldn't want to cut out the veto but it's Gigi, like Dude, undo your twat undo your twat I know Paolo doesn't like the video. It's not happening. I'm crying. It's fine. Wideback's not even a real position. All right. Oh, God. She's crying. Oh, God. Okay. That's going to be awkward. Trying to twat out. I can't wait to see what she says. But okay. Back to the back to the business then. Um, I gave $20,000. I'm not going to ask for a dollar, a dollar back. But Eve, for example, even though it isn't necessarily a concern right now because we're talking about having access it's in, it's in your name you own the house essentially but other people that put in a lot of money let me look at the sheet real quick like i wouldn't worry about the people who are not around for example who initially gave money like i'd maybe want to pay back tessa and lottie at some point but probably i don't think they are even thinking about it right now maybe when i have a lot of money i'd like to pay them back as, a, as kindness, right? Mm, I I think if anything, if you want to do that, Eve, that would be a personal endeavor yeah, of yours. Yeah, it, it would be. Right. It would be. Okay. Uh, looking at the sheet, Eve disproportionately gave one hundred thousand dollars for the house individually. Tommy okay. DeVito individually gave forty thousand dollars to the house. Tommy Cuso gave twenty five thousand. And Billy Bronson also gave $25,000 for the house. Um, everybody else gave the minimum, basically, uh, of 10000 a week, and some less than that, for that. reasons that we explain. Uh, sorry, yeah, Fifi. Fifi as well, correct, yeah. You, you also, it's not in the sheet, but I know you did. You you, did, you gave more, so yeah, 30000 from Fifi. Yeah, but that's like money we wouldn't have to pay back, right? It's just like the people exactly. who we are potentially looking to cut out that would maybe want their money back or not yep yep exactly um so yeah in that same boat with you eve you gave the disproportionate amount but again you we're keeping access to the house it's not something we paid back but billy bronson tommy cuzo and tommy devito gave more money more money than the rest specifically tommy devito forty thousand dollars it's a lot of money he's gonna be upset that we are going to keep control of the house without him included in that and he's going to want his money back that's fair like i said i'd rather work my ass off to pay that back than deal with this shit constantly yeah fuck it's gg what do i even say hey gg my my main goal is like i think Vito is gonna yeah Vito, it's canceled look the other team Vito's probably gonna the other be team forfeit put like put out Vito's put out probably just gonna do the, his the own the thing so i discount Vito's intentions with this carlo and fifi are gonna do their own thing carlo and fifi yeah. are gonna do their own thing with the weed tiny i include tiny in that too yeah yeah but it and that's it but that's how i see another it twat saying it's because the other team forfeit and it's their fault all right joe is joe and Who then right we're now? just not a group anymore all right all right she's broken 
and then we're just not a group anymore. That's just how it is. We're just not a group, okay, and so we, we, we can do what we want. I mean, the picture's pretty pretty straightforward there. The people then who would remain with access to the house would be Carlo and Fifi together, right? So one key between the two of you. Eve and myself. Mm -hmm. I don't particularly have a use for it, but I would like to remain with access in case, for example, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 if something you, goes if, wrong, if I, you were to still do... Um... If you were to still continue in the weed operation, there would just be weed for you to pick up there every day. So yeah. that's just how convenient it is. And, and the chopping and stuff like that, I, I would like to remain with access to the house. So if, if, if that's okay with everybody, then three keys. Just three keys. Yeah. Set the expectation with everybody that there is no grand picture anymore, that they're free. everybody's free to become a free agent. And if they want to hang around and try to get involved with things that were going on already, then they can still do so. But that there is no obligation to do so. And then it falls on whoever's in charge of things, which in this case is, well, Carlos, we, the weed and all that. If people want to get involved with that and you don't want them involved, then you tell them no. That's it, period. <laughs> He's not going to yeah. want Luca involved. Control the gates. Why not just sell the house at this point? Why? People we want to do Sandy with you and what you're them. doing, Eve, and, and you don't want them involved, then no, period. You control the gates. Nobody does Sandy with me. I mean, uh... What do you think, Joe? If I could... Yeah, I know, Joe. Yeah, what are your uh, thoughts on this? I'll Fiona, let, I'll let Fiona... Fiona, you can go first. I think my thoughts are just this point common sense is that this is gonna cause a fucking shit show has it not already been a shit show yeah i mean it has but it's the it's... rug pull right i'm straight best one of 2024 <laughs> <laughs> i mean i see it i i didn't have full context but now with more context i mean it makes sense but I, I don't think there's anything we need to do to minimize the fallout, so I think we're just gonna have to deal with it. It's gonna be great. Hey. I, I will say, I am more than willing to continue involvement with, with the things that I've been involved in with you all already, um, including the weed, the chopping. I would love to spend more Aww. time doing with that with, with you two and, and others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have no problem with that whatsoever um and I, and I feel like you know despite he, we're talking about cutting all, almost if not everybody else out if the four of us and the five of us including joe here just are just going we're going to continue at least sharing the house and, and sharing the space we should try to remain in contact and still do as many things as we can together when possible i agree yeah, of course help each other out I agree with I mean, that. This, is, this isn't like, hey, fuck you, fuck all this, fuck everybody. Never this isn't this isn't that. Yeah. Exactly. Not talking to you. I don't like you. I don't find you hey. funny. Like none of that. Okay, Vito. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to continue being involved with this stuff. I want I want to learn as well. And I want I uh, now it, you have no idea the amount of time I'm gonna be able to have to put put into other things if I don't have to fucking does constantly it, talk to how, people. How does it feel? How how does the shoulders feel, Vito? Honestly, the thought is liberating. Yeah. The decision hasn't been made yet, but the thought is liberating. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, okay. Is that the preferred option? Or do we continue to try to force something that is clearly not working? I, I prefer I prefer what we just talked about. What about you, Joe? How do you feel? I know you haven't been around, you haven't seen, but I know every time you come around you hear about probably Bullshit. Just, yes. Probably just issues. Well the last time I around I was around a uh, you know, I was very short and sweet with um with things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. If I, if I put myself to blame on a lot of this shit going on because I haven't been around. 
if I was around more, if I was able to be around and all that, um, <laughs> I, love I wouldn't Prof, be running man. into these fucking issues so much because uh, I'd be up everybody's ashes with their bullshit that they're dealing with. Because oh, I, I ain't having any of it. <laughs> people have been gone fucking long ago. Straight up. Fair amount of people. Or they would have been corrected or anything of that sort. Da, da, da. And they were all warned that uh, they stole the fucking drama and the emotional bullshit. Or uh, there's going to be fucking consequences. And uh, I guess what you see here is the consequence. Now the problem with that is there are some people that... Well, at least I don't know. They haven't caused that shit and have put in a lot of hard work improving themselves, right? Make sure to go follow Croc, guys. Tommy Kuso, for instance, right? Mm. And, um... Like, what do you do there, right? You know, you... There's some really good people, and there's some that, you know, fucking... I would I would love to leave him where I find him, you know? Yeah, well yeah. Tommy Kuso, for instance, he, he has his he is very independent. He has his own thing. Yeah. He is building his own thing. I don't I don't think he's gonna be you know? I don't think he's gonna be hindered by any of this. No. No. I'm just wondering, you know, we we if we make this play, what's gonna stop uh, all those people from uh you know going, eh fuck this, I'll go find uh, somebody else. And that's, you know, they, they can do that by, by all means. But then it turns into, uh, just people here. Well, that's, right? That's and fine. then the word gets out. Yeah, but then the word gets out, like, uh, you know, hearing about Donnie bitching and complaining to other people, you know? Who's to say he's not the only one that's been doing that? Fuck him. At that point, it won't, it huh? won't matter. It won't matter. And if at the end of the day, what it boils down to is the... The, the five of us here. So be it. And so fucking be it. That's it. Everybody else can go fuck themselves. Well, and and that, that's it. Period. I mean, I I'm sorry. I ain't been able to be around. I really am. It's not, I, it's not, it's not, not on you. Don't. It's not on you. I, I know, but but uh, you know, if I could, I would, and I'd be here lots. Okay. Yeah. And 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 the day will come when that'll happen, and you'll be so fucking annoyed. By seeing me or hearing from me all the fucking time, all right? And then you'll wish I'd been fucking gone. Maybe you'll kill me. I don't know. Yeah. Listen, uh, whatever, whatever's for the betterment, um, all for it, all right? Um, when the time comes, I will put. My head down, I will work my ass off to help y'all. All right? I just don't know when that day's gonna be. Five hundred dollars so, a pop. Don't Ain't hold no your way. breaths on me, and don't um don't feel the need to fucking drag me along. All right? I don't want to hold you guys down. All right? <laughs> I don't think you're almost there. Two dollars a pop. You never have. Well, I mean, I am. I mean, if I, if I was here earlier, I'd probably kill half the fucking people that are part of us. Yeah, and that would have solved our issues way earlier. Yeah, it probably would have. You know? Yeah. That's why I say it's my fault, you know? No, it's not. There's nothing yeah. you could have done. Everyone's... All these complaints and things that are happening are happening behind leadership's back. You know? Well, well, yeah. That, that, unless that you want to individually... Unless you want to individually talk to everyone, like... You're not really going to see these issues. Well, no. they were warned. Everybody was warned. You know, store your shit. You got two fucking weeks to, to, to get the drama out of the way and then fucking make amends and all that stuff and move forward and work hard and, and for the common goal and all that shit. And it seems like everybody's in their fucking emotional field still, so mm -hmm. fuck them. I shouldn't say everyone. But if everyone. You know who the real climate change issue is? Me. Because if if I had my way, I'd I'd fill that fucking ocean with so many goddamn bodies, the sea levels would rise and fucking wash away cities. I'm looking at the wall, Eve. Everything does suck. This room, it does. Yeah, but the climate is not changing. 
y'all. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's sunny here, and I'm wearing a fucking jacket. I don't know. I'm crazy. Mm. Uh. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, all right. All right, next step is probably talking to as many people as we can, I guess, right? Ovido, I, I, are you sure about this? At the end of the day, you know, you want to do this moving forward? Um, that's a loaded question. <laughs> I mean, if you need I, time. I, no, I, it's it's not about me needing time. It's it's a difficult one to answer because the the want is is very different to the need, and you know it, it's. I've heard that. I've heard him say that before. I I do feel like we've been trying to make something work that simply wasn't working. We've been forcing the puzzle together when the pieces just don't fucking fit, and I felt that. I want it to work. I wanted it to work this whole time. I have put in nothing but everything that I have in terms of time, money to make this fucking work. And it hasn't. So it's a little bit frustrating. Not a little bit. It's frustrating. It's disappointing. But I cannot force people to do something that they don't want to do. And if we were talking about, you know, I would use them as examples, like Lottie, Tessa, Natalia, Donnie, and all of them, then I'd say, okay, fuck them, we'll move on without them, and the rest of us can do it, but it's also us here, we're agreeing the best option is to not do it. And even though it is disappointing to hear that with the people here, I'm not going to hold it against you. It just hurts a little. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's the reality of it. We'll move on, and, um, See what happens down the line but we also don't know what's gonna you know what the future is gonna hold you know i, I like realistically you know, we probably should have come back and started this small yeah 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 honestly when i when i told people two weeks i expected 80 percent of people to walk out they didn't <laughs> and that gave me <laughs> Uh, pasta check chat. A lot of undecided fucking people. They can't figure this shit in two weeks, eh? <sighs> pasta check for myself, because I am... Yeah. I'm a bad pasta bitch. Yeah. But that, that's it. That's my that's my opinion of it. Um, the decision is, is made. We'll talk to people. That's crazy. I'll try to reach out to everybody that I know is around now. I think Tiny needs to be informed immediately. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carlo, since you're doing the whole weed thing and he's involved there, we should probably do that right away. You should do that right away. Mm. Talk to him as well. Tommy DeVito's around. Yeah, let's uh, let's just talk to people. I wonder if Natalia's still around. Um... um how much was the key? 3,500? Uh, 3,800 after tax. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I think Natalia has my key and she tried calling two hours ago, but we've been here for two hours. Well, before you have working. talks with anybody, make sure you get that fucking key back from her before you do that. Yeah, I'm gonna call yeah. her right now to see if she's well. still around. Like, like, don't talk to anybody till we get that key, right? That, that, that would be an issue. Yeah. She yeah. might go, fuck you guys. I mean, I can change the locks. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Then never mind. All right. Let's I mean, try to avoid that headache and for sure yeah. get better back if you can. Yeah. Um, do you wanna, are we calling a meeting at the Venetian? Or? Uh, oh, it will be a bad signal. Try, try to get Natalia individually first. Oh. If you can get to her. Hello? Hey, sorry, I've been in a meeting. Oh, you're good. Um, are you... Uh, what are you doing? I'm with a couple friends right now, but I can be available if I need to be. Um, yeah, we're probably having a meeting soon, and then I just want to grab the key from you. Okay, um, I put it in my apartment so I can go back and grab it. Uh, yeah, let me... Um, yeah, can we meet up at the apartment real quick? 
Yeah, in just a bit. Uh, we are... What the fuck? Because I'm doing some mostly jobs with people. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're going up to the U-Tool, and then okay, yeah. we're going to go back to Mosley's, and then my okay. car is, so I can get that and then go okay, meet you. Yeah, text me when you are at the apartments. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, All right. I think you'll buy. You take his money Yeah, back. no worries. Bye-bye. Yeah. They said there's some people, yeah. Some people, nah. All right, Natalia is um, doing a Mosley's job, and then she is uh, she's going to the apartments to get me the key. Okay. Did she added floors? Uh, I think she added floors, yeah. Okay. One more thing about the whole expectation here with the keys, because I um, can't imagine we're going to just stick with the people we're doing things with now and, and not, not expand with others. Um, could we discuss that in any way in terms of I'm using him as an example again, kind of randomly, the first person to come to mind. But in case Flash, for example, wants to do shit with you, Carlo, and you mm -hmm. want to get him involved with things. Uh, and he wants to go to the house, and and you know, you, you want to bring him in to the house. Is that something that should be discussed, or is that just free? Everybody use their own. Uh, I think I think we just all uh, did discuss. You know, but granted, we we also have, I mean, if Tiny's gonna be helping me out with the weed thing, right? Tiny has his van that people can use outside to put yeah. shit in and take shit out of. And I, okay. I haven't heard from Flash in a really long time, and it might be difficult just because he's around in hours. I'm not like yeah, he comes around very late. Yeah. He's around before storm. Yeah, it's, it's been difficult to try and try and talk to him the last three days, but he has been around. He finally I can't believe this is happening. Night, but... I like, I like, so, yeah. can't believe I this, see, is, this like, is happening. Like, yeah, talk to him when I'm able to. I, I'm able this to went so well. I mean, despite Vito like insulting okay, okay. us. Well, let, let's keep it then at, at a very simple. It. If you want to get somebody that hasn't been mentioned so far, right? In, in terms of access to the house, if you want to get somebody in that, at least mention it at some point. Hey, you know, hey, I brought Flash along. We're looking at some crypto shit. I don't know. Hey, I'm bringing Bane in because we're talking about sanitation and wanted to look at something in the bench or something like that, right? That, that's it. Not about asking for permission, but just clarity no. as to who is, you know, coming in and out. Yep. Okay. Uh, I can get Tommy DeVito and Tiny here. Uh, we should wait until she gets her key back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can probably tell them, like, you know, meeting in 20, maybe? They're in a run right now, so we'll tell them after that run, meeting Venetian. Yeah. And then if they, like, like you said, like, the people you mentioned too previously, Vito, it's like, um, like, you know, Sinatra and, like, building things with these people, like, you know, it's things we can slowly start doing just at a at a slower pace as that we've been, you know, running into a wall with, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. You and Lottie had to get insulted for this to happen. Yeah. I think this is just the best. I get to do what I want to do. Fifi and Carlo are happy. Um, I, uh, I think it's good. see Gigi's follow up to what? Now what you say? Look up, look up Giovanna and <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the apartments real quick and get the key and then I'll tell Natalia meeting in what? 15? F 15. 15 sounds reasonable, yeah. Okay. She's still down. And again, at the end of the day, as long as 
You know, as long as I don't have to do a sit down with Juno, I am happy. As long as I don't have to do another like sit down with Juno where, you know, she pretends that she is okay with everybody where she's not. Like, I am okay. I am a okay with that as an option. It's not that I disliked, you know, I just dislike that she dislikes and feels so slighted by people when they've done nothing against her. That's what I dislike about, you know. I just, dis I dislike that she just can like feel so slighted so quickly when I feel like she, you can move mountains for Juno and she will still be like, I don't like the way you move that mountain, basically. That is, that is, that is her, like, that is her in a, in a nutshell. I feel bad for Natalia. Hello. <laughs> Hi, you can put it in the car. I'm meeting at the Venetian in 15. 15, okay. Are you headed there? Uh, no. Alright, uh, well, I'll probably go ahead and head down there then. Right. Uh, Alright, see you that. Yep, see you soon. Bye. I mean, I'll probably, like, still work with her potentially, but, like, I do want to decorate. But I, I can I can still work with Nat. Like I can like ask her to help and stuff like that. But I, I wanna decorate myself and I feel like that's selfish, but I mean I feel like I could still let her decorate like a majority of the house too. Kind I feel kinda bad. Eve did this all along just to decorate. Yeah. Also, guys, isn't this like, isn't this like a good um, learning moment for anybody? Um, zooms in on my face. Mm -hmm. Always own your own shit. So you hold all the cards. I learned that from 3.0. <laughs> Alright, got the key. Right. Call so let's make our way. Yeah, let's make our way to the Venetian. Tommy and Tiny are coming. Gigi is coming, apparently, as well. Right. Juno's busy in a meeting. Who else? Gonna be yeah, I need to go grab food. Um. Well. Mm. Uh, what Tommy did you call? Uh, DeVito. Alright, did you expect Kusa? Nope. <laughs> Tommy DeVito's with Tiny. Uh, let me see. You know what? That, that, that spreadsheet, <laughs> Carlo Bait is such a good way to take bro call. It is, yeah. I don't want to go get food with me. Does anyone else need food? Uh, I do. Yeah, I could take a burger or just I, I just eat convenience store food now. Okay. Yo. Yum. Um. I'll try with just the water. Don't mind. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll be, meet out in the Vatican. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> if you could grab me um, a burger or a combo. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. 
<laughs> oh. Oh. What a good day, man. What a good day. What a good day. What a what a good day. Uh, Fredo actually called us yesterday, didn't he? Or the day before? He called us and... He called us. What the hell Luciana's gonna react? Oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh, I would kill to be a chatter in Z's chat when... When he's told about that man. Oh, I would kill to be a chatter. Tries Lorenzo anyway. <coughs> God. I can't wait to tell Luciano that Vito called us a girl in a in a woman's a little girl in a woman's a child in a in a woman's body. God, I love I love Vito so much, man. Oh, it says such wild stuff. I also love when people just like people just like like need to like feel the need. People feel the need to just, like, personally insult you when they're not, like, winning an argument, right? Like, I just, like, personally love that. That's, like, my, my, like, ultimate favorite. Uh, I'm gonna go change real quick. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely when you know you've won the argument. Like, it's it's 100% like... You've definitely won as soon as, like, people start, like, personally tearing you down. And they've lost all logical sense of, like, thinking. Sorry, lady, you, like, fucking walk too slow. Never mind, you're okay. Oh. Dude, what did he call Lottie? He called Lottie like a five, 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 like, repeat insult, like, slinging thing. He, like, Lo like gelato ice cream slinging rainbow skipping <laughs> like what the fuck did he call Lottie? like <laughs> oh rainbow backpack <laughs> dude <laughs> Oh, bro, I can't. I like. Uh. Whatever happens next, no, we got your back. She must have heard him. Uh. I can't wait to tell Lottie as well. Uh, if Donnie is around, other Donnie.
Hey, sweetheart, you uh, you busy? I'm about to have a family meeting, but not yet. What's up? Oh, okay. Uh, shit. I need the rifle. Um, I need to go hunting. You need to go hunting? I can, I can grab yeah. you real quick. The meeting hasn't started. Yeah, you want me to pick you up and drop you off? Um, yeah, I meant the mission. You want to pick me up real quick? Yeah, on the way. All right, I'll see you in a second. I'm on the corner. All right, love you. Love you. I love how he just has his, like... <laughs> Wait, he has a bike? Wait, how'd he have a bike? Uh, Did you steal it? Lockpick! <laughs> my lockpick. I didn't, but yeah. Lockpick. And my stratum, stratum. Stratum, stratum. Want to get a helmet? You're just dropping me off at the apartments. So dramatic. You want me to I'll get, get a helmet. helmet? I'll get a helmet. So hey, tiny on that you here. Hi. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, my sexy biker husband is up there. Oh Jesus. Oh. Oh. You at this meeting? Hmm. Apparently, we got a meeting at the Venetian or something. I yeah, yeah, I'm just, just I'm just giving Luciano hunting rifle real quick. Oh, okay. What's going on with the football game? I've been good. Just making fucking money. Oh, okay, you know, called me asking for Luciano's now. number. Yeah, Luciano. Oh, that's strange. Luciano doesn't exist right now. Oh. This is a uh, MC Luch now. That's right. MC Luch, baby. Going so out, guys. Are we How not, you doing? Are we not doing a football game? No, 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 no. There's some, uh, some shit happening and uh we can't go oh are we, are we po postponing it yeah we postpone it all right tomorrow maybe oh wait, yeah, yeah. No, i mean it's sunday it's sunday look, I, I, i'm gonna be honest we, we weren't we didn't really go through the fine details as to what what the game was going to be like the time you know we, no, we scheduled I nobody we, i mean i thought we already said in stone six people each team 8 p.m eastern saturday i know that now you were in the fucking car when I made the bet with uh, fucking Lang. Yeah, that was like a side shit talk type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, but y'all were already prepared for it. We didn't have enough people around. Uh oh, Jesus. All right, well, um, maybe next time. Care, I'll boys. be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> you going hunting with? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Be for a bit. I really need to make money. I've got like two hundred dollars in my bank. I need to make money. My Probably damn Lottie. bad husband. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I am like on the 10th floor. I hate you for making me do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, but we can't see our bench. Quick nap. I can't see my panel. Uh... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to take a nap. I can't see um, my storage, so I'm gonna take a quick nap. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. What am I? 
somebody else's house open? Can I like take a nap and like my change character? Let me in. Let me in your room. Oh, come on, I have to take a nap. Bug loving, rainbow backpacking, totting, ice cream making, okie dokie saying, little cartoon adult person, holy! Oh. Uh. Oh, that's great. The reality, I don't, I don't, wouldn't want to cut the veto out, right? I wouldn't want to cut the veto out. But for this to work, we have to cut a lot of people out. Eagle streams on kick? No, I just have a kick. No, I just want to do my own thing and be alone. It's so bad for taking so long. I can't believe this man just made me do this. Yeah, okay. Mm. I'll need it. Definitely... You put in a little glove compartment here. Eh? Wow. Right there on the side. I think has a glove compartment. Okay. Are you putting something in there? What? Uh, Haban? I'll show you. It's right here in front of me. 
These things should not have four right boxes. There. What? Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah. You. I love you too. You late, okay? Probably going hunting with Billy, actually. So. Uh, oh, that's good. Then you guys can talk about stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye. Bye. Any updates on that, by the way, or is he? Uh, no, not really. Hey there, what's shaking? No. Hmm. Yeah, good. All right. Uh -huh. Be right. safe, okay? Right. Okay. Yeah, we'll have. do. Uh, bug report, I don't think they should have glove boxes. Well, I'm like crazy busy with all these meetings with venture capitalists these days. Fucking assholes. Hello. Hi. Let me think about it and get back to you, right? I do it. I'm good, I'm good. Don't tell me you're joining the MC2 when you always been in DCMC. Oh, God. <laughs> it's true. Biker gangs. What's wrong with biker gangs? Yeah, what's wrong with biker gangs? Nothing wrong with them. Yeah, so I shut up! Like, I just like my old cars. Oh, my God. <laughs> I missed my hockey show. What's hey, that? I missed my hockey show. You miss what? My motorcycle. Oh, I yeah. thought you uh, yeah, were team fajitas, Joe. What? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go Maybe pee in that. Too. I'm gonna pee in that can right there. All right, so I'm close. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. All right. There he goes. Uh, is this everybody who's around? Nobody else? Uh, Gigi's around. Uh, I don't think she got a uh, call or text about it though, because I mentioned uh, to her and she was confused. I think Vito pulled up. <laughs> oh, God. Because we ran into her at G6 and she said she didn't know nothing about it. And I said, all right, maybe it's just about weed shit. I don't know. I don't know if everybody's supposed to be down or not. Uh, who else is around, Tommy? Ain't there one or two more? Um, no, nah, it's everybody. Guess we should call Gigi again, just to be sure. Oh, this conversation is going to be hard. Yeah, I don't see anybody else in the yellow pages. That's probably it right now. Yeah. Oh, let's text Alex. Do you think Alex is at the council meeting?
you guys ever wind up getting those stairs out? Huh? You ever wind up getting those spiral stairs out? I don't know. I haven't been back, been back there since we left, so. Oh, all right. I, I haven't been there since yesterday. It looks good. I thought he did a lot of fucking work on it. It looked really nice. Alex, that speed limit's got boosted. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's the tea from the, the city council meeting right now. All right. It's already in the legislation, apparently. Ooh. You still on that tank top? Yeah, well, I have, I have, this is like, I have five of them, all right? Oh my god. <laughs> Both bought a big pack. It's just tank top season. Nice. How's it going, Bia? Uh, hey, that's all you doing. Alright. So, uh, I think we have everybody that is around here. Um, yeah. For now, I don't think anybody else is around. Unless somebody knows. I know Gigi uh, is, but Gigi? I'll, I'll, Gigi. Fill her in. I'll fill her in afterwards. Oh. She said it was okay if I did that, so it's not a problem. All right, go. Ooh. I mean, she's basically talking to three extra people. Uh, I guess we'll finish for a way for Joe. Uh, Joe, you finished? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Come on, Joe. This is like a toddler. It's weird. He was just having a tea. <laughs> Oh, can't wait to be free! Okay. Free! Um, free! Uh, sorry. Well, there's no easy way to say this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase. Right? Things um things haven't been working out, and I, I by the way, <laughs> I'm going to ask uh, Eve Carlo to chime in whenever you feel necessary. Okay. <laughs> um. Things haven't been working out. There's been a lot of friction, and it's not um. You just went up and Fortunately, said... in 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 my from my personal point, it's point of me, view, it's, it's not been something that I have necessarily been aware of. It's not me, it's you. Because I haven't been necessarily aware of it. But it's been brought to my attention now. Um, look, we, we, we all have been working towards something recently, which has been the house, and we achieved that objective. Um, my hope was that we were able to do that and more moving forward. But after some discussion with, with a, a few key figures, we've decided that it might not be best to do that. It might be best at this point to simply get rid of the idea of a bigger picture for now and let people find their own way. And if that way ends up being with uh, with us or with, with people here together in some form or shape down the future, then, then let it be so. But the consensus has been, is now, that we should not try to force something to work that simply isn't working. There's too much going on. Carlo said it best. We're trying to build a wooden house that's on fire with more wooden planks. Something like that, Carlo. You say it better. But that's very much the case. It feels like this this house that we've been trying to build, this group of ours, has been on fire since day one. Um, even with Luch around. <laughs> so I won't even put it put it on that particular moment. But obviously more so after Luch. Don't put this left. on my husband. My husband is We've been on saint. fire. We've been at each other's throats. We've been talking behind each other's backs. My husband um, is a saint. It's not, it's not been a good environment. People have felt that they're not in it. And, and for whatever reason that may be, <laughs> people have also just not expressed their concerns. Not spoken up. <laughs> and at this point, it doesn't seem like there's a point in continuing. It's not sustainable long term to continue doing something like that. <laughs> We've made the decision to 
get rid of the idea of a bigger picture. Um, now, what does that mean? Well, we have a house now. We have assets in that house. For those that want to take their, those assets and, and move on with them somewhere else or do something else with them, you're more than welcome to take your stuff, the stuff that is yours, and, and move on. There's alternatives as well. You want to discuss them, then we can discuss them. Um, the house will be continue to, will continue to be used. There will be certain people with access to it. And moving forward, everybody is free to do what they want to do in the city without compromise or commitment here. Um. I mean, <laughs> so we set a goal, right? And I'm new here, so, you know, I don't have much room to talk, right? But we set a goal to get this house. And now that we got the house... <laughs> we're just calling it quits yeah 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 basically yes yeah I, I, I mean personally I I don't agree because <laughs> at this point yeah I mean I, I I'm new here right see you later I haven't I haven't known all y'all for the longest but since I moved here got to know each and every single I like the veto um what I've gathered was five years ago um Y'all were working for people. And then coming back, y'all wanted to do y'all's own thing. Now that we have the foundation for y'all, us, to do our own thing, we just want to give up. We just want to say, all right, well, we got the house, but because of a few stressful days... And people not wanting to grow up and just talk about their problems with each other instead of <laughs> talk behind each other's back. We're just going to say, yeah. fuck it all. Yeah. I mean, me personally, you know. I wouldn't stand for that. I don't <laughs> care about the money. Aww. I don't care about the fucking time. Aww. As y'all know, I'm here every fucking morning. Aww. Every fucking afternoon. Aww. Besides weekdays. I might not know if I'm in or not. But I'm not giving up. I might question it sometimes. But at the end of the day, I'm a grown fucking adult. I see a future. I see a vision. I see growth. Right? I understand, you know, like you said, there's been friction. People talking behind each other's backs is getting, I guess you can say, toxic. But at the end of the day, we're all grown adults here, right? Right. If we want this to fucking work, then at the end of the day, if you got a fucking problem with somebody, talk to them about it. <laughs> Don't wait for fucking sure. Eve. Don't wait for fucking Vito to just throw it all out on day fucking one when he comes back whenever he's, you know, awake. Right? 55 in You city. got a fucking 55. problem with somebody, talk it out. If you think, you know, you don't have fucking worth here or you're waiting on somebody to go do something... Well, then fucking go do it. 55 in the city. You know, city. I had a discussion with fucking Fifi the other day, you know? At that point, you know, I decided, you know, I understand, you know, weed runs two people now, right? I can't just wait on Fifi and Carlo to open up a spot for me to go do things. So, now, I'm just still doing it. Because in the end, whether I'm doing it by myself with a friend that might be on the outside... It's still beneficial for everyone here. And that's, I feel like, where everyone's getting lost. Like, I spent a whole fucking hour conversation with Luca yesterday because he feels like he's not doing things with the family. But in reality, he's doing a lot. He's growing a shit ton of weed for everybody to do their fucking weed runs. But he wants to do more. But because everyone else is doing their thing, he feels like he's not wanted. And I had to sit there and tell him, hey, pal, you have potential. You have worth. You know what you're fucking worth. If you want to go fucking sell weed... Go fucking sell weed. If you want to go fucking mine buttcoin, go mine fucking buttcoin. I know Eve said once we got that first computer, we didn't need another computer. But I still went ahead and bought another one. Because at the end of the day, I want to see everyone here get ahead. Aww. But I don't want to see everyone just give the fuck up. I'm not being pulled back in. We got the house. 
the direction doesn't shouldn't have just changed just because we got the fucking house and had some fucking stressful days, right? There's still more to do. We have the foundation inside that house now. We have weed racks. Working on getting fucking better weed racks, right? We got butt coin to the point where we're close to getting the HQ app, which will unlock us a lot of fucking things. We got a big fucking bench. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, I put in over a hundred and ten fucking thousand dollars, and I don't care about getting any of that fucking back. Oh, thank Why? God. Because I'm here to show you that I'm here to fucking help build everything. I'm not asking for a fucking return. I'm here showing my fucking loyalty to this group. But never did I expect everyone just to want to call it quits. Right after getting a fucking house. You have everything you need to be your own entity. <laughs> you don't need to wait for somebody to call you to tell you to go do something. Uh -huh. You shouldn't be lost in that direction. You want to go do something, then fucking do it. If you feel like, you know, you don't belong here, like I told fucking Luca, because he's questioning about leaving or not. Well, at the end of the day, I mean, it's your life. It's your decision. Do what you, makes yeah, you fucking Joe, happy. Joe just right? texted just texted Vito. If you feel miserable here... He's probably like, why is this guy still to talking? You what, to did it, right? what did he text Mention him? What did he text him? it to Eve. You know? Someone that you're actually closer to. Because again, y'all know them a lot Vito, more This than is me. the things we've been preaching since day one and it's, it, nothing's changed, right? Well, then at that point... If they're not ready to fucking go all in... Then they need to find a new direction. You can't just babysit everybody. You can't just hold their fucking hand to the fucking end lines. Just, I mean, that's the point of this. You kind of, you kind of saying the point. I tend to agree with him though. The way I see it, this is, these early days, early weeks, early months. These are the crucial stages where we find out who is and isn't going to survive. Right. And like we've made it so far. I don't see why we should stop. I don't now. I don't want to cut the veto. There is so much potential here and we still have so many plans for moving forward and onward and upward. And like, yeah, we've we've been struggling. I know we have. But just because a few people haven't been happy with the way things are going doesn't mean that we as a family are a failure and we need to stop. We just had a couple exactly. snags and we need to work those out. Exactly. A few bad days doesn't define the future of everyone here. I don't think it's been a few bad days. It's been weeks. It's been fucking weeks, man. I know, but what? like I said, these are the I, I don't know if stages. you're just blind to it because you knew her here or what, but trust me, it, it's not been a few going days. 55. <laughs> Some of us here are, are, are just drained to every level. Yo, third gear. So explain. Huge. What are you drained about? Is it because you're, you know, doing everything? You don't have to do everything just as yourself too, Carlo. The reason I've been doing everything, right? Like, it's because of all the other shit and people going in and out and, and talking behind backs. I, I don't really know where everyone even stands. I mean, this Luca shit, I, I mean, that even proves my point more. I, I had no idea about Luca. I've had to have a talk with him too, so that's a surprise to me. Because this I had a talk with him like a week ago, so that he's talking to DeVito about it again now. And, and again, that's the exact reason why why isn't he coming to the people who can do something about it, potentially? I've tried to tell him to talk to people. Like, even five years ago, I was telling him to talk to people because communication is so goddamn important. And I don't know why that's, that's a concept that people seem to not be grasping. Look, I know there's a lot of us. They might not be here right now. Right? But in the end, there's a good foundation. Not everyone is going to fucking make it to the end. Right? Like I said, you can't babysit everyone and fucking carry them to the finish line. If they, you can, you can teach someone to fucking fish. But you can't fucking feed them forever. They got to learn how to handle their own. And if they can't carry their weight, you know... It is what it fucking is. It sucks, yes, because, you know, these are connections that y'all have with everybody. 
You probably known him for fucking years. The Vito needs to stay around. Or they might be new. But just cause some are falling behind and you feel like, you know, that's a, a fucking toll on your head or whatever. Talk to him. Set it straight. Put your fucking foot down. You're either in, all in, figuring shit out, doing what you gotta fucking do. You got fucking problems, talk about it. If you don't got want to talk about it, you don't want to do shit. Well, but I'm getting, I'm getting right like fucking there. Just let me, it's just let me go. Just, just, I, I just want to leave. Please, just let me leave. I'm, the door's that right there. Mean Devito, that stop. Just fucking give up. Stop it, Devito. The door's right there. Please. I say again that these are the crucial moments. If we can survive this, the, we can survive please, anything. Please, please. Exactly. All you have to fucking do at this point, weed out the fucking app, the bad apples, right? You ever seen a fucking apple tree grow? There's good apples that make it to the fucking basket and the other ones just fall off. We just got to figure out who are the fucking good apples and who are the ones that are falling off. Like I said, I don't care if it takes a day, a week, a month, or no. even another fucking five years oh, no. for me to be fully in. I'm a prove that I'm a fucking good apple. And I'm not no, going nowhere. Even if sometimes I question myself. Because at the end of the day, I'm working towards something that is not only beneficial to myself, but everyone here as well. I know everyone in this circle is doing the same fucking thing. This is all I have and all I care about. I'm not. I'm not gonna lose it. I'm not gonna let it go. <laughs> uh... And I know we can. We can really, really, really do something great. But I don't want to see us give up on it. This wasn't really a conversation. I've always it. seen potential here. I know it's rough. I know it's hard. But we can get through it. We really, really can. This wasn't really a conversation about there that. Is, there is potential. You're, you're both right. There is potential. We have a foundation. But it all seems like it just came together too fast. And we're most definitely not all on the same page about things. So Indeed. some of the, some of the things today, I, I just... Okay, Look, so let's, I, let's I, slow I, down, I, let's need, sit down, let's figure it out. Yeah, we need to sit down, set the fucking page straight, and start writing the fucking chapters. Mm -mm. We're all in this together. It's not, you know, a couple people doing this and a couple people doing that. And, and you know, everything. We're all carrying this. And as far as moving <laughs> fast, you know, we could have had a fucking regular house in fucking Fudge Lane. Got that and fucking threw everything in there. That would have been moving fast. Shut up, But we played the smart so move toxic. here. We chose Mirror Park. Away from everybody. Gives us time to set up shop. Invest everything into catching up. And we're fucking catching up. But to say, okay, now that we got everything caught up. Everything we fucking need. A great fucking place to where we have security. <laughs> and privacy. Until people catch up to us. You now want to say, all right, fuck it? No. That shouldn't be on your fucking mind. Because then you got to start questioning, are you fully in? Uh -huh. Ooh, thank you for the prime. Not once have I thought about giving up. The only thing I've questioned is if y'all accept me in here or not. Oh. But, like I said, that could take a day. That could take a week. That could take a month. But at the end of the fucking day, I'm going to still be here. We have putting hearts. my fucking all in, sweating my motherfucking balls every fucking morning, every fucking night, getting three hours we of fucking hearts. sleep. I don't care if it takes a hundred grand, two hundred fucking grand, if it takes my entire fucking life. I'm not giving up. My head hurts. And I shouldn't expect either single one of you in this fucking circle to do so either. My head hurts. If you Please. are thinking about giving up, then that's 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 what we gotta figure out right now. What direction do you see yourself going? Is it for yourself? Or is it for the fucking family? Do you want the family to be its own entity? Like y'all fucking said? When y'all came back five years later? 
Y'all want to not work for the fucking people? And show what y'all are actually fucking worth? Because if you give up right now, you're showing everyone exactly what it is. And I know y'all y'all ain't no fucking quitters. I can't look at any of you in the face and see a fucking quitter right now. You might have some bad fucking days. But that's life. You'll have bad days. And with each bad fucking day, a lot of good days are coming. The Roman Empire wasn't built in a fucking day. And at, at it's gonna take day, time. At the end of the day, it's not about quitting, Tommy. It, it's not about quitting. It's just about realizing that we are potentially just not ready for all of this right now. And it's looking at the paint that's already on the wall and seeing that everything that's been happening the past month that we've been experiencing is something that is going to keep on happening because of the way things are going and that we are just not equipped to deal with it right now it's not to say it won't in the future it's just that we're taking a step back and deciding that it's not going to happen right now it's it still feels like a surrender because like to me you don't bow out when things get hard you find out what's going on and you you try to fix it and you try to change it and you try to make it better i understand it's exhausting but let us help you that's what we're here for to help everybody out to make this a bigger stronger <laughs> better family than it's ever 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 fucking been and we want to see this go somewhere we want to see this thrive we are all in on this man like fuck and like we want to be here for you and I've, I've, I've wanted to be here for everybody here. I always feel like no one talks to me about shit. And I'm just like, I want to be here. I want to help. And like, we can do something good. We, we just uh, have to rely on each other. We have to help each other. We have to we figure have to, this out. We have to work together. Even if working together means, you know, sometimes you got to do things on your own. There's still no fucking time to say, well, we got here. But now we need to take a step back. There they should be no oh my reason God, for a this fucking is... step back. Gla Glace is a tiny. Uh. If you need help, ask for fucking help. Uh. You shouldn't be ashamed of asking for fucking help, ever. Doesn't matter what position uh. you're in, what rank you're in. Bro. That's life. Everyone needs help from time to time. Uh. You shouldn't be putting everything on your fucking plate. Until you're fucking breaking the fucking plate and it's folded in half. <laughs> Share what you're feeling. Share what you're uh... thinking. Share what passions you want to go with. But there's no reason why it should be on pause. When we just got things moving to the point where we can be caught up with every single fucking family, group, gang, whatever, in this entire fucking city. There is no moving too fast. We're moving at a right speed. At our own speed. Yeah, there's drama. Yeah, there's people talking behind the back. Ugh. Get everyone to fucking together. Have Joe say, cut it out. Or you're done. If it's broken, let's fucking fix it. Oh my god. Let's not abandon it. Oh my god. Look, I, I, I'm I, gonna speak only with the information that I have, which apparently isn't all of it, Um, but from my understanding, again, this has been something that's been going on for a long time. It's not just happening now. It's not something new. It's not, like Carlos said, not just a couple of days. It's, it's weeks. Um... And there's also a lot of things that I apparently am simply just not aware of. People have not been doing what you're, what you're suggesting, which is speaking up, talking about it, and being proactive and finding solutions to anything, it seems. It seems like there's been an expectation from the group of there being hand-holding and babysitting and um, micromanaging and things like that. Uh, again, issues that I myself have not necessarily been aware of. I'm, I'm just being informed of this now. And it's also something that... Uh, the leadership aspect of all of this is an important part to play. We can have a group of people that may be willing and, and to give this a shot, but if there's no leadership for it, then there's no fucking leadership for it. It's just the, and, and I can't, this isn't a one man fucking show. It's not, a, I can't, I can't sail a fucking boat on my own. 
you know so it's it's also it's uh, a combination of things uh, uh, hello and that's why we're saying let us help you yeah can you guys hear me yeah yeah we yeah. hear you yeah okay um i am my head is really hurting right now really good. hurting good you're, you're good. good you're good but like you said it took a while for you okay. to figure everything that's going on it shouldn't have fucking taken this long for you to figure out you know what's going on when i had an issue when i wanted to talk to you about you know where you see me here i did that i came straight to you and pulled you aside i said look this is what i'm good at doing i'm all in i just wanted to see where you see me at and you yeah, gave me that I'm, answer I'm... Everyone I'm, else I'm needs to fucking, fucking do the that. same things. And plus, you're not the only leadership here. You literally said Joe and Eve are both in the same position. You're not around. There's two more to go to. Everyone here has to work together. It's not all on veto. That hasn't been on veto. Nor should you be feeling like you're the lack of leadership to keep this going. Uh, bra. Leadership is strong. You have three fucking smart people <laughs> here. You have a lot of hard workers. I've here. been the only one carrying this burden. All right. It's just time to fucking weed out the ones that don't want to be here. That's it. It's that simple. I, I, and for you to uh, say it's not that simple, I mean, I don't know, you know, it's what not, else you're thinking. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not that simple. I, I feel like others here would be better off speaking about this than I am because, I, again, I'm, I, I have limited information, unfortunately. So, Carlo, Eve, speak up. I don't know. Tell, tell them what, what you've told me earlier. I, I don't know what. I don't, I, even after our conversation, I still don't know specifically what the broader issues have been because. They haven't been mentioned to me by anybody else. What? I, I'm in the dark, so. Huh? I can only speak on the consensus that we, we agreed on with the information that I was given by you two. Uh. I feel like the problem is you're being kept in the dark. Okay. Well, that in itself is a problem. And okay. then the ones that are keeping you in the fucking dark need to set the fucking panties out of the fucking bunch and figure the shit out. If they're going to keep, they keep uh, things away from you when well, you're not informed, when you're the fucking leader here, what? you can already tell where the loyalty lies. That's they're crazy, in, bro. They're scared that, oh, Vito might think this, Vito might think that. Oh, I don't want Vito to know this. I don't want Vito to know that. No. I want to hear what even Carlo share with Vito because I feel in the dark here too. I got no idea what the fuck we're talking about. I mean, I have no idea. But no still. one knows what's going on, it seems like. <laughs> I'm just here. Pause. When we don't need a fucking pause. We're moving. We're building. We're catching up. A pause should not even be considered right now. <laughs> oh, I am I am just in shock. <laughs> the fact is all of the issues were 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 brought up and this is the consensus of it that you guys are seeing right now. Things that we've agreed upon that keep on coming back. Issues of people having conflicts with each other that are assumed to be over with. And then it keeps on being issues moving forward with multiple people, not just, n not just singular people. And that's an issue that's going to keep on happening because as we do say... It's as easy as saying, let's be adults and talk to each other. It's not how it works. It's not how it's gonna work. Unfortunately. That's how it's supposed to work. 
You tell people but it doesn't. It, a it's bit not. It's him. it's not how it works. I'm sorry, but people don't do that, and it's not going to work that way. If they don't do that, then you know how the mindset is. I have no problem if people have a problem with me or I have a problem with somebody talking it out. You figure it out right then and there. Talk out your fucking problems. Back in the day in fucking public school, shit. You had a problem with somebody, you fought it out. Usually right after that fucking fight, y'all became friends. You have respect for each other. Everyone's so f afraid of fucking speaking their fucking mind because they feel like, you know, Bro, people gonna are going to think otherwise. Speak your fucking mind. Don't be I afraid. Don't understand. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I don't understand why issues are lingering, too. Like, if they've been, especially if they've been sorted out already. <laughs> Uh, but they if clearly have right like issues. Yeah, if... it, issues just haven't been. They've been brought up, think they've been done, and then they haven't, and then it's just a recurring thing, and nothing is going to change moving forward. And okay, so revisit it and fix it. Keep not, doing that until the problem is fixed. This, but that is like hitting your head against a wall. And what if the people don't want to do that anymore, Natalia? And that's well, their then, problem. Then that's when the leadership comes together, get them to fucking together, and figure out what their plan is. Either that, or they knock their heads together, tell them to get the fuck over it, and we all move on. And people have been and respectful, told that. You guys, are you guys are naming things that have already been used. If we're shutting shit down here right now, then I say we just cut the bullshit. Nothing needs to be veiled behind the secrets and all that. Everything's so vague right now. I mean, exactly. who got a better like offer where, what, what issue happened that we don't know about? I mean, we could just name it here if things are ending. I mean, what's the point? Of yeah, things are that bad. What the fuck is going on that has gotten it to this point where this whole half the of the dark. circle is out of the, this whole half of the circle is out of the fucking loop. We don't even know where this is coming from. <sighs> and y'all are still just, you know, giving vagues and, and like, you know, ambiguous references to XYZ. We don't know what the fuck is going on. How are we supposed to help you if you're not telling us anything? How are we supposed to fix this if you're not telling us anything? The only we want to make seeing... this work. We want to. We want to see this succeed. And you're just. You're not saying anything. That's There's so a lack goddamn of frustrating. A lack <laughs> exactly. Of communication. communication is so fucking important. <laughs> Y'all have been saying since day fucking one. Talk your feelings. Talk your shit. Figure <gasps> it out. And here we are in the middle of this, at the end of it, and you're not <laughs> saying shit. <laughs> so make up your goddamn minds. Are we talking about it or aren't we? Let's fucking fix it. We're, We're not, a family here. We are coming to you and telling you how it is. Like children, like like we are the parents telling you this is the divorce, and you guys are saying let's fix the divorce. But there should be no fucking divorce because it seems like the we're divorce not parents is caused... and children. We're grown adults, and the problem is what I'm <laughs> seeing now is a lack of fucking communication. No one's saying what's on their fucking mind. Like, like Tiny just said, <laughs> y'all are saying there's a bigger fucking problem, but we're still vague from the information of what the actual fucking problem is. There's fucking personal beef between people. Say it right now. Who the fuck are the problems? Who is me, Tiny, arguing with whoever? Me, Tiny, and DeVito were all in the house earlier. We were talking about all these big plans we have going on that we want to get going. Mm. And then we suddenly come here and we're like, oh man, I hope this is good. And then it's this. <laughs> Where were we when this consensus was made? Where were we when these problems were brought up? Uh. I don't know what Kala texted. I didn't see it. Why are we not a unit right now? Because we really, uh, really, really fucking should be. I'm not seeing no communication. <laughs> That's why we're not a fucking unit. That's why there's a feeling of fucking divorce. We're still sitting here. I don't quiet, think we came here holding your to hands talk next it to out, other, crossing your fucking arms, and not saying a damn fucking thing. I don't think we I came here to talk it out. Because I know Natalia was trying to get a hold of Eve. Vito said he was in a meeting that y'all all were together. So you obviously just all talked about something that led us to this point. I'm not saying shit anymore. And where were we? 
talking about moving Spill forward. It. I'm not saying anything else anymore. I'm not saying anything else anymore. I've already said I, I can only speak to the information that I know. Stop I it. don't want to bring up the problems Stop that it. were brought up to me. Stop because it. It's not my place. At this point, if you guys want full transparency, no. Whoever brought up problems before, bring no. them up again, discuss them, tell people they no. They have a right to know. I mean, Tiny's Tiny's right. So, I, yeah, I, I disagree I with that. I disagree with that. We, me and Carlo, just spent an hour and a half talking and bringing up all the issues, and this was the consensus. This was the consensus. The consensus. I'm, of... Oh, I'm, I'm not going back on between that. the two of you. I'm not. I'm not going back on the consensus. They're asking for what the problems were. I think. I think that should be coming from the people that are raising the problems or or, or bringing the problems to light. I don't see how that solves anything because I'm not going to go back and try to solve all the problems. We're not asking you to solve the problems. We're a group, right? We're a family. We want we're to know together. what's going on so we can help to fix it. It's not, it's so not we can help fixed. to make it better. It's not going to get fixed. Okay, it's not gonna so, be better. okay so old problems, all right, old problems aren't going to be fixed. But we can learn from them and move forward, not making those same mistakes again. That's the point of making mistakes, so that you learn and you do better and you improve. You don't just say, oh, we fucked up X, Y, Z amount of times with this and with this and with this and with this. Okay, what's the fuck? what the fuck is the point? We might as well give up. We keep moving forward. Nah, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything anymore. We're I'm not saying this. anything anymore, and bro. We want to be in this. Vito we is like moving forward. We don't. We're not ready for this. Vito is like throwing us under and the we bus. We want to see it succeed, and we want to see it work, and it can work. Nah, I'm not doing There's this no anymore, bro. There's no reason we should be giving up right now, just because it's been hard. It's gonna be fucking hard. That's I'm not doing this anymore. You fight. You get you get into arguments with each other. You fucking nah. disagree with this and that. You have problems. Nah. But you sort them out and you move forward. Nah. That's what family is. Nah. You don't just give up when it gets hard. Nah. Nor do you pause. Nah. You keep moving forward. You gonna let a fucking brick wall stop you from greatness? Or are you gonna climb over it? Cause I'm not letting no fucking brick wall stop like, me. Like if Vito wants me to add everything from getting to where y'all wanna be. Not no little fucking drama. Not no little fucking personal beefs. If I got to, I'll fucking talk to everyone here. You got a fucking problem? Call me. I'll handle it right there. Talk to you about it. Get you two together. Whatever the fuck the problem is. I don't care. I am here every morning, every fucking night. And I'm not, I'm only getting what I get phone calls about. And I'm there to help. Should they be calling me? No. Is it my position to help them? No. But I'm doing it because we work together. Yeah, Eve's a concierge. But you, you're also busy with your own thing, too. So, you know, you might not always be there to handle every single fucking situation. I don't mind fucking helping. <laughs> yeah, Vito's not always awake until later in the day. I don't mind telling <laughs> yeah. people, hey, hold the weed runs. Hey, go buy some weed. Hey, you want to do something? Here, figure out some information about the computer shit. I know Joe's, you know, going through his own thing. I don't mind telling people, either figure your shit out or get the fuck out. <laughs> Why? Because we're here to work together. Uh... The mindset of it's not going to get better is not the way to go because it can get better just because it's bad right now. <laughs> and if we really set our minds to it, it's going to get better. Our minds have been added and tell you. Are you being a hoe? So it's good that you feel it's your one. No. I'm still seeing the fact that we asked for information. Just for clarity. The, for clarity, and that's the first thing you say is your mind's still been at it. You're still holding back. You're still lacking communication right now. That's the fucking problem.
You're keeping things to, to, to each other instead of informing the entire fucking family. I understand not everyone needs to be involved in everything, but when it comes to a problem that's burning the fucking family to the ground, yeah. Everyone need needs to, to help. Everyone needs to know so that way we can all work together. Mm. I just, like, I'm not saying anything anymore. Bruh. Like, move on, please. I can't. I I'm not, I'm not so, airing anything. Vito, I feel like you threw even I under the bus there. What else is he supposed to do? He doesn't know what's going on any better than we do. He, he does. He does. We sat and spoke for two hours and he was pretty much on the same page as us. So you don't know what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> I mentioned at the very beginning that I am, I am not going to bring up the problems. In, in this conversation, I mentioned at the beginning, I'm not going to bring up the problems. That I'm going I'm to speak on the information I know. You want me to say it? I can say it. If you, if you ask me to say it, I will say it. But I just don't I, know what's saying. It, does, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything, It right? doesn't do anything. Bringing up old problems does not bring up, like, do anything. It's just going to cause more harm to this group. Then it should. We can't know where we're going wrong and know how to how to fix what it. What does it matter? It's not going to get fixed, it Natalia. Doesn't it doesn't. You want to bring matter? up an example? I'll bring up one example, okay? Donnie. We had we found out Donnie was going behind behind our back and disclosing a lot of family internal issues to other people. Then what are you doing? Also now? found out. Hold in? on, hold on, hold on. Also found out that he was refusing to give money. Here and was giving money to other people for their goals. Then what are you doing in that situation? What well, does it matter? Just today. What does it you matter? What it does, does matter. it matter? What does it matter? Like I said, you find the bad fucking apples and throw them out. That's it's... what fucking matters. The decision you're is already made. At this point, you're throwing made. out the whole tree. You're throwing out the whole tree. It doesn't matter if there's gonna be just this in the fucking group. Whatever's here right now can still build the fucking foundation. Y'all want to be your own fucking entity, right? That's what y'all came back for? And stayed for? To be your own fucking entity? And not be underneath anybody else? Then figure out what's stopping you from being that fucking entity and throw that fucking apple out. That's what fucking matters. You saying what fucking matters... Is an issue right there. You're not willing to fucking handle the fucking problem right there. Exactly. Like I love, I love Donnie to fucking death. But the one thing we say to everybody is that family issues do not leave this square. And he not only did that, but he refused money to the family, and gave it to somebody else. So why is he still in? And that's that's for me coming from someone who loves. I Donnie mean, granted, so, so they, much, they, they, this, this was discovered hours ago. This wasn't like something discovered, uh, like few days ago and we just kept Donnie around this is I mean this is very fresh so I an how's it going to be handled it's simple he's gone it's, it, we, that, don't that, that we, be... we don't we don't care, care because what do you mean you don't no care we don't care this ain't about fixing things it's about the respect of knowing before we leave that's how I'm approaching it Donnie the minute we find that out he should be in a fucking river somewhere but it is what it is obviously it don't matter no more but just the respect the knowing you know, at least now there's some yeah, me and Carlo are aware of so that checked that out. Makes sense towards this conversation. Where we're coming from, we don't see wh where the issues are. We this is a, this is a blind side, right? That's why we're asking for information because we just don't know what the deal is. Transparency, communication. <laughs> And if you're worried about throwing out the whole fucking tree, it shouldn't matter if there's 20 apples on the fucking tree or five. A tree still grows at the end of the fucking day. Plus, there's a difference between people having problems and, you know, needing to learn from them and people having issues that never get solved and always cause issues. And, you know, it's just an endless cycle. There's a big difference between that. Bro, I just want to go and tell Luciano about my day, man. Thank you, Cal. We're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to slip up. I, I understand it's, what the they're saying. The people who make repeat mistakes. But I do not care. Like, I'm so checked mistakes. out, man. And don't show any remorse or anything like that. 
those are the people that need to be you know, got rid of. Those like, are the bad I apples. don't care. Like, just let me, like, move on. That's not the whole tree. Okay. I don't care. Look, if, if you guys don't want to fucking say it, I'll say it. But I'm not going to elaborate on any of it. Because we had a long discussion. The three of us had a very long discussion about these issues. At the end, we agreed that the consensus was, you know, this isn't going to work out. But I'm not about to have that conversation again here with, with you two specifically. If they have questions, they should be directed at you. If they have questions, they, said they should be directed at me that, uh, about anything. If you have questions, speak up and ask them. I'm going to mention the topic points, and that's it. Because these issues uh, were not brought up by me. And therefore, I do not feel that I have the responsibility to to elaborate on them. Is, is that are, are we good with that? Can I do that? Go ahead. Yep. Another issue that was brought up was Fiona and Tiny Tony not having a sit down for something that happened at this point a month ago. Apparently, from what I had heard. It was water under the bridge, but apparently not. So that, that still needs He's to He's so full of bullshit, man. Um, Another issue? I felt it was settled, obviously. Or I would have brought you, uh, Fiona. <laughs> uh, Lack of communication. Another issue was that uh, uh, for some reason, it was uh, assumptions were being made about me and Juno. <laughs> uh, Juno apparently is, is a problem. A, People have issues with her. I don't know the full details of it. I tried getting information about it earlier. It didn't seem like it was as big of an issue as it was made out to be. But <laughs> Juno is a problem. Uh, uh, well, if you're not given if you're not given information on that problem, you, you know, then there's lack of communication right there. What's the fucking problem? I haven't seen a fucking problem. I just seen someone that speaks to fucking mind, which is how it should be. Not holding things in. Bro, I, I cannot minute, be bothered. And then making I cannot to already fucking give up. Be bothered. And not want to fix things. Because that's what I'm getting right now is some of y'all already made the fucking decision to give up, which is why you're not wanting to fucking speak on the fucking problems. Because you don't want to put in more fucking time to fix it. And at the end of the day, if you want to fucking give up, then, you know, do what you want to fucking do. But I'm not giving up. At least I'm let not. us know so we know how to move forward. So right. we know what the problems are to address and to fix and to make better for us, if not for you. The Juno Vito thing is obviously something I, know. I haven't heard anything about, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, either. that's news to There's me. I mean, it was one of the reasons Lottie left. Okay, why? Was that a, I, I mean this respectfully to Lottie, was that a bad thing, her, her stepping out? No. <laughs> I wasn't sure if she was in any way, honestly. So she had an issue with, what, Vito and Juno? No. That she just what was the issue then? Thing? Lottie had a multitude of issues. All of these issues that you guys are bringing up today, communication, leadership, a lot of things. And then a big portion of that was she felt that Juno had an immense dislike towards her. Well, if she felt that way... She did address she just... it. Did she address it with... Did y'all both have a sit down with Juno and Lottie? She asked for a sit down with Juno. Juno said she does not dislike Lottie, and that was over with. It doesn't matter. Was that communicated asked... to Lottie? It was. Yes. I still would have pulled a fucking sit down, whether, you know, they said that. Doesn't matter what you would have wanted to do. Oh, it's, these, these are two, okay. be, two issues of people feeling they're not liked by other people. There's a lot of those issues, Tiny. 
Yeah, we should have obviously. We should have fixed those, addressed those. I mean, it's too late now, but obviously people have to understand this in a friendship club. People don't have to be friends. They got to work. It's uh, multiple issues of people feeling like people don't like them. I, this, feelings like that have no fucking place in what we're doing. Not everybody's don't matter. like everybody, but we still are a family. We still have to work. Together. I would say people think it's the opposite. I think people think it is a friendship club and they can do yeah. what the hell they want and still stick around. Okay, then we need to fix right, that. Probably right. We're not I fixing mean, it. Right. Doesn't matter, Natalia. Okay, well, why why are we fixing it? We should. Does be. it matter? Because it seems why? like the decision has already been made that they give up. The same so why are we having this discussion? The thought anymore? of saying that it, you, it doesn't matter already speaks for itself. You gave up. It e. absolutely matters. It 110% matters. We we still want to keep this going. I don't care if you don't. Go run it, Natalia. Go run it. <laughs> Fucking love Paolo. So it seems like even right. Carlo have already made the decision of giving up. It's not about Vito, giving up. It seems what is like it because you're not wanting to fix things. You're you're shutting everything down. We're trying to address to try to make this better. Again, also, if not also, for you, then at least for us. We want to know so we can try to do better moving forward. You're forgetting that you're Vito was a part of this conversation. So to, so to say that this is me and Eve, the Vito, again, you, you're not understanding. I don't know if it's going through one year or out the other or what. A majority of these consensus. issues, a majority of these issues were brought up to Vito at some point along the line. The Fifi and Tiny sit down was brought up to Vito and it was said, Tiny doesn't feel the need to, it's shut down even though Fiona still felt a certain way about it. These things... If I, these obviously, things, if I knew she wanted to sit down, I would have agreed to it. I, nobody, I, I assumed we both said no. no. But nobody knew. I didn't know that Fiona still had an issue with it. I, I had told you. Well, that time passed. Tiny was gone for a week. <laughs> he came back. He said it was all good. I mean, what, again, people need to speak up. And, and you talked to multiple of day, members of leadership about it? At the end of the day... Well, good that you did, but a lot of things end up being <laughs> unspoken, and people just don't say what they fucking feel. What and so we, we, end, we end up, a, it, it becomes a fucking game of mind reading, of why didn't you mind read me? I hear a lot of assumptions being made, and we have to be clear with each other. So, the main issues, are those the three? Those are the three main issues? The, the, yeah, the well, Fifi sit down, the body thing, and the Vito and Juno thing. I, I will, I, like, I, like, I, like I said, I don't want to elaborate, but the, the yeah, the, the, I think there was an un, another underlying issue in general was that it, the vast majority of people in the in the, the group, if you will, have felt like this isn't going to work. I don't know the details of that. I firmly believe it can work. It just sounds like some people aren't willing to put in the effort anymore. Yeah, I feel like the problem was they got the house and now they don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> that was two days ago. Exactly. You got the house two days ago and then everyone started feeling, all right, we're, we got the house. Now what? They need to fucking realize that just because you got the house doesn't mean it's over. That's not end game. It's a bigger fucking end game than just getting the fucking house. Like, what am I supposed to tell reassurance, say, say it one fucking time, and if they can't figure it out, then there you go. That's your fucking answer. They're not fit. Trim the fucking tree if you have to. That's all it fucking just, takes. If, if we need a skeleton crew, then fuck. We'll, we'll get a fucking skeleton crew. We'll start from the bottom. Uh, stop we'll it! Bare bones. Who cares? Square one. We'll who cares? If that's what we need to do, so be it. Bitches, who cares? It's me, Carlo, and Fifi. Get out! Uh, to, to a degree, that, that is kind of the consensus that, that we reached. We're going to be reducing everything to no expectations, no obligations, no commitment, no bigger picture. There are some things that will continue, and if you want to try to get involved in that, try to get involved with that, but they will be under specific people here and 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 if they want you to get involved then you can get involved but there, there is the consensus is there's no bigger picture to work towards at the moment that doesn't mean that down the line we we can't do that but we're slowing it down to a minimal pace we're not rushing anywhere we're not 
going to be setting any sort of group objectives or anything like that. It's going to be bare minimum. We have the house. We can use it for certain things under certain <laughs> circumstances. I don't know, Vito. And everybody's free to do what they want without, again... I don't know, Vito. I don't know. Vito. I don't know. You're going to get that key, buddy, That's after you just threw me and Paolo that, under the bus. But I also don't know that we need to completely go full stop. Slow down. Yes. I don't know, buddy. Stop. No. You just threw me and Kahlo under the bus. I don't know, buddy. We still need something, and we still need to be moving forward. We just need to find out who is and isn't willing to just hang along for the ride. So what what is it that you still need? What is, what are you talking about, Masai? What what do you what do you want? I want to keep moving forward. I want to do what we wanted to do of establishing Vespucci. I want to help, you know, and work with Primo and getting Mamma Mia's on the ground. I still need one need to get Bean Machine off the ground. I fucking and that's I've, something I've been working on the house you all day. can do. Yes, but I'm also so doing a lot of this for the family. A lot of and what I'm doing is for the family, not just for me. Switch up your mindset and, and make it make it for yourself, Natalia. And the time. I don't want it to time, be just for me. If the time comes in the future in which we reconsider things and we want to perhaps put everybody together again towards a bigger picture, then whatever you build for yourself will be a part of that. That's the best like we can do right now. Too late. Because everybody at that point, everybody would have moved on. They've been they'd be settled wherever they are. They won't want to come back. I've seen it happen. Maybe. Maybe not. But that's why you doing it for yourself is probably the better option because no matter no matter Let what we do at the end of the day, go. Not, Let me right? go. You'll have your own thing. Let me go. You have good ideas for that. Out of here. A, a solid guy. There's something you can do. Let me go. Just because there's, you're not going to be able let to me add go. It to the things of value that would bring to the Just family. Just let it die. Anyway. Out of here. Do it anyway. Let it die. Let it die. Let it die. If you have let it die. Let it die. Let it die. Let it die, 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 let just then you can let continue it doing so. Die. But bear in mind, there's just no bigger picture. Let it die. Let it die. I, th that's the only let thing that's really changing. It die. If you want to continue, let it die. I, I don't know. I, let it die. Doing some weird things. Let it die. If you want to continue die. helping people make money let through Group Six, you want to offer that to people. Do let it. it. Die. You, no, nothing's going to stop you from doing that. Let it die. Let it die. The only There's thing. no bigger picture, though, than what are we saving for? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Well, there That's won't the be point. any group objectives. We already have the house. Don't care. If you want to add to things okay. like getting no. more, getting another computer, for example. Don't care. Don't do care. That. No. Do you want to buy yourself a fucking car? Buy no. Yourself a car? You want to get no. a new house? Buy no. Buy yourself a house? No. Be, be selfish. Honestly, be fucking selfish with what you're doing. If you want to help others... <sighs> do it there will be no obligation no standard set for everybody no commitment required do what you want and if what you want is to help others and try to help others and continue doing that so who's going where i want to help everyone here be their own fucking entity because that's what i got from everyone and what their ambition was Meeting every single one of y'all. You came back, you stayed. You could have left after you came back, but you did it. Because you wanted to put something together and be your own entity. That's what I want to fucking help. I don't care, Natalia. And it, 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 I'm, I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay this out in, in the gentlest way possible. No matter what we would do were we to stay together, no matter what we would have achieved staying together, it would not 
have been called Casa de Chenzo unless my brother was here. It doesn't work like that. Without my brother and I, there is no Casa de Chenzo. It's just the Italians. So where's everybody going? Obviously people got plans. I imagine between you, Carlo and Vito, you guys must have some kind of plan going into this meeting. Where are people winding up? I'm just gonna pick, keep on picking up trash. You asking for joining like other organizations? Yeah. Mm. No. Are you are you are you joining loot? No. No. No, I'm just picking up trash. Cause if you want me to be fucking honest here and we're just spilling everything out. Fucking three weeks ago, when I was with Luca, Luca and Luci Luciano were fucking hunting. Luciano pulled me aside and asked if I wanted to do business with him. <laughs> and said it was either him or y'all. <laughs> and I told him, I see <laughs> potential here. So <laughs> I'm staying here. <laughs> I could have been okay. a part of that, but I didn't choose that. This was while you were with I'm us. I'm going here. <laughs> yeah, he, he came, he approached me and asked right. me, what I want to do. He never I stopped said, poaching. the fucking bullshit. Who else has talked to him? I'm sure he's talked to everyone here. <laughs> Not me. He knows better than to fucking talk to me about that shit. Like that silence speaks volumes. The, the silence speaks for itself. No I, one I, to I ain't it. fucking. I ain't seen him in uh, weeks. What do you want me you to say? You haven't been around, so I understand that. Yeah, but, uh, but even if I have, I, I uh, you know, uh, I, I got a text from wait, him. Wait, are you guys seriously uh, you know, asking who, nothing great. who he's been trying to sway? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, if he's done it once with Devito, and he barely even fucking knew me. But he saw potential in me, and I told him, my potential <laughs> oh, is here with everyone so in this funny. fucking circle. I know he's, he's, he told Carlo to come home. <laughs> well, sounds like you have a call to make. Regardless of where everybody goes. Did he just say call, call, call him back? I, he just said call him back. Again. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh... Could use the lumber actually so tell me what you need i'll uh i'll try to get it for you yeah sure yeah, uh, I'll, I'll start i won't sell to the guy but uh, you know i, I still kind of need to get paid for it but uh, you know I'll, right. I'll, I'll just give it to you for the same price yeah i'll use it for it if i want fucking somebody will fucking sugar daddy over here will pay for it I'm sorry, what is our consensus of this? I was, like, singing. I didn't hear anything. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where everybody else is going. I don't know what they're doing. Eve said she's doing sanitation. Everybody pursue their own thing. Ah. Uh, it's really what do you it. want to pursue, yes. Vito? I don't know, Tommy. I've spent I've spent every fucking waking moment of my time basically trying to put this and make, put this together and make it work for the that's last a, month. That's not a that's a lie, but okay. I'm going to literally find myself with so much time on my hands. I I, I just don't know what to do. I I don't know what to do with it. Every dollar I made, however literate, little it may have been, because I can't I didn't have time to make too much money. I've put into the the house. I have two thousand dollars to my fucking name. I don't know. I want to make money. That's about it. That's where I am right now. I want to make money. We'll figure it out. Well, 
I'm not giving up. You might have all made a decision to give up. But I'm still working towards everyone here that had their own fucking entity. If you go end up joining another group, I mean, that's on you. But I'm still working towards making sure the Italians are known in this fucking city for having something. I don't care if I gotta do it all myself and everyone comes back in the end. I'm not giving up. What's the I'm situation with the house? <laughs> the idea is uh, to should... just have it there. Uh, so essentially, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, might now. Yoink. We have some arrangements to make with what's what, what's inside. Um, we plan on continuing, for example, with the weed stuff. We plan on continuing with the um, the butt coin stuff. We have to figure out those circumstances and make sure, you know, we can do all that. Uh, but the house will have restricted access between Eve, Carlo, and myself. Just the three of you. Questions, concerns, opinions, speak up, please. For the love of Christ, speak up. There's little reason to speak up now. Yeah. Just go get our shit out of the house, I suppose. I think we've said our piece and no one else seems to want to talk, so. <laughs> I guess we're done here. Mm -hmm. You might be done, but I'm not. No, I'm I'm not. I'm not done. I'm continuing. I'm just. I will burn in again before I leave this family. Everyone might be done, but I'm. There's not. no family to leave anymore in Italian. I don't care. I said okay. it when Luciano left. I'll say it again. This is my family, regardless. Oh, uh... We're not saying you can't be friends or can't. You know, hang out with people, you know, like. I know that. I'm not saying you are saying that. I'm just saying that this is a, this is. This is my family. This is what I'm striving for. This is what I'm going to build. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm not stopping either. Whether you want to be involved still or not, I'm still doing the same fucking thing that I promised myself I'd do the moment I met every single one of you. Well, if just that's the case, you just lost Italian a fucking name. house. That's a big <laughs> Tiny. fucking uh, Tiny doesn't know. time to get back up there. Tiny doesn't know, though. Tiny doesn't know that he's still going to be, like, in the operation. <laughs> I mean, it's over. I mean, if you don't want it to be over, there's a mountain to fucking climb to get back to where we were ten minutes ago. Uh... Well, uh, it's no secret that everybody here and and others obviously as well uh put things down in order to help us get the house so if there's concerns about the house which is a totally reasonable fucking thing to be concerned about speak up all right say again speak up well about what about what so you're speaking if about, the concerns house, about the house 
yeah, my concern is you're speaking about the house and how we can still use it. How long is that access still going to be around before you decide to just say, fuck it, I'm not answering no one's phone calls. You're not getting in the fucking house, whether you have things in there or not. Between the three of y'all with the keys. But I... That's the reason there would be three of us, right? But what, what would you need to access the house for? I mean, everything that we're doing. Weed growing. Weed drying. Selling. Crafting things. The computers. Crypto. HQ app. I'm still not it. even done decorating the damn place yet. Okay, well, these are things to bring up and discuss. Perfect. Okay, so, start with time. Tommy, you want to be a part of the weed stuff? I want to be a part of everything. He's I, been I, part I, of the weed stuff. Weed stuff, it fucking crypto be. stuff. Fucking, I bought a fucking big bench so we can start fucking crafting things. You want, you want to, you want to keep being a part of all that and keep having access to that. Eve, Carlo, what do you think? Mm. I mean, essentially, the, the operations that Carlo's going to lead, that would be his choice. But at the end of the day, I'm more than happy to compensate everything that's gone into the house. As this is, like I said, this is to essentially have us all do our own thing and come back to something else later down the line, potentially. And if, if we're having this talk and just doing everything the same exact way again, then what is the point? So, so I, I just want to heard... stop what we're doing because you don't want to do it anymore. And I just heard compensation. Like what? You, you're pretty much saying, thank you for everything you put inside the house. I'm going to pay you back for it. But that's an option. Yeah, there's, there's... I'm, I'm, I'm saying that's an option. And I'm saying I still want to keep doing things. In the end, I didn't say Carla was doing the entire crypto thing. That's why I went out and bought a fucking desk. I want to be involved in that too. Not everything has to be Carlos doing the weed sales. <laughs> Carlos doing the fucking crypto shit. Carlos doing the chopping. Carlos doing the fucking fence. We're all supposed to fucking work together here. By compensation, are you implying we can't go there and pull our stuff back out? No, I'm saying you can. 100%. Okay. Yeah, 100%. If the other option is that uh, Eve or Carla will buy you out for something, right? So. But then what do we do? Well, if you, again, if you want to take your stuff out, you can take your stuff out. Or, if you don't want to do that, they can buy you out for something. What do you want to do, Joe? Um. Fuck if I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I hearing right now that we should have bought the house. What? I'm hearing right now that we should not have bought the house. Uh, obviously. Because now it's just it's making things very complicated right now. Uh, high sides 2020 on those kind of things. What can you do? Mm. Hey, who knows what happens down the road, huh? I'm gonna take a piss in that can again. Carlo, Eve, please, I think just speak up and be, be plain about these things. I think, Eve, you've, you've done that to a degree, but Carlo, um, mm. we discussed this, and again, I don't want to speak for you. I, I, I'm no longer in that position after our consensus. 
This isn't about me throwing you under the bus or anything. But let's talk about the weed. Let's talk about the crypto. What 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 do you want to do with it? Tell 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 them what you told me, please. We didn't really discuss the plane, did we? But with regards to other people. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely people. I'm I'm gonna uh, we're cutting out of it. It's for we. Tiny, I'd like to keep you around for that. Okay. So crypto, I'm cut out. Is what you're saying. I mean, I, I mean, there's not really the crypto is there's not much there yet besides the fact that just like we're just making shit right. There's not like uh, there's nothing to like harvest like weed or like. What are you talking about? There's a whole HQ app where we can buy our own fucking turf, name your own fucking strain, and start fucking doing a lot better weed sales, <laughs> which benefit you, which benefit everyone here. What the fuck are you talking about? That there's not much there. There's a whole fucking, in a fucking HQ app, there's house robberies. There's fucking robberies in it. There's literally a thing where you can put a fucking group together of who can fucking work together. There's a whole lot there. And I know that. So for you to say that there's not a lot there, means either I, you don't know, or B, you want to make it seem like there's not a lot there so you can do it yourself. I mean, I've spoke to so many fucking people. Shit, I've even fucking talked to you know about the entire fucking thing. I know everything that computer fucking does. And I know what's coming. And you know what's fucking coming too. I'm so over So how are you going to sit here and tell me that there's not much there? I'm so like, I'm over a fucking, this. A fuck, I got a fucking dumbass right across my forehead. Well, at that we'd point, th that's... Go ahead. We'd have to discuss how the weed shit works and all that, but, I mean, we could discuss it later. Yeah. I plan on talking to you later. Dude, I've been live for nine hours? Oh, my I, God. I, I don't think... Fuck, man. I, I just feel like I should be the one speaking up. But, okay. I don't think Carlo thinks you're a fucking idiot and he's trying to play dumb or anything like that. All right? Tommy, I think, I think Carlo... It sounds like he wants to do it all himself. Yes. Yes. That is exactly like it. Like he wants to do weed all himself. That's why he never fucking called me to ever help. Carlo wants mm. to do weed with Tiny. Bro, what if we just sell... Like, we just sell the house, he, he pay why? everybody he... back, start from fucking zero! I'm not excluding. This know. is not a thing anymore. But did you have Who? the decision of doing it all yourself in the first place before the decision was made? I've been doing it myself because I didn't trust half the fucking people here. At that point, more accomplished here. No, I mean, at that point, I guess I'll grab everything that I put in, buy myself my own fucking house, and whenever you're ready to fucking build the fucking Italian name, give me a fucking call. If you want to work for somebody else and go back to what you were doing five years ago, do that. We're literally not doing that. I don't know why you are assuming we're doing that when we're, we're not. Any any other questions, concerns? But uh, when when you say get get what you put into it, Tommy, what do you mean? What are you taking out? A desk, the bench, furniture stash, everything I moved from my apartment, okay. including the blueprints I bought. Eve. Yeah, 
That's fine. Bench. Do you just take just take whatever you put in there? I know what I put in there. Okay. I'll I'll figure this out. You you had mentioned you had mentioned you... buying buying the bench. Yes. Can I buy the bench from you? Because you would have no use for it. I'm going to. I, so... I still have use for it. Okay. Okay, then let's get that done right away. Please. Um Tiny, I know you have a car parked at the house. Yeah. What are your plans? What are you what are you thinking? I don't care that. I don't uh, care about the money. I guess it it's pending on this discussion about the Wii stuff. Um unless you want that space and you're you can only hold one car. So if you want me to take no, that car out of there, I'll just have, have a with color. All right. Uh, and then, depending on how that talk goes, uh, I mean, our plans was to take the car, the and the two racks with the electronic parts, and that would be all that I put down there at the house. I bought some license shit, so I'll get that back, I guess. <laughs> and the walls are already down, so I can't take those back. I can, I can call myself a boss. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I hate this. Mm. Okay. Anything else? Do we know of anybody else that, uh, well, actually, Tommy Caluso, Billy, Billy Bronson. Uh, the other computer belongs to Billy, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Try to reach out as soon as possible. Get um. Get that done with, right? Tell him what's up. Uh, see what he says. If I'm needed for that. Let me know, please. Uh. Luca will be around in the morning, so I'm sure he's gonna be wanting to be told about everything, so he can probably grab his things. <laughs> uh, Paolo. Right, so you said you want to take Luca's things as well. No, I'm saying he'll be around in the morning. So I'm sure y'all will need to tell him everything as well. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Paolo is not going to want to talk to to Luca. Is it going to be right in the morning to tell him? We'll see him at okay. some point. Okay, okay. Uh, um, my doors are completely open at the moment for anybody that needs anything. What? I, I feel like I'm just, I guess, pissing in the wind at this point, but... Dude, Vito's making himself out know. to be the good guy here. As, Bro. as I have said... Bro, this is crazy. Every time that we have met and discussed things... Uh... Every time that I have called anybody individually to ask what they're doing... It's been a, a place of genuine interest. And your own ah. well-being. Because ah. <laughs> I genuinely believe that the, glazing. the success of each individual here is what would have made this group. The glazing something. right now, I can't. Um, I end everything, usually, with, if you need anything, let me know. Uh, bro. So please let me know. Let me out of here, bro. Uh-uh. And... For those that aren't here now, tell them. If they want more context, they can speak to me. And I'll redirect them to Eve and Kylo when it where necessary. Uh. And that's it.
Mm. Need a fucking cigarette. I'll be at the house for whoever needs to take things out. Bro, I feel so bad for DeVito. Like, I love DeVito, but like... You know? The end of the day. We're free! We're free! We're free! Sensei, I know it's up here somewhere. Oh, hold on. Feel bad for what? 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 Watches? No, this is no pixel music. Hi. Hey. Um, I'm gonna come to the house too. I just want to make sure no one just tries to snag my shit or something. My 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 GPU and shit. Okay. So just yeah, I'll, just I'll, wait until I'll I get wait. there. Yeah, I'll wait at the. Gas I got like station. a lot of shit on my PC. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait okay. at the gas station. Okay. All right. All right. All right bye bye. I'm <laughs> I know. I I. Uh... Yeah, I gotta. I'm thinking. So I mean, I don't know what Vito's planning on doing. I mean, we have me, you, and Fiona, Joe. Tiny, I'm keeping around. I'm thinking about Devito. I just, I, I would have to talk to him. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna feel slighted for now, but it's just like, I just, I just want us to be small for now, and then later on, sure. But it's like, I also don't like yeah. that the, the dismissing all of our concerns and issues because they think it's it's happy happy sunshine, and I also really don't like the way Vito threw us under the bus now. Yeah, that that definitely fucking rubbed me the wrong way. I mean, he just fucking just said, "Here, yeah, this is all of them." This is this and is I their was... issues, and <laughs> I kind of agree with them. And this is our consensus, but we're disbanding the family because yeah. this is this is their issues. And I'm just like, yeah. And then he just glazed at the end. Um, to be honest. Hear me out. Hear me out. W would it be a bad idea to sell the yellow house and just buy a Southside house and then just? I 
was thinking that too because then we could pay people back really easily and oh, no we don't, we don't have to pay people back we just buy a bench and shit that people are taking i was thinking that too kind how of. much do you get you know so we're gonna we're gonna lose i paid 412k and if i look at the tablet right now mm -hmm. um i can sell it back to the government for 346,000. That's not bad. No. Give me out. Give I'm me out. I'm listening. We do 346,000. And we just we go buy a house on Fudge Lane. <laughs> For like 183,000 or some shit. We buy a bench back that time he's taken. We buy another computer. And then I could reach out to Uno for like server racks and shit. <laughs> I want to decorate a house so badly, like nicely. So why don't we do that? <laughs> a part of me doesn't even want to give Vito a key. Is that like bad of me? No, I don't want to give Vito a key after that either, to be honest. <laughs> Do you think he'd be like pissed if we just did this? Um, maybe, but after what he kind of did, I'm kind of mad. I'm super pissed about that. Uh, can, can me you and me you and, and Fiona uh, yeah, meet up and dis yeah, yeah, discuss let's, let's before we this. give people the shit back? I wanna I wanna figure Wait, this out real before quick. Before we give the how people the shit back, we yeah, because well, I I kind of I kind of might just want to keep just DeVito. Tiny and Devito around just to help me with the illegal stuff. Okay, well, just them two. Well, can we meet up real quick? Because the Vito's waiting at the house. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll come now. Okay. Were you at the gas station in your park? Yeah, I'm at the gas station. Okay, all right, bye-bye. <laughs> he put 20k and he took zero responsibility. Dude, that is... Bro. I like the Vito. I, th I thought, like... Huh? I don't need EMS. Bro. <laughs> like, like Carlos said, the rug pull of the century. Dude, I'm gonna text grandma. I'm free! And I'm not gonna answer. I'm free! Grandma. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm alright. How are you? <laughs> Good. I, I, I had the had the meeting go. I'm finally free. Yeah, it was a long meeting. No, I'm free. What does that What does that mean? I'm free. You're free to like go hunting or something or what? <laughs> no, I'm I'm free. <laughs> what is what does that mean? First you left, and then Lori left, and then Tessa left. And technically, I didn't leave. The whole family just left. What? Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Wait, hold on. Actually? Yeah. You busted my balls. No. You better be telling me if you busted my balls right now. I'm not. Oh my God. Wait, what the fuck happened? Wait, what? so what? Oh my god. Oh, 
also apparently I'm a child in a woman's body according to your brother so that's you know the next insult of the century oh Jesus Christ yeah I confronted him about Juno and that was his his um his throwback at me god damn it I thought you guys were getting along yeah you're not you're not joking right no so what happens with the house and all that um pending oh my god I'm a bit, I'm a bit shocked to be honest. Okay, so where's everybody? Where's everybody going? A tiny ass too, like in a sense of like, are we like gonna join another gang, like or something? I don't know. People are just free to do what they want. How many people in total were there and and how many people are disbanded mm, not a lot of people know right now so it's official like it said all right the family no longer no longer continues that that's it yeah to like work through but you know me and Paolo like brought a lot of issues to Vito and then in the big meeting like your brother just threw me and Carlo under the bus basically saying yeah I didn't know about any of these problems and uh you know if you if you want more information about it just uh you know ask uh Paolo and Eve about it and we were just like what the fuck Vito um so he looks like a really good guy right now, as if there's no um, problems at all from his side ever. And, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, that is... I'm speechless. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me call you back, all right? Yeah, okay. Can you call your brother? Are you, are you, are you happy? I don't know. Let's see about it. Okay. You guys seem pretty stressed about all this shit, so maybe this is a good thing for everybody. I just don't like the way that your brother handled like the situation. Yeah, I mean, it must have not been easy for anybody. Hold on. Okay, I gotta talk to Paul and Fiona anyway. I'll uh, talk to you later. Anyway. Always making excuses for the people. Uh. I'm just uh, I'm just gonna get in the car with you real quick. All right, what do we do? So. I don't know where Vito lies after this. I'm gonna be honest. 
that was very shitty of him. I, I, that whole I conversation. Have, I'm gonna I, tell you right now. I, I'm gonna tell you right now what I think Vito's gonna do. Because mm -hmm. I was reading that situation. I think. I think Vito. I think Vito is gonna. He tossed us hard under the bus. Mm -hmm. I think. I think people are gonna come to Vito and ask about it, and he's gonna continue to throw us under the bus. And then mm -hmm. I think Vito's gonna try and restart this without us. No way he does that. There's no way. I the way he was sounding it sounded he made it believe that everyone that he was still in even though that was not the case Hmm At the end of the day like even if we if we do this right now right we sell the house and we and we buy something else They wouldn't even know That's what i'm saying. I think I think we take we let people take their shit. We take our shit we sell the house, we take that extra 100k, we buy the bench that you need for your materials and stuff. And I'll mm -hmm. need it too. Maybe buy one more computer for me. I I already... Hold on, Tiny Tony's phone. Yeah. Hey, Tiny. Hey, do I still have access at the house? Um, you still, you still have access. Okay, for some reason I can't pull, pull my car out of the pocket. Yeah, I, I haven't been at the house yet. Just run away and try and try the thing again. It's very finicky. Okay, all right, you got it. Thank all you. Right. All right, bye. All right, bye. Can we talk inside? Yeah. Drain. So I already bought a, 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 a large storage crate yesterday for 12.5k. Do you know where I put it? At Bane's house. Because I just, I just, I just had a bad feeling about everything, like, leading up to this, honestly. After the way Vito talked to me yesterday about, like, the Juno thing. Like, it was just crazy to me how biased he is towards Juno. And, like, how... Did, did you hear that buzz he spit about Lottie? Like, butterfly hopping, bug loving. Oh, holy yeah, shit. Backpack. He threw such a diss Dude, to Lottie. Dude, yeah. holy. Just, it's just unneeded. Uh, like, it's just... I don't give a... But, like... With how Vito came off in that meeting, if I'm those other people, I'm viewing myself, I'm viewing that, that I'm trying to read the situation if I'm the Vito or Natalia there. It sounded like Carlo and Eve don't want to be in this. Vito does, but he feels alone. So I feel like Vito's going to go to those people and use them to try and build this back up again. I'm going to be completely honest. I, I, feel, I feel like that's what's going to happen. And if that's the case... Then fuck it. I mean, we Good sell luck. the fucking... I said we sell the house... We buy a cheap house on the south side. It gives us an extra 100k on spending. Did you hear what, we, but, what, what Vito the... said, though? That if you wanted, like, any, like, a, like refunds, talk to Carlo and Eve? Yeah, I know. Did you hear how he said that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why was I the first example brought up when know, he was explaining was, everything? Like, what the fuck was that? And the, 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 the fact that he also said, like, assumptions about, like, Juno and him, like... Bro, I gave him like three, four different scenarios with Juno. He kept saying, Juno. I guess. He kept saying, I guess. Like, he's like, I guess there's issues mm -hmm. with Juno. There's like, I gave him four different examples where Juno is an issue, a core issue. And he just like, he gets so defensive. Fiona, he got so defensive, he had to outright insult me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest too. Like, good luck if he wants to go try to rebuild that. But like... Just because you have a couple grinders around you to bring in money, you're not going to be able to build something successful. <laughs> Say it as that, man. Like... I get, I get you know, they, those people who can bring in their money, they could run their fucking goddamn big group six trucks, they could run their fucking big truckers, but at the end of the day, uh, <laughs> like, that's, that's not what what's needed to, to build something like we were trying to do so you're just gonna run into the same to the same problems well i think we i mean if you we let everybody take their stuff and then i think we do that i'm i'm all for that because it gives us extra spending cash i agree and then no one's gonna know where we live yeah, I like that. Except if they look up, but, like... Well, yeah, I guess that's fair. But... That's whatever. They, 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 they'll probably just think we just sold the house to sell the house. We do that. We buy the south side house. And then, um... Yeah, I mean, at that point, we could just... Go from there. 
What do you think, Fiona? To be honest, Fiona, I was... I was sticking around after Luciano left, after Lodi left. I felt so responsible for bringing you into this mess that I didn't want to leave you. And please don't tell me that you also were just sticking around <laughs> for me. Yeah, I was sticking around for both of you. Yeah, I was sticking oh! around for both of you. <laughs> oh! I don't really have that many close ties to anyone Vito in the family. Too. Like, don't get me wrong, so... I was thinking about for Vito too, but um, my distaste for Vito has gone up a little bit after that meeting. I, I was fully on board to keep working with Vito, but yeah. after the kind of just saying, you know, just wiping his hands clean, saying, here, Aww. even Carlo take the bun out of this, uh, it's just rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat though. I think he's gonna stir and just fucking make himself look like the good guy. Yeah, and then re and re rebuild this, right? I mean, that's kind of the vibe I got. Mm -hmm. What he was, and he he made it. He played. I mean, hats off to him. He pl he played that meeting to a part where, like I said, he didn't. It made it seem like he still wanted to work for everything. Which mm -hmm. at our meeting with Eve, he did not seem that way when we fought this to him. He was like fully on board. He didn't understand the Juno stuff, but he understood the other stuff. God damn, we're gonna be up. Which is whatever, but. Um. Damn. But yeah, I mean, I I think we do that. Um. And then, and then go from there. I mean, before doing something like that, just there's gonna be way more fallout. It's going from nuclear option to nuclear option, you know. What do you mean? Using everyone's money to buy a house between three people, like they're gonna come after us. Especially if Vito's gonna try and rally the troops. Like that would be a very, very good Who? thing to get Ooh, everyone what together. What Ooh. troops? Juno? <laughs> <laughs> Natalia, Tommy, Tiny, like everyone. What do you mean? Tiny, Tiny's. Gonna, I'm, I'm bringing Tiny in with me. I mean, okay, the way Tiny say... was talking to me down there, it didn't seem like he was 100% in with going with you. Okay, then I'll cut Tiny out too. <laughs> I mean, he might be after the conversation. I think he's waiting for that, but also, I don't think he's 100%. I mean, in. half the time, honestly, I feel like Tiny would be way more loyal if Vito was like, he's cutting all of us out, but he's keeping, he's bringing the family back. Tiny, Tiny would be more loyal to Vito, and at the end of the day, if he's trying to double dip, he, he he's just he's just gonna he's just gonna yeah that's fair yeah i mean shit i mean we we know people we work with we can work with other people i mean shit i mean i'm i'm more open to like fucking helping bane and them out if you want to help they you know, they put me in contact with they, them they they do have their own thing that they want to start up it's actually if we want to do weed bane and them don't want to do weed at their house but they they yeah. are looking to get into weed I, I even know a couple people that like I'm friends with that I kind of just do it by themselves that I can even just ha have helped me at least teach me to grow you know or, or, or grow for me and I could just keep selling it and I'll just oh my like god. you know buy it from a discounted price from them or something oh my god it would be like Bane and them have a lot going and I, I know that they want to get into E2 but they haven't gotten there so I think that we, we have a strong thing to get things going but not just and just doing our own fucking thing I've been exhausted these last few weeks, and it's, it's yeah, it's been it's been hard. Honestly, I've been taking a lot of it out on Fiona, and I felt it, it kind of happened yesterday, and it kind of made me realize like I'm just not happy where I was here. All right, well, we're probably gonna have to wait until Luca moves all of his shit, and then yeah, I mean it'll probably happen. I mean, we can, I can just take. Well, no, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll take the stuff of Luca's and put it away in my apartment, or we could just have someone else take it. And I'd rather just get rid of this house today. I'm gonna be honest. If we were to get one, which, which, which do you think is is a good option? I'm thinking Fudge Lane rather than the South Side. South Side. Um, Bane and them live on, uh, on Fudge. 
Oh, well, that, that kind of works out. Yeah. Um, we, we would get a 340 grand, you said? Yeah, 340. Mm. I mean, I see one for 183. It's, yellow, it's a yellow house. <laughs> let's uh, let's go get the veto stuff out real quick. He's still waiting. And then we can talk about it further. Okay. Yeah. I I I really like the veto, but if he's gonna try to, if he's gonna try to still like say like I'm I, I'm still building for the Italians, like the guy's gotta let it die, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm down to talk to him. Before yeah. he grabs the ship. I mean, yeah. Do you wanna have a conversation with him? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, the stuff has to move. But again, I don't want I don't want anybody to know where the house is besides us three. If we do yeah. buy another house. That's fair. Yana, what are your thoughts? I'm You're still so stun locked. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? I 100% think this is the, like, what needed to happen. Don't get me wrong, it's just... Yeah, I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it, it sucks, but, uh, it's, I think it's needed as well. That whole, yeah, I think that whole conversation just kind of threw me for a loop with Vito and stuff, and I missed the pre-conversation. I don't know. I just gotta let my, uh, get my thoughts together, I think. Okay. I think, at least, if you talk to the VI, we have to let him, like, know about everything, at least. What do you mean, everything? I mean, we have to... Uh, let me park in the alley. At least, like, lay the cards on the table of, like, why we had to make this decision. But then, if they, like, if, 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 if Vito was like, yeah, like, you know, ask the Murphy, like, God, he did. I I have too much self-respect to have thrown him under the bus about all his all his Juno bias. Yeah. Alex just texted me. You ha might have to get legally remarried. What? Why? What are these people doing, man? First they're taking my kids. Now they're taking your marriage. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna fucking stab the mayor. Might have had to see a phone down. Hey! Oh, oh my god. Oh shit. Uh... Oh shit. See who's that there? Wait, we could use the we could use the back door? No, we can't. But there's a lock on it though. Is Fiona just gonna... I don't, I don't know. Can you, can you open the door so I can oh, grab it? Oh, I thought she was up there. How you doing? Hey, we're at the house. Alright, I'm on the way. I'm at Liquid Library. I'm oh, sorry. You're you good. gonna come inside? Yeah, see you in a second. Her head popped. Just locked the door. I'm gonna pee real quick. Do we have stars? We have actual stars.
Oh my god, why is Natalia here too? Fuck man. Oh fuck, I thought it was just the veto. Fuck man. Fuck. Four blueprints in there. Fair enough. Shit. Like, like, I don't even know where I put all this shit. On the ground? We outside. Can you let the Natalia out? No. I don't think you know the key. Do you have a key? Mm -mm. Oh, where's your key? I think Carlo has it. No, I don't. I think it's at the apartment. Oh. Wanna go out? Trash corner still here. I wanted to talk to him. Until I was like, "Oh, is this what?" Wait, what did you say? If you wanted to talk to him, uh, you can talk to him. Until he's outside. Yeah, what about like separating? Let me try. Just mention the fact, of, like veto. Why? Uh, I don't know. Whatever you want to talk to him about. Do you uh, want me to help you, Davido? Uh, I got it. He, he has other things placed down. Um, you have to be really Carlo. Just take out your your like stuff just in case. Well, she has other things placed down here on the shopping list. Uh, that's why I'm asking. Do you want my help? Yeah. I'm just taking stuff out of the furniture collection. Uh, if you want to get out of the editor, I can do it. Oh, okay, you got the bench, okay. Okay. Um, and no, then I, I, I didn't. She has things in the shopping list that she hasn't built yet. So, so I can't, can't save anything until she builds it. Uh, then just take it out.
Yeah, that just pooped in the fucking thin air. You press save? Yeah. First, when I try to remove the desk and press save, it told me shopping list. Open the shopping list. She has like 12 fucking things that need to be built. Try to take those out. Then saved it. And nothing. So she was still working on the house and didn't finish everything. Hey, Nino. Yo! I was expecting you would be asleep. Uh, I mean, I, I was expecting you'd be asleep. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, got a... Do you want to call her from upstairs real quick and ask her to help you? Oh, I'll just open the door for her. Um, hi, what's up? Hey, not too much. Um, uh, I'm down to talk uh, now, unless you want to do it tomorrow sometime. I can't do now, but I can probably do tomorrow. All right, perfect. Um, yeah. I don't know what time exactly-ish. Okay. More is morning better or uh, evening better? Probably evening. Easy. Uh, let's try to schedule something. I like uh, send you like a. Um... Yeah, you can send me an email. Yeah, that's probably best. All right. All right. All right. Easy. Um, I owe you two different payments, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and both orders are in, or the second? Uh, I haven't the, actually checked it. The second one is still TBD. Perfect. Uh, is the second one circuit board? Yes. Okay, I think we can pause on that because I think Donnie managed to get circuit boards. Okay, perfect. But I got to double check with him. All right. I, like, woke up, and there was an entire fucking rack inside the house. So okay. I was like, okay, so I think I think, uh, I think we're good. Have, uh, how have things been? Uh, any, I don't like... Uh, Oh, there's been like oh the the PC war the um. Did you call? I can't see outside. She's not. She went the to PC go war. Yeah. So people have been like um, people have been, got being petty over like dropping prices and shit like that. And then after that, there's been what the fuck? Yeah. Then company came. Hey, after... Excuse me. Company came after the sanitation workers. It's been a whole. Hey, thing. do you think you guys could drop me off at a, a bank if you don't mind? Y'all appreciate it. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I guess I'm glad. Uh, have you been affected at all? Nah, I'm big chilling. All right, good, good. Nah, don't worry, Larry. Like, not um, yeah, it's not. We're, we're not talking about a disease or anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this crazy cold where I I keep saying some weird phraseology. But uh All right, here we go. Y'all appreciate it, Larry. Thank you for the ride. All right. Um yeah, it looks like uh it looks like parts are going out, so that's a good thing. Um the only thing is I need to get Walker keys. Mm -hmm. Um, he runs a lot of like the evening stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I think him being able to access the stash is going to be really good. So what I learned is, so we put a big stash down. So there's like, you know, like a good amount of parts in there. And then mm -hmm. Donnie's got a bunch of other parts on top of it. And I think there's like about a hundred and sixty thousand yeah, dollars worth of inventory. Yeah, I updated I like stock picked like yesterday, but like there's already like more parts being made and it's like you're fucking like it's being cooked in that's crazy. But the issue I see is like not a lot of mechanics being around. So we need to talk about that tomorrow and like what happens when you're not around and stuff like that. Yeah, I think uh transparently it's very hit or miss, right? And there is like the reality where if I'm not around, um, there is going to be the sense because I did hire a lot of those guys mm -hmm. that there may be that sense that if I'm not around, like, you know, there might be less. I mean, it's like with anything, right? Like people want people to be around to be into something. Mm -hmm. But uh, I I think we should definitely have that conversation. And the way that I'm kind of looking at it is um, we have sort of a collective, like, if you want to hire people, Eve, like, 
by all means, right? Yeah, that, that's if Donnie wanna, wants to hire people, yeah, that's what I want to talk about, and then just go from that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, can we do Agreed. this tomorrow? I'm busy. Uh, I'm just busy at the moment. Absolutely. I'm gonna send you the cash, and then we'll uh, we'll right. chat tomorrow. Let's talk tomorrow. All right. Then. Appreciate you. Right, boom. You take care. Bye. Um, I'm coming. I'm coming. Open. Yep. Dude, who's like all these barrels are these? Like I don't even know. This is this is like Donnie's desk. Yoink. Yoink. Those are definitely mine. Think the bench will pop back up after the storm? Um, I have no it idea. Cooled. It was like the desk incident. Um, I mean the desk was still there. It's just the things in the desk was gone. No, I, I was talking about when we had the apartment incident when we we're moving everything oh, here. Um, I don't know. I mean, if it does pop back up, would you let me know? Yeah, I'll let you know. Appreciate it. Hello. Not great. Are you guys? Yeah, the things. Natalia, you had the things. Ty, do you have the things? Can I have them so I can just know? Let me clear my fucking room. Hey. Now what? What's up? Now what? Everyone got their shit? Uh his bench potentially poof. Shit. Oh. Yeah. Um I mean we just gotta get tiny to come grab his stuff out of here for now. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Did we tell Tiny? No. I think we keep this us three right now. See what everybody's decisions are moving forward. 
Okay. So, what do we do? Grab all this shit and load it out, sell the house? Battle. Just go place it down in the new house. If people want it back, we just bring it to them. Where the fuck do we put all of this shit right now? Holy. I got like, <laughs> I got like 20 weed plants in my pocket. <laughs> I'm a walking Christ. traffic charge. <laughs> I want to like grab like all of like the, the walls and shit. Like, not gonna lie. Natalia thought she couldn't take it. I'm pretty sure you could just take it. You're gonna take the fucking walls. Take the walls. It's the expensive. Walls. Yes. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. Hey, so. Hey, Eve. Just uh, double checking. Um, the last mat order for twenty-seven k. <gasps> which one was that? That was. Hey, why don't we? Why don't we get? I don't think I can check my text with you right now, but that was. The big large order where you did like 1k of everything basically, and that, that was like, yeah. Oh, I don't think I sent a uh, a text to that. I think that's what it was. Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, I was probably. Yeah, I don't know, but we've texted a lot since then. Um. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was like 1k to everything, um, and then. You had another order after that, but that was no from me. I think you got uh, external mats, and then um, you wanted the soccer boards, which I I felt I like gave four hundred soccer boards. I I got you. Okay, easy, yeah. easy, easy. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, you're good. Boy. Take care, Eve. Thanks. All right, just got twenty seven k from Nino. Nice. Okay, so. What if we get three seminoles, we load the trunks up, and we sell this bitch? <laughs> yeah, we could probably do that. I got a few, I got a, I got a seminole down at the beach. I just need you to take me to it. I have one at the gas station. I can run to it. Okay. I mean, are we doing this? Yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> Clean slate. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Whatever you guys. I mean, I'm here. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to do. Dude, I'm I in. can't have you half assing this shit. What do you mean? Set him in. You don't sound sure. No, Arrow, what no, you thinking? I'm, I'm... Arrow, what you thinking? <laughs> yeah, it's the... it's, I'm just worrying. It's all. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just worried about the consequences of the actions as opposed to the action itself. Look, Fiona, if you either die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain. <laughs> and we live long enough to become the villain. Damn straight. Fuck everybody else. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm gonna tear these walls okay. down. Okay, you start doing that. <laughs> tear the walls down. Start packing the car. You know gonna take me to go get my seminal. Do you we'll want bring to it here and then we'll just tiny we'll fill quick? everything up in the car. Give me keys. What do we want tiny to do? Get the his weed. Weed rack. Yeah, but he thinks we're keeping the house right now. Okay. Wait, should we get him to do that? Yeah. Get him to take bring okay. get his stuff real quick. Okay. You wanna just take it out and give it to him? Like meet up with I, him? I, I him? don't know what his is. That's what I'm saying. We I'll just load it in a trunk and I'll have him come pick up what is what's what's his. Just take it out of the trunk, you know. We're gonna wait a little? Why? Why why should we wait? We we have shit to do. You just take this. You just take this floor and put it in our new house. Yeah, above us. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. let me see if I can do it. Hold on. <laughs> I can't see the fucking editor. Okay. Fiona's gonna take me to my car. Okay. Okay. We'll grab the. Uh, we'll grab the other key so we can get in and out as well. I'm gonna have to take a nap. So yeah, I'll let you out and then I have to take a nap real quick. Yeah. Um, we gotta take it careful because I got like. 50 weed plants in my pocket. Actually, let, let me just leave that here. Let me put, let me put my shit back in. <laughs> oh.
bro, what fucking time is it? Alright, just lock it. We're gonna go get the other key and then uh, get my car. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. What a fucking day, chat. Am I right? What a fucking day. I was listening to Sensei. Are we gonna get tax on the sale of the house? Um, we're gonna get tax on. No, I think we get all the money back. Full summer evening? It's like 5 30, man. I've been going for 10 hours and I have a headache. I want to buy this house and drop everything in it, and Carlo can, like, you know. Set shit up. Kind of also feel like we should wait. I don't know. I feel like we should wait to. So much scuff that will only go away after storm too. Like a lot of shit has happened and I personally would like to wait. Oh, that scared the shit out of me.
a good win. Thank you for being here. I thought it was tugged, not gonna lie. No, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't sent the money yet. He hasn't sent the money yet. That's... He hasn't sent the money yet. Did it scuff? Did what scuff? Why? I'm just tired. I think it should be done as soon as possible. Yeah, okay. I'm cool to do it. I'm just like, I'm just wondering if it has to be now. Yeah, I think so, if I'm being honest. Okay. Do it quick. It'll be fast. Thank you for the raid. what happens when my like pockets are full you know what happens when my like pockets are full this is a this is a fuck ton of stuff this is not terrible it's not that crazy man okay where are we where are we gonna keep it all we're gonna sell the house when we get it all out, and then we're gonna buy a house and go dump it all in. <laughs> what do you mean? Open the goddamn door.
Do not move, Fiona. Taking the walls. Ow! Carlo, there's no more stairs, What's up? right? What's up? There's no more stairs, right? What do you mean? Yeah, there's no more stairs. Just want to make sure you don't see it. I see stairs. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, are the weed stuff empty? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. Hold on. Uh... <sighs> okay, the weed stuff is all clear. Um, I'm gonna go fetch my car at the gas station real quick, guys. Okay, okay. Hey. Hey. You okay? Um. I guess. You don't seem too okay? I mean, a lot is happening. Yeah, I know. A lot to unpack and yeah i don't know i think uh it's gonna be very telling of how all of this is gonna be retold to people as well because like i said um like i said Vito threw me and carlo under the bus and carlo already thinks that uh, he's definitely gonna painted as that you know this is how we were feeling and this is why this is not working so instead of taking any responsibility for himself so it's uh, potentially just how it's gonna be and i'm like you know whatever i don't i'm used to being a scapegoat i have been in the past and if that's what it takes for people to be happy again but whatever i don't fucking care we brought up so many issues to him in an instant and then in front of the whole group of people he basically said yeah, well i don't know what the issues are uh you'll have to talk to uh we stood and talked for two hours about all the issues and he then said to the group yeah i don't know what all the issues are um you'd have to talk to to these people and i said well fuck me i guess he just threw us under the bus damn that's uh that's that's rough there you go. i mean i i'd love to have all the context both sides you know yeah, i, I kind of don't don't maybe see it as clearly as you do but um i mean yeah, I mean, it... you you have it though. Like you've you've had you've ha have had it. You heard it from me, Fiona Carlo, like like yesterday and and today. Like I and now the family is no more. Yeah. I guess I just gotta process it all then. Uh, I'm sorry this uh, this didn't unfold uh you know in the best way for you. Um it's fine. I think 
a lot of people unhappy and they just didn't know how to say that they were unhappy. Yeah. You talked to your brother? Yeah, I spoke to him. And Eve, oh. I don't... The desk didn't go to... Desk didn't go in my pocket either. Be careful Pre picking shit up. Press save. Press save. I did. I still see okay. it. Really? Um, and I mean, what was his version of events? I mean, he told me... He uh, didn't get the desk, so I, I couldn't grab it. That, you know, you guys brought up Juno and uh, and how that was a big problem. And, you know, from his per perspective, he, he dedicates a lot of time to uh, family meetings and all that. And, you know, whenever he can, he spends quality time with her. It's, he didn't really see it as a problem. Because he's, he's biased towards her. Uh, maybe. And of course, he's going to have some sort of bias, right? Did you grab the blueprints? Yeah, I did. Okay. We could just build a new desk. Say again? Of course, he's going to be biased, right? But. Yeah, and when, when I called him out on his bias versus how he said, well, Lottie left and, you know, he didn't, he didn't really, didn't really care that she left. Versus when Tessa left, he tried to solve it because, you know, he had personal feelings about that because of Juno, and I called him out on that. And when I called him out on that, he called me a child in a woman's body. And I'm the emotional one. Jesus. And that all happened when Juno was topic of discussion. Yeah. Grab these blueprints. Well, look, you don't have to put up with this anymore, so. Yeah, I don't. But it wasn't just, it wasn't us having an issue with Juno. That was, according to him, just, you know, a non-issue which you asked for examples and when we gave him the examples he got really defensive about it at the end of the day and yeah i mean just gonna move on from it just gonna look forward it's all you can do now Keep working on your things. The whole house situation's probably got to get sorted out. <laughs> yeah, it'll That's... be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can come to a, an agreement, hopefully. Maybe. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Well, look, maybe we can talk more about this uh, later, after, whatever. I'm gonna probably head out of the city here in a bit. Okay. Yeah, I've been around for a very long time. I'm, I have a headache after today's stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, look, uh, sleep on it. Things will get better in time, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Love you. Love you. Bye. I feel like he is like not saying a lot but saying a lot at the same time so i do not care for these parts that i have thousands of <sighs> so, as, uh... just donnie's bench We, got, we can make new computer desks. I got the shit inside. That's all that matters. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're almost done, by the way. Just have to pick up the shit from the floor.
saving room. Obviously, him and Vito talked for a very long time, and he's obviously going to be biased against his brother too, but at the end of the day, he says he doesn't really know the situation when he literally had how many Italians, like, he had how many Italians tell him that there's an issue. He knows everybody's standpoint, and then he still stands there and says, well, I don't know all the issues when he does. He really, really does. What's up? Yeah? Can you, like, can you pick these up? Like, when I try and pick things up, they just poof. Well. Pick what up? Like, the, like these, like, the, like this. She's grabbed everything. There's I've already here. grabbed everything. All that's left is the shit on the floor. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yeah, I've grabbed yeah. everything already. Oh, I see shit in here. Okay. Maybe you oh, should go in and out. So you can just okay. leave all that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we can leave. You want your police barrier? Okay, I just loaded in the car. Let's sell this bitch. I do not care about these blueprints, and I'm kind of just ready. I think she to go. got everything. Bro, this is crazy what we're doing right now. This is actually crazy. All right, moment of truth. Go straight to your account. Um, it should. <laughs> I don't, I'd imagine. It should. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Do it. That's what's right. Fuck this house. Let me know when you sell it. I'm trying. All right, it's been sold. <laughs> Wait, let me make sure this. Okay, yeah, my key doesn't work. We're good. Is it in your account? I feel like I only got. I only have 208,000. Oh. <laughs> what? We should go. Let's go. <laughs> Did only they scam us? Probably. It is what it is. I think it's better this way anyway. Well, which house are we buying? Hundred and eight thousand. Okay. It's gotta be um Let's go talk about this somewhere else, alright? Yeah, let's people are gonna What do you... you wanna go to the dam? Let's go to the dam, Eve. I don't even think that was half chat. I don't even think that was half. I feel like that was... I feel like that was a, a definite, like, maybe a bug, maybe not. I'd have to, like, check on that. I'd have to, like, check on that, because I don't know. Does anybody know about the company trailer? Like how much the company trailer was sold? Oh! Oh! It said, no, you can sell it. You can put it back on the market, and you can sell it again. You can't transfer it.
It might have been. These trunks have. It, it might have been, like, scuff. I don't know because it told me that I would get like three hundred and forty. Like it it tells tells me through you like sell for three hundred and forty, right? Mm. Can you look in this car. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I'm just carrying all this shit on me. You have 208? Yeah. And I don't think tax <laughs> has been, like, reduced at all. Mm. So, so is it at 20? Oh my god, okay. You get scammed by the real estate agency. <laughs> yeah. Hundred eighty on Fudge Lane. We don't even have enough to afford a house. I don't think we have enough to afford a house right now. Yeah, the cheapest one I'm seeing is 170, and that's on Jamestown. Yeah, it's not enough. No. 80, 180. I feel so yeah, screwed. Don't. There's no way. You know what? Make it alone. From? Uh, someone named L. Let's just get the house so we can put the shit away. Why don't we? We can ask one of our kids. Fucking rich. Yeah, I don't think Ryan's around though. Hello, Glorion, you know? You try and, yeah. You wanna try and ask I don't, I don't feel like they should know. <sighs> yeah. I don't, feel I don't like even know, know why, what it's for. Like, I didn't, I just didn't disclose what it was for. I just said, hey, are you willing to leave me alone? Well, so mm -hmm. if we're planning on giving people some of their stuff back, how do we explain this exactly? <laughs> yeah, just piled your shit into a car here, take it, I guess. Get some people their stuff back. Just, we just need to get it. In a place. <laughs> you want to ask Glorion? I don't know. You can try. I just don't even know what to say right now. What? Just 
says she doesn't know what to say. What do you mean? Glorion? We did kind of get scammed. It's kind of shitty that he only told you 340k. Mm -hmm. And didn't give you 340k. We got like half of it. It doesn't even let us know that we would only get half of it. It's fucked up. I have a place where we can put all the shit. Like, I have Nino's house, and we can go to Bane's house, too. Until we figure this shit out. Yeah, I think that works. It's better than us standing here with it. Alright, let me call Bane up. That's a lot of stuff. Holy shit. Actually, I have a storage <laughs> container there, so it's perfect. Yeah, but uh, I think it only holds so much, right? Hello, Eve. Bane, I need a huge favor. Of course, what is it? Um, I need to put a bunch of stuff at your house. Okay, do you want to meet there? Yeah. All right, gonna... Marty, turn around, go to the house. That's going to be me, Carlo, and Fifi. Sure. Okay. Done and done. All right, I'll see you there. All right, bye. All right, bye. What a fudge. Alright, let's do it. You'll be okay, Fiona. Hi. I'm gonna stop freaking out. What's wrong? Alright, right, Eve, I'll follow you because I don't know where it's at. I love the spice of us selling the house. It's actually just the best. The like is like this is just the best. Like this just like is the best like spice. Us selling the house is just is just spice. I was reading chat. The only real issue is, is they'd be able to see that the house is up for sale again, right? Then we just deny, deny, deny. Deny, deny, deny. Deny, deny, deny. Okay. Hi. Uh, I would recommend going around this way because going through there kind of fucks with your head. Which way? Uh, just, just drive around the house this way. Okay. Uh, bro. I don't even fucking know I what I... Did drive around, did you not? Um, no, just don't walk through that because you get a headache. Bro, I don't, I don't even know, like... So, this is my box. That I bought us. <laughs> oh my hey god. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? So, uh, if, uh, Carlo, if you want to give Bane hey, no them problem. the PCs and stuff, he can put it in that box you stole, because it's, it's, like, 
it's uh it's mine. I oh think. right, right, right. I forgot. Yeah. Um Yeah, I can put everything in here for you guys. Yeah. Um I'll probably... just put the important shit in there. Yeah, I mean do you right. wanna do you wanna keep these weed racks um when they cool as well for later? Yeah. I'll be around. I'll be around all night. So if you guys need me uh, for anything later, I I can be here for that. Okay. Let me, let me grab the important shit and give it to you now. Real quick. All right. Um. Let me you give you this go. thing. I got you. Uh. These three blueprints. Actually, kind of a nice house. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. I can keep the what barrels. Oh great! Oh great! The tag on this crate says "fucking data not found." That's awesome. What does that fucking mean? I don't fucking know. Yeah, Eve. Um, it's a box. I mean, yeah. I, I I can keep it at my house. I have a I have a. Yeah, if I can give this to you, so I'm gonna put it uh on the ground right there. See if you can access it with the key. To be right here. You put the key down right here? Yeah, I tried to give it to you, bud. Um, no, you'd have to put me on the panel for access. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Fuck, why is this happening? There we go. Let's see if I... Yeah. Let's see if I can do it again. Okay. Door. Oh, it's open. Oh, okay. Um, I don't really know what I like. I don't think I should take out the materials. Can go to my apartment and like the anti pest and stuff should probably go back to the people who put in, right? Yeah, I I threw. There were a bunch of weed stuff down there, but we can fucking grab it again. I just had no room in my pockets for anything. Yeah. Um, we can move it back into a car when we move all the important stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave my materials on that, and then... Yeah. This is fucking weird. You want me to try and take a crack at it? Uh, so the issue I'm having is, uh, it says I can't fucking pick it up because there's shit inside of it. But how the fuck do I get it out if I can't even go fucking into it? This and the vents. Alright, I grabbed everything that was inside of it. Oh, you can open it? All right, here. Uh, just give all this shit to Marty then. Let him put it in. Um, do you still have a blueprints? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, just give it to him. It's on the ground. I feel like I should keep this. The electrical devices, the barrels, because Donnie will want that back. The bench. Hey, hey, Camry. No. Do you guys need all the shit uh, you guys put on the ground in there too? No, the things in the corner is like no. non-vital, right? We just. We just, yeah, I just can't. I have, like a lot of the PC shit is just important. I just want to put it away. That's what oh, it's that's just, fine. It's yeah, literally just the, anything you want. Just this anything corner over here, just like big chilling with it right now. It's just. Okay. 
Um, let me okay. just check the car one more time. Um, uh, anything you want to go inside of there, uh, put it over here next to me. Okay. Uh, can you let me out one more time, Bane? Oh, good morning, Bucky. Good morning, sunshine. Materials, the docks should stay. Okay, the docks should stay, the bow should stay. The bow should stay. This I do not want with me right now. This can go there, this is Donny shit. gonna have space for this anti-pest. I think this is all that goes back to the family, so that's chilling. Are you storing weed in this house? No, let me in. Bucky, calm down. I swear to God. Bucky, calm down. Eve? No. There better not be any. Is that? Oh, there's a weed plant here, but I don't think it's intentional. Bucky? Get the stick out of your ass. Bucky, we're just. We're being neighborly, they need help, we're helping them, okay? We are in a situation right now, and it's out. very hard to explain. Out, out. Out. We need to get those out. Okay, let us, let us just get the animals Let's sorted. sort this shit out. And then we'll, we'll just go from there. You have problems that need fixing, you say, okay? And then Eve, this is stuff that goes in there, right? No, 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 it's just anti-pest. Hey, just Bucky, come here. Cannot hold on to Come here. No, that's fine. Um. Okay. Firstly, um. Mm -hmm. Donny cannot know that we have anything here. Okay. I he won't. Okay. That's the most important. Gotcha. Um. And then. Yeah. Then I need to check with them if everything is Gucci. Hold on. I mean, if anything, if anything, if anything Eve, uh, what we'll do is, like, until you guys get sorted out and all this stuff is out, we'll just, Donnie won't even come in. Okay, yeah, just keep it that way. In fact, until you guys get all this stuff out and everything sorted or whatever, uh, we'll just be really careful about who we let in the house. Okay, yeah, please do that. Right, let me see if everything's sorted. Um, is that everything from your cars? I just have everybody's like stuff who they need. The bet, Donnie's bench, uh, barrels, um, you, wait, the weed racks. Wait, can you access the thing? No. Wait, wait, wait. Who do I give it to? I got more shit. Uh, Marty. uh right here. Marty. Anything, anything you want to go inside there? Okay. Uh, just hand, like put it on the ground right here. Okay. All right, that right there. All right. The other shit can just go on the floor, I guess. Not this You've important. only bought them so much time. Three days. It's definitely not gonna be that long, so that's good. Thank you, Bucky. Jesus. Did you <laughs> so disrespectful? Huh? Is everything out of your trunks, guys? That like matters because I still have All the, right. the weed racks um, and the bench and stuff that has to go back to the people that um, I'm gonna put in my apartment in case they call. Um, there's also all the supplies. I mean, just like 
I, I, I'm sure. not. I'm not. I'm not gonna keep that. Like I don't have space for all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure Plus, there's nothing else real quick. I'll go check. <clears throat> the door. I'll okay, good. The Cause like, important. I know you guys are worried about it. Like, there's not much weight in there, but I can't seem to just that. I can't seem to stuff anything more into it. What What else did he give you? Um, he gave me like a bunch of computer parts. Uh, some uh, some not so clean money. Oh, okay. So we're just a drug household now. No, oh we're not. God. Bucky, okay. Bucky, Bucky okay. this you is need... so much bigger than I can explain yeah. right now. I don't. I don't think they would be doing this if it wasn't for a good reason. If you say it's if a you guys good need to be reason, out, just I take your wordy. Let me know. It it is for a very good reason. Okay. okay. Now I accept it. I trust your word. doesn't mean I like it. Sorry. Try to sort this out as soon as we can. Oh, we shouldn't have sold the house. That's why I was going to ask. If they need to put something in the greenhouse system, what we need to do is, uh, like, their blueprints, we can just hold on to them and, like, take them out of there. And we'll just put them aside. Yeah, okay. But that's it, that's if they have anything else. I'm a little fucking paranoid ever since we got robbed. I keep this thing yeah. fucking locked all the fucking time. All right, y'all good or anything else? Yeah, wait, do you guys not want to move to a new house? Um, yeah, we'll probably be out of here in the next two days. If right. anything, this is a this is a blessing in disguise because then maybe we can show Bucky that it's not so bad having this stuff in the house. Yeah, yeah. Bucky just don't look. Bucky, just, just have Bucky, just have. Now. Okay, just don't look there. Okay. <laughs> just don't look there. Uh, hey, Bucky. Just, hey. No, Bucky, just don't look hey. there. Oi! Hey. Hey. Bucky. Jesus Christ. I need to lie down on the couch. Um, okay. Listen, uh, we should take this anything is that attack. is about to, like, expire out of the pile in case, like, it the whole pile expires. Do you understand? Like, the weed that's going bad should not be in this pile. Okay. Um, are just... we leaving all the furniture down here, I'm assuming? Um, mm -mm -mm. It's Luca. I'm not answering it right now. I forgot that. I forgot about that shit. Uh, yeah. Lucas calling me right now. I'm not answering anybody right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run away from that. So, like, uh, um, Did you get like really everything important out of your car? Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just Donnie's bench still. And, mm -hmm. um, it's just Donnie's bench still and the weed racks. Um, that's still in there and all of like Lucas stuff. So I could just give it to him in a car. Yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. let me ask you this. Liz. What... Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Um. What do you call it? Uh, which house would we get? Uh, I don't know. Luca just texted me. Call me. I need to go to the house to get my stuff. Oh, you have his stuff though. I could. I could give it to him. Yeah, I, it's all in the back of my car. Put it in my. Put it in my car. Okay. Oh, I'll go give it to them. I get stabbed. I get stabbed. Man. Um. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh shit. 
Uh, middle is happening. Yeah. Just give me one sec. I'm. I just. You can tell him that I like. I'm going to battle some shit. I'm not feeling all the shit. Okay. Uh, over here. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna probably deliver Luca's stuff back. I said if I get stabbed, I get stabbed. Um. It's Vito's old. calling me. I answer it. Um. I'll answer Vito. Yo, what's up? What's up? into hiding yeah, I told <gasps> oh no he just fucking he just he just told them we sold the house it's fucking carlo what do you expect I'm not gonna do anything with it right now. It was my idea, yeah. Was what the plan? To sell the house? I sabotage everything? What do you mean? Sabotage you were on board with what? us and then you just counted it out in front of everybody. What? Right in front of everybody, you just threw it all on even I. We brought the issues, but it seemed like you were understanding of the issues. I was just let down that you didn't sta stand behind us in the decision because you seemed like you were a part of the, you agreed. Well, there... oh, I'm not. I'm not upset. To be honest, I don't think anyone even deserved. I didn't have the balls to speak for myself. You, you just threw it all on Eve, and I. I don't. You don't need to. You didn't need to speak. You don't even need to speak about it. But at that point, no one even deserved an answer. It didn't matter at that point because it was done with. I'm never doing no one there again. Anything because there was nothing there. It was just wipe our hands. Everyone goes about their own ways. No, you didn't have to sit there and, and do it, but you just all all we needed to do there was tell people, hey, it's done with, and that's it. Well, I feel like you the way you deflected it all was just it was just mine and Eve's decision. But it was your decision too. You announced it. Just because you announced it doesn't mean you, you took accountability for it. Just because you announced something and then halfway through the conversation, you know, you kind of just drew it up to Eve and I. You just made it seem like you were, you know, still kind of in on it. And just Eve and I were the ones who brought up the, you know, who just were wanting to agree on it not working out. Yeah, Eve and I brought up the issues, but again, you, you agreed to them. Like, you understood them. You, you just, when you were talking to everybody, you just made it seem like that... You didn't understand where we were coming from. And then, okay, that, I mean, that's... Fine. Throw a veto. 
Do that. Sure. I ain't got really anything else left to say to you, to be honest. <laughs> right, right. Sure. If that's what you want to tell yourself to sleep at night, then keep telling yourself that, Vito. Damn. And I trusted you too. What do you want me to do about just not being happy with how things are running? I mean, just be miserable. I, I, I was waking up every day, Vito, only just looking forward to going back to sleep. Bro, can, like, can Luca like stop calling me? If I don't answer, I don't answer. Because I, I kept trying to push forward through it. Gonna be okay, Fifi. The Marriage Act pertains to the establishment of spousal privilege and establishes a clear definition of marriage in Los Santos to be certified and recognized by the state. All married individuals are entreated to formalize their marriage in the coming days as the judge empowered to do so are educated in what must be done. Damn, you gotta get remarried. This is a nice neighborhood. <laughs> it's okay.
did they find out so fast we sold the house? I don't know. Hi. Is that state announcement clear? No, not really. Uh, about the about the marriage thing. I mean, a lot of this shit still has to be drafted, but the proposed price of this is uh gonna be twenty five grand. So you better start saving up. I'm sorry. Yeah, twenty five grand to get your marriage. Uh, I have to pay 25 grand uh, to get married listen, again? Listen, listen, let me speak. So there are cur currently no records oh. of any marriage uh, being recognized by the state because all the records are gone, demolished, destroyed, etc. Uh, and yes, it will be a 25 grand thing to have your marriage uh recognized by the state however there is benefits to it was proposed on opens my notes back up uh also polygamy is being outlawed um so it's 25k to uh, get married Divorces are 25k as well. Uh, the rough draft was uh, the fee for marriage is 25 grand. Divorce is the same. States shall certify these marriages that have been met for 21 days after the marriage has been approved by the state. Spousal privilege does not apply to either individual, which means you can't testify against yeah, I think, your. I think uh, he's with everybody right now down at the beach. Who the fuck is everybody? Uh, I don't know. He, he basically do said, like, if you want to go down there and explain to everyone. What do you mean? Who the fuck is everybody? I'm oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Just... Yeah, so you would never have to testify against, uh, what's his name? Who's just, er, yeah. Okay. Beatles just back, backing out of the decision he agreed to. Yeah. Damn, you fucking called that, But, huh? uh, I think some things are going to be... Drafted oh, up furthermore it. because uh, the worst things are not. I said, Carlo, I hope you know how many uh, opportunities you just ran for yourself. I said, Vito, I've been making every opportunity for myself. Set in stone, oh, yeah. Hey! About. Slow it down. Can you slow it down? Stop running. Uh, um, I, I have no, to like, what I mean. call you tomorrow or something. I'm fucking I'm dealing with a lot of bullshit right now. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Were, you, were you also in big meeting? Uh, it's. I'm not gonna have a lot of those anymore, so I'll talk to you oh. later, okay? Okay, bye, I love you. Love you. <laughs> she asked me, was I also in a big meeting? I said, I'm not gonna have a lot of those anymore. Yeah. Um, let me get most of the stuff. Um, Wait, yeah, you, so it's, it's put... the, no, I didn't do it. So it's the top row. Um, it's just, I think that the, the six racks okay. are between him and Tiny, and then all those, like, supplies and stuff. The okay. speeders and shit like that. Okay.
Anybody know where the basic bench went? Is it in there? Maybe. I'm not sure. Are Marty and them still here? Oh, headache. Coming, Eve. Sorry, I just want to check if I put a basic bench on the ground real quick. Oh, you're good. Um, a lot of shit's happening. Luca just texted me. I, I need my stuff back. It took hours getting all of that. <laughs> I honestly don't want to give it back at this point. Well, that's me for the day. I'm gonna go put the other shit in my house unless Donnie wants it. And um yeah. Okay. And I'm going to bed. It's my capacity done for. Alrighty. And then, yeah, we make a plan tomorrow, guys. Like, I, I, I don't know what you guys want to do. It sucks that we only got half of the money back, but we go from there. It's all good. I told them I sold the house, by the way. Okay. They ask, just tells me. I give some of the stuff back, I think. Yeah, I mean, do you want to give Luca's stuff back? What's up? You gonna give Luca's stuff back? Uh, I'll think about it. Did anyone get food? Uh, no. I have... Four bar. And I'm gonna throw it on the ground. Also, people might be mad, so be safe, guys. I'll try. You too, That's right? Fine. Yeah, is what it is. Sorry about all of that, by the way. No, no, you're good. Uh, I, I, I know it's probably some, some shit. So I'm gonna help. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's probably a shit show right now. Um. Um. We. 
I, I, I want to go to bed, but it's... It's, it's a mess, yeah. Hey, don't, don't stress too much. I mean, obviously you will, but, you know, you don't, don't feel like you need to, you know, explain. You know, more to help. Yeah, I know. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? All right, Eve, I'll see you then. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Sipping on straight glory Let the vibes slide over me job doing something important for the city. Oh yeah, thank you, man. I, I want to be part of the force. So Total chaos, thank you for the five months. Alrighty. I'll see you soon. Thanks. of the day guys Sound of the day we are free we are gone from a toxic high school drama and we don't have to uh we don't have to uh we don't have to do that ever again Always be Luciano's mob wife at the end of the day. On to a bigger and better. Things. Bro, I kind of want to put Donnie's shit in. I kind of want to put Donnie's shit in. Uh, in a, a dumpster and just like. <laughs> like fucking it's like hang and see if he's around man
I just don't want to like well aren't they gonna talk to us and interact with us oh my my bench is overweight chat I can't I can't hold these things. My bench is overweight. Hold on, can I put the bench in? Oh wait, I can, hold on, hold on. Oh, save. Save, save, save. Save, save, save. Yeah, they fucking nerfed the storage. But what is so overweight though? Is it the car parts that's so overweight? I don't care about these group six bags at all. Why, why is, why do I have these books, like, why do I have this, like, McMuffin can get a new ID, like, I don't fucking care. Um, text Big Joe. Why is Vito calling me? Hello? Hey. It's a fucked up thing, Eve. What? It's a fucked up thing that you did there. You know what I'm talking about. Don't play dumb. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until he talks. I'm just gonna wait until he talks, chat. I'm just gonna wait until he talks, because because the longer you stay silent, the more they just like got nothing to say. No. Gonna sit there like a coward the way you did during that meeting. Oh, I was the coward. Yeah, did I not have to speak for you? Because you couldn't speak up? I, I spoke up plenty. I had to fill all the words that you could not utter. Because they weren't mine to utter, they were yours to utter. Not mine. They had to yank it out of you like some fucking child. I want to sit here and just what? <laughs> Give me silence. I don't feel like I owe anybody anything. And all you do is just insult me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm, I'm you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I should not be insulting you. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I apologize for insulting you. I don't Steve. care. You can insult me. I don't care. What's oh, not oh. hurt me? 
Okay, I see, I see. But if you find that funny, that's, you know, good for you. I do, I do find that funny, yeah. <laughs> so who pushed for it more? Whose idea was it, really, at the end of the day? Since you already have that answer, you're just going to call all of us and then just find out to fit your narrative to spin to the group at the end of the day? If you want to come down here and clarify things, you can go ahead and do it. In fact, I'll, I'll leave if you want. I'll, I'll walk out. You can come over here and you can talk to, to everybody. You can explain <laughs> what happened. Uh, do I want to do that? No. I didn't think so. Do I want to do that? I could do that. Come down. I could do that. Do I want to do that? And do I do I owe anybody that anymore? Guess not. You're right. I guess not. You don't owe anything to them. They don't owe anything to you. In fact, they don't know anything at all to you or Carlo. Nothing. Do they want to know more? Well, why don't you come down here and ask them? Or you want me to speak on your behalf again? No, no, no. I'm just. Then why don't you? Then I'm why don't you? Why don't you? Hey, then then why, why don't why don't you? Why don't you come down and talk to them then? There's, a, there's a people here with a lot of questions. Questions that you don't want to answer or can't answer. So do you want me to speak on your behalf or not? Have you not? Have you not been doing that apparently by uttering my words for me? So, I, well, sure, yeah, I know, I, I have, I did do that earlier, yeah, but now, right now, do you want me to speak on your behalf or not? And say what? Well, I, I, I don't know, you said I was going to spin some story or something, right? So if you don't want me to do that, if you don't want me to speak on your behalf or spin some story, why don't you come down here and clarify it? Sure, I'll come down. All right, I'll be waiting. You want me to watch? Hey, hey, um, Vito nobles me to go down to the Venetian, so I'm gonna go down to the Venetian. E, please don't. I mean, if I'm being scapegoated, I mean, I really do not want to get scapegoated up until a point where, uh, like, shit like this happens. So just tell Carlo if I, if I do not call you in 30 minutes, I'm probably in the ocean. I'll, I'll go. Tell him, Eve. You don't need to. Ah, okay, okay. Let him know. All right. Yeah. Okay. Be safe. Try to be. Do your best. Fuck. I love you. Love you.
Kitty? Kitty? This is very important, yeah. Kitty. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me call you back. Do you have... Huh? Do you have Fiona's number? Uh... I feel like the answer is no. Do you have Carl's no. number? In the yellow, can you look in the yellow pages, Carlo? They're both not on the yellow pages. I know for a fact. Oh, wait, I think I should have Carlos. Yeah, I do. Can you call with Carlo and just tell him that I don't have my phone on me right now? Okay. And tell him I'm going down to the Hi. beach. And... Uh. I love you, Kitty. Oh, you need anything. I love you too. Be safe. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, it's Joe Hood. He said he wants to think uh, about things. Yes. Yeah. Open up, open up. All right. Well, uh, there you have it. You guys have questions or anything like that? Eve? Why was the house sold? House was sold to move on with our lives. But that's not what was discussed at the last meeting. The last meeting was stated that <laughs> there will be three people with keys. If you want to continue doing stuff in the house, you can continue to do so. But you did the complete opposite and sold it. We didn't discuss moving on with our lives. We discussed the house can still be used for whatever. Anyone who wants to use it can contact you, Vito, or Carlo. No, Vito said you can contact me or Carlo. Vito said anybody who wanted compensation could contact me or Carlo. Obviously, you still got the spreadsheet. I'm assuming this will mean people are getting their money back that they put in. What? Sure. All right. Well, 
For when uh, can we expect the money? And the items, obviously. Uh, I have Thorny's items. Carlo has all of the weed-related items. Okay. And the money? Yeah, that can be discussed at a later date. Or you can send the bulk of the money in which people gave to you to purchase the house, send it to one person here and they can distribute it. Rather than discussing it at a later date. Unfortunately, you don't have any grounds to make that fucking decision. Besides the fact that that money is in your fucking bank account or whoever's fucking bank account. Sure. We can go straight from here to a bank. How long has this been in the works? Because this does not seem like a impromptu fucking thing. Everybody had consents. A majority of those consents have been building up over the past few weeks, up until a month. Today, that was brought up to veto, and a decision was made that- That's not what the fuck I'm asking. I'm asking how long have you guys been planning to pull this shit? We haven't. You really want to think that we will fucking believe that? We got the house two days ago. And you and you planned the so soul to sell it just as fucking quickly. Rationally, you, you acted on impulse because of your own personal feelings with certain things that you refuse to elaborate on, apparently. I am... Things that have been building up for over a month or something like that, like you mentioned. And instead of raising those concerns as it came, you decided we to let did. it build We did. We raised invested. all those concerns today, Juno, and then a group today, decision like was you, made. Today, yes. like you, you, today, that's the issue. You did not inform the necessary people about the concerns as it came. You let it fester, you let it build up, you let it bottle up, and then it exploded. You cannot tell me otherwise, because that is literally your words. You literally said you brought it up today, rather than when it came up a month ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, however long ago. It was brought ago, up at every single it instance. Up. It was brought up at every single uh -huh. instance. Every time somebody had an issue, every time somebody had a problem, it was brought up, it was said, all good, it's fine, smiley face. And then yeah, every kept single on... person here has said there's not been any issues. Nobody knows where this is coming from. So th these issues are coming from you. From, so essentially, from Carlo, every Carmen, other person Fifi. here, every other person here, is not telling You're... the truth about that. We don't have problems. Ask anybody. So, so give uh, if. For clarity's sake, Eve, for fuck's sake, please. If somebody here is not being honest and is hiding information that you know, you know that they're lying, point them out right now. Tell, tell them, hey, you. Tell us who. We already talked about all of this. Uh, Even so, Peter says again. he doesn't have names. I yeah, gave again, him out, all the out. names. You mentioned Donnie, you mentioned Lottie, you mentioned Natalia, Tiny, you, you mentioned Tiny and Sipping on straight glory, let the vibes slide over me. Tessa, we'll, we'll add her in, I guess. Tessa, thank you. Thank you. Some issues with Luca. Paul, you have my stuff from the house? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So, who else? What, who, what are the other problems? Or was that it? Oh. Uh. I don't know why I'm brought up. I don't have any issues. Uh. <laughs> that was the majority friend, of all of the oh, people God. who usually come around and where issues have been festering. What was the names that I mentioned? The, the people we already talked about. Yeah, those names that I mentioned, right? 
Yes. So that was it? And then we had an agreement, Vito, after all of that was done and said. That this would just continue and continue over and over again. And but now nobody here, here has any yes. issues. We had an, we had an agreement, <laughs> yes, but there there was there was a little bit of <laughs> not not a little bit. There was most definitely an air of, of uh, there was more to it. There was there was just no specific other cases. Because you mentioned those specific cases, but then there was other people that also didn't like to know that you didn't want to mention. Then there was other people that also had issues that just weren't speaking up that you didn't want to mention. You definitely made it seem bigger than I than mentioned what all of me. them. Every single person I mentioned all of them. What is happening here is you are scapegoating on the issues that I brought up to you into not wanting to look like the bad guy right now. So who are they then? That's, that's rich. Who are Thank you for people? your commentary, Juno. Yeah, no, I'm, I'll happily provide. Answer Lorenzo's question. Who are the fucking people? All of the people that was just mentioned. Okay, so two of say the people it from that your mouth. Left. Mention those names. Go ahead. If you're saying that I have problems with Juno, that is a lie. Because I've never She said has that. problems with you. Oh, okay, I have problems. Fine. I have problems with Natalia. What, what problems do I have, Eve? <laughs> the that's problems the problems were the problems she, in which yes. I, I I I let I let you know as the consig, I let Joe know as the underboss, and I let Vito know as the leader of the fucking group that Natalia said some words that you took offense to for on that my I part. took offense on, on my part. part. Okay, what what I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Explain. You took offense on my part about something that she commented. I was too Yeah. She made comments, she made side comments that didn't need to be said when it came to meetings of a serious fucking capacity. It could be seemed as stirring. So what did I do? I went to the consig, the person who's meant to have the, what, well, provide communication and sort shit out. And you're, you're taking that as me having a personal gripe with the person. God, if you think that's a personal fucking gripe, then I wonder the shit that you haven't fucking mentioned. <laughs> The things that you've heard and not mentioned. Because clearly your opinion uh, on things is so is so fucked. Uh, uh, yes, I'm the problem, Juno. Oh no, believe me, you are. Yes, I am the problem. Yeah, yeah. Glad we can be of agreement with this. Yes. We also found out that the group that Donnie was giving money to was Bucky and Bane. They're, they're practically family. The the three thousand dollars when they needed it for their house at a time where donnie did not want to give money to carlo because he distrusted carlo to such a sense that he did not want to because have that he's money. the one that does illegal things and all he does is illegal things so why the fuck would i give him money to hold if something happens that money is now wasted or he has to make it back that was my concern, which I brought up to you, and I brought up to Joe, and I brought up to Vito. And as soon as you guys said you have all the trust and faith in him because he stepped up, I said, fantastic, here is the $10,000. It's not like that penny money was not even wasted. I had all the money. I kicked up all the money I needed to. So has everyone else. So what was the fucking issue? It was my own money. I could do what the hell I want with it. And apparently, didn't Carlo also say that he didn't trust anybody? Mm -hmm. So, does it really matter at that point if Donnie wouldn't trust Carlo, if Carlo doesn't trust anyone here? And I wasn't the only one. There were plenty others that didn't feel the need to hand it over to Carlo because, again, he does illegal things and didn't want it traced back to that through bank accounts. But I mm. still sent it anyway. That shit because was Because I gave the trust. Mm. That shit was literally solved. Mm. Every problem that was brought up was solved. Mm. 
the, the majority you. here are literally saying that these issues that you you are raising have been sold but you are on your your crown your i mean sorry not your crown your throne saying no they haven't been sold you don't speak for everyone here they <laughs> speak for themselves oh and that's why Vito never hears about it because he never hears about it yes he said that today he never hears about it he can talk for himself that's what he said yeah well uh, i was made to believe the whole donny thing was something that had happened after my conversation with him in which he and i squared everything as you just mentioned and then he did send the money over and that was not not a problem at all but i was made to believe that was after what you guys mentioned to me him sending money to it was the no he sent to a different group was afterwards you want to you want to check my bank accounts like i don't I, what about I don't, airing I don't, out your discrepancies to other people then uh yeah two weeks ago when i went to marty as a friend because he asked me how things are going and i say you know it's not going too well because i don't have a lot of trust in things going on with, with uh certain people in the family specifically carlo and i did mention carlo and then two days later had a conversation with eve who was cleared so up bad. a lot of things and then two days later a day later had a convo with Vito and told him was so he bad. actually got through my head and I could forgive and forget no problem which is why I'm trusting to give the money to you so don't fucking give me that like that's a bunch of bullshit that was me trusting somebody that I thought was starting to get close because I started to get to know them over the month like yeah they're a good friend like that that's all it was The whole thing with, with Natalia, I, I was under the impression, was also resolved and done. We had a conversation, Joe and I. Yeah, it was. Natalia, I thought. It's done. <laughs> I, I was aware of that one. All the stuff with Juno was the only thing that I wasn't aware of before today. Well, I, I guess we had discussed it briefly, you and I, uh, Eve. The stuff between Tiny and, and Fifi, and it also was under the impression that it was under under the bridge. It was done. Fifi, was that was that the case? No. And who did you speak to about that? Uh, Joe, Eve. Okay. And you came to me after this very last meeting and said, "I don't know why they even brought that up." Yeah, and I still agree with that. You don't know why they brought it up? Like, just you brought now, it up as the before? first reason as to why we're disbanding. Uh, it was one of the reasons. Not the I guess the order doesn't matter, right? But it was one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. As an example of an issue that hadn't been resolved, and then that, therefore, there was a greater underlying problem. And that's a 10, 20 minute fix to have a sit down. I mean, so I don't know. You... One issue that still needs to be solved, everything else is a non issue. That one issue would be what to take us 10 minutes. And it could have happened by now. Yeah. And the last thing that was mentioned was sorry, go ahead, go ahead, Fifi. Sorry. I guess I'm like missing context here, but why is Eve being thrown under the bus when ultimately it was your decision because you're the leader? Ultimately, it was my decision to what? Well, ultimately, it's your choice, right? Of course. N yeah. Not solely. That's why I have a system of three. And, and that's you did why it I talked to without believing the information you were told? And without thinking Joe. it was enough? Who even brought Joe in, though? Yeah, Joe. Joe was exactly, yeah. There was, there was other people involved. Was it wasn't just board. me making a decision. Well, they, I, I'm know, not... I'm, but, oh, no, but hold now on, there's on. more fucking context that was missing in that goddamn conversation. That's all been fucking aired out. Let's let's Fuck make something ranks. clear. Let's make something clear. I'm not I'm not I'm not going back on the decision. I will still stand by the decision now. And I'll say that very clearly. I'm not going back on the decision. I think this little drama club that you guys decided to start today was more than enough to throw me off the idea of <laughs> being the short caller or leader of anything at the moment. Especially coming from the people the two of the people that I trusted in the most. 
Yeah, that, that, I, I can tell you that could be a little heartbreaking. Especially now, hearing all the other context, too. It's not about throwing Eve under the bus. It's about getting to I the mean, truth of the matter, Fifi. Es essentially, if you, if you guys think we're the rats, then continue the family without us. It's too late for that now. I don't think it is. Oh, I don't think give, so either, give, but... Give, give the money back, and then we'll see what, we, what people do with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. This whole thing with Juno was the last topic. And apparently she was... You, you, vilif you vilified her in that conversation with me. You mentioned that there was people that just didn't like Juno, or that Juno didn't like... And then, therefore, this this wasn't going to work, uh, amongst other things. I of never course, said but... people didn't like Juno. I said Juno did not like people, and she made and mentioned... people could feel that. You mentioned Lottie, right? Mm hmm You mentioned Natalia. Mm hmm Who else? Was Myself. there anybody else? Are you? Right. Okay. Who else? <sighs> I need to take a piss. Just the three. Yes. I'm, I'm going to take Lottie off that list because regardless of whether she had this friction with Juno or not, Lottie was out. Had already been for a while. No, let's, let's leave it there just, just for, you know, just clarity's sake, I guess. Three people. That was it? Okay, so also made to look a lot more than what it really was. That is, that's that's disappointing, coming from from you, Eve, and and Carlo too, complaining about fucking her calling me doing that. What? Come on, man. Seriously, you want you want to talk about petty shit, Carlo? Really? Not yeah, going you're, you're back on like the. That decision. was the only thing that was brought up when we sat there for four hours. Oh, it wasn't the only thing that was brought up. Well, it's the only thing I'm, you like I'm, to keep bringing up. I'm, I'm what that you mentioned. What you mentioned about Juno. Yeah, that, 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 again, that, that that's all you keep this bringing is, up. This is not about Juno at all. Oh, well, it is because it's included it, it in is, one of the it reasons. It is not. It is. It is so minute. So minute that you mentioned it several times. Because Vito keeps huh? asking about it. He keeps. Vito keeps on bringing it up. Uh, was it not part of the conversation we had earlier about why this wasn't working? No, not at all. What? We didn't talk about it earlier. We talked about well, it, but it's not. Course. It's not. It's not a reason why this. This. Then why was it brought up? It, it was brought up as a reason as to why there's no cohesion in the group, or an example of that, right? No. Right, am I? Yes, yes, it was. I mean, categorically, that was used as an example as to why there's no cohesion. What would would, would the reason be? Number one, do you know that is not a reason. No, no, I didn't say number one. It was one of the reasons. <laughs> one, or one of the examples of there being no cohesion. N right? No, you were asking for issues that have been brought up about people having issues. That the examples of that. So that if you're keeping that mindset, it would be, oh. Tiny and Fiona as an issue. Right. Juno having these issues with Natalia and all them, right? Th those were also brought up as examples of that. Yes, but you are categorizing Juno in her own category, which is not the case. I'm using, I'm saying Juno was one of the examples. I think we're getting lost in translation here. Juno was one of the, the, the issues that you brought up with Juno, having problems with Lottie, Bro, Natalia, just stab me and get cetera. over with this, bro. Those were used as examples as to why there was problems with the group, right? But that's not the core issue of why we made the decision we did. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. But they were used as examples as to why there were problems with cohesion in the group. It's things that happened. And they were used as examples of things that happened. Eve, just fucking say yes or no. I mean... 
examples. Where they use as examples of things examples, that happened minute or not. examples, but it comes down to all of the other things that we talked about. I'm not saying it's just about that. I'm asking if you use those as examples of things I, that have I happened. Used as a, a lot of things as examples, yes. So yes. So yes, okay. So the answer is yes. That's including what you said about Juno. But putting like, but putting a percentage to it and saying seventy percent of things have been Juno is not it. Did, did I put? Did I put a percentage? When on? has he? Oh, when has he ever said? But that's the only thing I, you keep I, bringing up. That's all you keep on bringing up. What? We just talked about Donnie. We just, just talked about Fifi. Ti tiny. Tiny. Uh, uh, Natalia. Natalia. We and, talked and about only uh, now Luca. We're talking about Juno. What the fuck? Every one of these issues seem like non issues. They are non issues. Okay, so if they were non issues, then why did Vito agree? Because y'all made it out seem mm. worse than it it's was. Seem like worse than it was, yeah. But if he's the leader, wouldn't he go about and ask people, make sure? I don't understand. He just said he, he trusted, trusted you two guys. out of everybody else. He's going to take your word first. No, I think he understood. And, he, and that's why. He's only just now getting this context, which is why he's coming back and questioning this now. Because it's not adding up. <laughs> I, 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 I will lie. This. I assumed that what you guys were telling me was was what it was. And again, because I did trust you. Uh, what I question? Spinning this you, so I, much. I would question. Uh, Eve. Uh, But if, if the family is so important, then shouldn't you have taken time to think about that decision? Regardless of what was brought to you? So you pushed him to make a decision and now you're faulting him for making a decision. I don't feel like we no. are. I feel like this right here is. No, we were talking about it because we don't understand what the fuck happened. This came out of the blue for most of us here. We were just like, yeah, we just bought a house two days ago. We're excited. We're moving. We're making moves. We're making progress. We're getting somewhere. And then suddenly, we're we're not a family anymore, and we don't understand why. Right. Let's uh, let, let's cut the bullshit, guys. Let's uh, let's just get our money back to the people that generously put in their time and effort the past couple of weeks um that's excluding myself somebody who's not been around and uh the amount of stuff that's owed to i believe donnie and luca yeah can we uh when can we make that happen well, let's get some dates and times on that yeah let's not say it's gonna happen sometime <laughs> well i don't know what happened no i i agree with no it, it it's now. gonna happen sometime now or in the next it'll, 24 it'll hours it'll happen oh okay well what? today it'll happen today. right now because we can go to the today, bank right we now should... Go to the bank now. And, uh, well, quite frankly, you three are not in a position to be making any fucking demands. Otherwise, you won't be leaving did this I fucking make a demand? alive. So. What demand did I make? What demand? Oh, saying it'll happen. Yeah. You really tested That's me a like demand? you did fucking last time. I'm so glad, bro. It's I'm so you glad to say I after not coming around damn, for four weeks. I am so glad I stabbed Whoa. the shit out of you. You're lucky I didn't <laughs> fucking kill you, you fucking cocksucker. Let's go to the south oh, side man, with that mentality. Oh, man, you and your fucking girl... Go back to the south side with that mentality? No. Okay. Sure. I'll go to the south side with that mentality. No problem. Real fucking smart what you did. I'm glad I fucking stabbed you. You fucking That's rat good. fucking snake. That's good. And you, your fucking girlfriend right over here too. That even Fiona. fucking talking to Lucia over here who had nothing to fucking do with what I fucking Oh, are you airing your grievances that you haven't brought up exactly, to me? That's this crazy. This is exactly what That's we're insane. talking about. This right here. This right here. You guys are literally the ones to talk. Holy fuck. How? Let's just go back to the this fucking is money the, talk. This is literally Why don't we go to the bank? Why don't we go to the bank? Why don't we go to the bank? And whoever has the fucking cash, transfer it over to someone. I don't think I want to. Is, is, does anyone object to going to the bank right now? Raise your hand if you fucking object. Good. Let's fucking go. Because yeah, I only have a thousand dollars. And items returned as well. Get yeah. the shit over with. Yeah. That bank's not too far. Right. Yeah, yeah I don't think I'm going to the bank. 
You don't think you're going to the Why fucking not? bank? You don't get to make a fucking decision here. That is not think, your money. I don't think I'm going to the that bank. That is not your money. Why? I don't think I'm going to the bank, you know? Oh, because Why? we hurt your feelings? Is that My what it is? Because we hurt your feelings? My feelings oh, are not hurt. Oh, but basing, you're basing your decisions clearly on fucking emotions because you got called, called out several times. Because you My heard things you didn't want to fucking hear. Are not hurt, that is you not know? your you are money. The one that is you are not the one your yelling. money. Because you're you a dumb fuck and nothing goes through your head. One yelling, Give people you know? their fucking money. Give people their fucking money. No. Okay. Why? All right. <laughs> no, um, she she All doesn't right. want to give them money because she th she wants to be fucking petty right now. She yeah, wants the whole. Th she wants on, the whole. I was whole gonna give people the money, the money back in my own time, not with people yelling at me with bitchy uh -huh. ass remarks. Uh huh. It's not your money to decide to do that with. You sold the house, so you need to give the money of those people back. And I was, I was to going to do that. I was going to do that, but not, not with Juno's attitude. Yeah, not after your feelings got hurt. My feelings are not hurt, Juno. Give people their fucking money. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's so... Oh my god, it's almost predictable at this point. Pointing fingers for to someone else to blame for your own decisions because i didn't make you decide to turn around and not give people their fucking money that is your decision to make that is the decision you literally just made with thought behind it with emotions behind it <laughs> give people their fucking money i am not emotional at all do you know look in the mirror give people their money oh, i'm sorry i'm raising my fucking voice and that's conveying emotion at least I can admit to the fact that I'm pissed off about this. Unlike you, you <laughs> dumb fuck, give people their money. I am not even calling you names. I don't give a shit. I don't <laughs> owe you any sort of respect. What you do owe, the one thing that you owe, is people their fucking money. And I am not you... negating that fact. I have admitted that You're actually that. so dumb. Holy fuck. Just do <laughs> Go to the bank right now. You wash your hands of it, you move forward, you don't have to work. Exactly. <laughs> Hmm. Just stab me, bro. And then I'm never giving the money it's back. It's not an unreasonable thing. Just stab me, bro. It's hand, hand over whatever you guys got from the house. Just stab me, bro. I'll take it distributing. Just Let's stab me, bro. I'm not being strong up to the bank right now. Put a you soft do on you now when everything is done. I ask you kindly, Eve. For the respect of everybody here, <laughs> that up until yesterday were your family and would have supported you in every possible way, in any endeavor you would have chosen, everybody around here would have supported you. For the respect to them, not me, not Juno, not everybody else, for the respect of what we were 24 hours ago. Give the money back. I won't even ask you for mine. I don't care. You can keep my 20,000. Unless you don't have the money. <laughs> don't catch you, dog. Have you done something with the money? I put it all on 21. <laughs> uh... Funny. Uh... Have you done something with the money? Uh, no, I still have it. Well, then let's go. I did it just get it fucking done with. Uh, drag this out more days. Shouldn't have sold the house, man. 
If anything, you just go only with Vito. You can get, send him the fucking money, and the rest will stay here. You are my lane. Sending him shit. If that would make you feel more comfortable. All right, after you. Yeah, but I, I don't think, uh, Vito, you should be going alone on this sort of thing. I, I'm not liking the situation. Luca, uh, Tommy, why don't you go with Vito? Yeah, make sure he's all right. Yeah, I think you're right. Wonderful. Then we all might as well go. Either let them two go, otherwise then she's going to turn around and be like, then Carlo and Fifi are coming with me. You see this? You see the problem here? Let them two go. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about all this. Mateo, just know. let them, just let just, them to go. It, yeah, it's Vito and Eve's decision. It's Mateo, let it happen. It's fine. All right. All right. Fair enough. And what about all the tangible items? All the stuff that was inside. Who has hey, that? You got that with you, Carlo, or it's stored? Nah, uh, it's stored somewhere. Hi. Hmm. Well, while they're grabbing the money, can you go Might grab, grab those? Stored? Mm -hmm. Might as well. Yeah. yeah. Do one thing at a time. Want to get the stuff, Carlo? Doesn't matter. All right, Tiny. Why don't you? Go get somebody else. Get the stuff with Colin. Yeah, All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to need to grab some food. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, let me get you. Let me get you. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't think. I don't think Carlo and right. Fiona now? should leave with them. Yeah. Follow me in the car. All right, all right. Uh, I don't know if I have a fucking car here. All right, there you go. This mic on? Yeah. Well, I can't wait for Juno to watch and burn. Just me and you, Vito. Can't wait to only send them less than 100k chat because we only got so much back keeping carlos cut keeping fiona's cut and basically keeping 140k and my own money and they're getting they're getting they're getting like almost nothing back that's the reality of it <laughs> they're like getting like almost nothing back I'm getting and keeping my 100k, the money I had. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, we have to do math chat. This is so funny. This is so funny. I'm going to be keeping 140,000. Plus the 30,000 I had. Chat. Right. This is hilarious. 
chat. I'm keeping the 100k I, I have and keeping you don't even. Carlo. They're getting 33k. What? Or you, you don't need a mother. Oh. Oh my god, Barry is here? I'm at the city vault. Oh my god. Yeah, I have. I Guys. Have. I need some money, bro. If I tell Barry to stab Vito, he would do it. <laughs> Um, your state ID? Name is Eve. 1293. Hi, Gloria. 1293. I got you. Hi, Eve. Hi, Vito. Hey, Hazel, how you doing? Hey, hey speaking of that, I actually want to talk to you about something. You guys do, like, how do the Italians do security? Anything about that? Uh, the, we did a security gig once. <laughs> we could do security <laughs> again. What kind of well, security are you looking for? Well, no, no, no. I'm not uh... looking for security. I'm looking to add to my security team. The Black Berets. The Black Berets oh, is yeah. something. The Black Berets is a group six organization that I'm potentially going to legalize and Guys. turn into an actual organization of people who, you know. That, that's things, what you did? Okay, you're done. Things like that. Guys, you know? it's literally yeah, yeah, like you told almost me, you told no me a little money. bit about it already. But, um, yeah. we, should, we should talk about that. We should talk about that. Guys, it's sure. no money. Yeah. There's, there's no hey, money. I got to finish this job, though. I'll catch you around, though. Hey, Take man. care, Hazel. And eat something, dude. You're looking Shut a bit the skinny, fuck dude. up, Hazel. Shut up, Barry. God damn it. What did you say? What did you say, Ganvito? One more time. Two, six. Twelve ninety three. Hmm. Hello, everybody. Hello. E theory. Thank you. Oh my God, hi Eve. How are you? We only got half of the, half of the house back. So you transferred me fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Fifty thousand dollars is yes. half of four hundred something that you spent. We only got half of the money back. Less than half of the money back. <laughs> the math ain't mathing. I'm keeping my cut and Fiona's cut. 400 cards. divided by 2 is 200. Hey, thank you, Baba. You're welcome. Keeping my cut, Fiona's cut, Carlos cut. I'm really good at math. So let me get this straight. You you sold the house without consulting anybody at a loss <laughs> and you're recompensating yourself and Fiona and Carlo first, who also I'm assuming played a role in making the decision to sell the house at a loss. You're compensating yourselves 100% and you're giving me $50,000 to redistribute to 18 <laughs> other people? What else am I supposed to do? Uh, how, how throw me in the ocean no no no, no relax relax <laughs> why would i do that <laughs> I why don't, don't you anymore Vito. why don't you take half of what you put in and pass it over to me and half of what carlo put in and put it and pass it over to me and half of what fifi put in and pass it over to me that way, they get half extra, of what they put in. I give you an extra 70k. That way, everybody gets half of what they put in. So I give you an extra 70k. That way, everybody gets half of what they put in. If you had waited, I would have repaid everybody. How much? How much did you get? How much are you keeping for yourself? I don't have my are own. you keeping your, your are you keeping your 100,000? Yes. Okay, well, you sold at a loss, so you shouldn't be getting 100,000 back. That's life. That's that's life. Hmm. Okay. And how much did you give Carlo? How much are you are you uh, giving giving to Carlo, keeping to Carlo? That halves. They're halves or they're full. That cuts. Yeah, yeah, but is it the full cut, Eve, or is it half of what they put in? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what? That cuts. Like I said, everybody would have been paid out if they waited, but strong army to the bank, what am I supposed to do? 
Oh, this isn't this isn't strong arming. It is strong arming me. It's literally strong arming me. Well, this. I'm not no, gonna empty my bank account. Me. Yeah, and if Mateo sent two guys with you, I would have ended up in the ocean afterwards. I'm not stupid. That's not true. I'm not stupid. That's not true. Either. Every side conversation Mateo had planned for all of us to go on the ocean. I'm not dumb. That's uh, if that was the case, I wouldn't have let it happen. Shot down. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm in the back. So. Bang -a -ring. Oh, back, Betty. Oh, okay. bang -a -ring. We'll be right there. Let's um go back to the but I'm not Carl and Fifi are back. Well then I'm gonna have to speak for you then. Again. I'm gonna have to tell them that you're keeping one hundred percent of what you put in, but everybody else is getting fucked. That Carlo's keeping one hundred percent of what he put in, but everybody else is getting fucked. Because you decided to sell at a loss. I didn't know I was gonna sell at a loss. I guess that's my karma, and I accept that. But I would have paid oh, every good. single person back, if not for this right, moment right here. Pardon everybody for not really trusting that. Hmm. That's their mistake. Well, since you sold that a loss, without you knowing, it should come off of your fucking check. And then I'll tell them, and then I'll get stabbed. All right. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm just gonna tell him. It's fine. Well, look, Juno's so worried I was gonna hurt you. Jesus Christ! Move it, cunt. Jesus Christ, he's a fucking local. Actually, I knew you wouldn't hurt me. What's up? Not gonna worry about it. Sorry, behind, behind. I only gave him 50k and he's gonna throw me under the bus now. Oh, uh, okay. I, I, I was telling, um, you know, I hope, I hope, uh, Juno does some dumb shit so we can just get her to lose her secretary spot. We're about to all end up in the ocean. Ocean man. I only gave them 50k. The what did they want me to do? We we operated at a loss. That's fair. The house was sold at a loss, uh, so it was half of the value. Um, my understanding, Eve, you didn't know that was going to be the case, but it we ended up being know. that. Okay, so we had uh, the house sold at a loss. Um, I got fifty thousand dollars from Eve, approximately. Um, check. Yeah, fifty thousand dollars. If you had given uh, me time, I would have pay, repaid every single person. I was made to go to the bank right now, and this is what it is. To be clear, Eve put in a hundred thousand for the house. She's keeping one hundred thousand. And, and she's I also keeping in. Carlo's full sh share as well, and Fifi's full and share. Like as I well. said, if you had given me time, I would have paid every single person back. And I was not given that time. I mean, in the end, I don't feel like selling the house was the right fucking move in the first place. If you wanted to move on with your life, you could have just gave up the keys and we could have just all continued to do our thing inside the house without any of this having to happen. Who is, who is B, DeVito? Everyone here. Everyone that none has of us want to give yeah. up. Because that uh, was the plan. Was to keep that the was, house going. That was not the plan. The plan uh, with our splitting being under house, false pretenses, I don't know if there is going to be a split. Oh, they I are mean, still... I mean, you and Carlo, obviously. They are still, like... They are uh, still... Vito stepping down. 
but uh, there's a hell of a lot of people they he is are so passionately still, about. They are still at on. it. Holy. Uh, so the small bench. I, I have that. I have three that. things. You have I, all that I have stuff? That. Yeah, I have it. Computer desk, uh, CPU, GPU, not CPU, GPU, CPU, uh, oh yeah, GPU. Whatever I made with, uh, circuit boards I had. Wait, I don't think, I, th I thought the computer desk was me, Billy's. DeVito, and, uh, Billy. Billy's, yeah, I'll give Billy his stuff. Yeah. We made a new, I had circuit boards where I had, uh, clean things that Eve took and made in circuit boards. And I had, like, 150 circuit boards that I put in a thing that... Hope she read to put up at least 500 towards his new stuff for it. Bro, I'm own, not gonna. Yo, know, the scuff. <sighs> I contributed all those soccer boards, bro. Uh, like I told you in the bank, Eve, people will not trust you if you tell them that you're gonna pay them out later down the line. Not after no, this. No. I mean, that's... You've made that's, the choice? Yeah, I made the choice. That's fine. I was... I was told to go to the bank. That... that end all. Yep. Um... You made the choice to sell the house. Not conscious that it was going to be a uh, half... half loss. Fine. It ended up being that. <laughs> You've also made the conscious choice, knowing full well... that you're keeping 100% of what you put in. 100% of what Carlo put in. Yeah. And 100% of what Fifi put in. Why is he reiterating this? Whereas the rest of all of the people here are getting $50,000 to split amongst them. Yes, and as I told you, if you, you, I had the option to pay every single person back, but I was made to go to the bank. I mean, technically, you can still pay ourselves back, or pay us back, you just gotta pay yourself back, and Carlo and as well it's not happening because i well, i was given that option and it was taken away well you could have just not sold the house and discussed it with people that was not you moving on that was you lacking communication with people who spent countless hours working to uh, put that money forward for it i don't give a shit about my 20k i don't give a shit oh i do not want to be dog you could have on. literally asked anybody here if they might want to, you know, buy you out of that house, and they could have taken over the <sighs> fucking contract, but Bro. easily. No. Bro. You decided differently. That was my choice. Well, then you decided differently. Doesn't fucking matter. Choice was yeah. made without talking Bro. to anybody else if they might have wanted the house. Uh, can I get my things and Billy things, please? So can we run with this? Done with this? Yeah, well, the, I'll be honest with you, the desks, uh, kind of, I have the parts, but not the desks. I think we didn't get anybody's desk. All right, well, I mean, you guys do owe Billy the desk I'll give, I'll give Billy his stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'll give Billy his stuff. All right, well, what about yeah, the, the bench, the... Three barrels, I don't want your things in the barrels. The blueprints. Blueprints. I think the blueprints got grabbed, did they not? Yeah. So you're saying that all the things that, that were inside the, the small bench are gone? No. Did oh, not say that. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, get that get that result, and then um, I have the fifty thousand dollars that I'll try to distribute as best I can. We'll talk yeah. about that. Uh, uh, do we have to go pick it up somewhere? What do we gotta do? Yes, that's my problem. Right. I I'm never coming back here again. Fuck my rental, fuck everything. Uh, is anyone not coming back here again? I'm driving with you guys and we're not coming back. So we're not coming back? No. Oh, okay, yeah. 
We don't have to. We give him his stuff and we dip. Okay. Drive into the sunset. God, I, I love myself. Fuck these people, man. They just pulled us down there to just dogpile onto us and they're acting like they're still gonna be a family. I just, I don't know why they don't think for themselves. Like, I love how no one's questioning Vito going, stepping down. He, he's standing by that. If this is all bullshit, why wouldn't Vito just come back? Mm -mm. Mm. I guess Vito's plan worked. God. Damn, Carlo called all of this crazy. You're the one that I can do. I don't know what the fuck to say about it. It's all shit, it. But at the same time, I have a. My selfish thing. The shit's still in here, man. <sighs> I mean, it's all fixed. I don't know what, I mean, am I gonna do when I go through? Listen. Listen. I don't know where the... Do you say like the 500 no, like circuit boards were his? I'm not. I don't fucking know. I respect it. The computer stuff, but. Grab my phone. What else would it be? Look at computer. Play and mention something about the bot board. Oh. All of them, two faced. All of them who have issues, like look at the Mateo thing just at the back there, bro. Look at the Mateo thing. Just at the back there, though, like, God. Oh my God. Um, I don't know where the grime blueprint is. I have to see where it is between all of us, but I'll get it to you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, where's your trunk? Uh, over here. And then, um... You said 500 circuit boards, what, what other materials were yours? Because I have a lot that I, I just took, so I don't know who's it serious. Uh, I threw a mixture of a whole bunch, I don't know, and then whenever we use 500, or... Uh, I had like 320 of like, recycled materials. Uh, but I, don't then we, you, you I should have given her the key before I left. I don't think there was into, any uh, recyclable materials. No, no, she, you turn, you turn them into what's called to. Uh, oh yeah. That. Does that look you know, right? That, yeah. It's just minus the grind blueprint, basically. And then yeah. Um, the box, which I'll I'll get to you. Uh, the other materials doesn't matter. Just equals the same amount of circuit points anyway. It's fine. Uh, 
Get her. Uh, that's it. That was it. All right, but thank you. All right. I just texted Joe. I love you always. Nah, Joe pulled us rats. Also, should I have brought up the fact that uh, Luciano and Vito already spoke? I... <laughs> so here's the thing. I... <laughs> I, I was so close to saying that your own brother thought Juno was a problem, but I just, I don't want to put Luciano in that spot. I love Luciano yeah. too much. And it is what it is. But, you know, I'll just, it's, I'll let that be what it is. It's whatever. There's no way I was going to empty my whole bank account to them. I was more, I was generous and I even added like 16k more, like even like taking my own money. Our cut. My cut. Wait, can we get can we get some of our cut right now? Because I'm poor. Please, shit. I'm yeah. so poor. Well, I can't. I I One thousand dollars, man. Oh, wait, let me hold on. If three thousand dollars. You can do it right now, Eve. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Meal state ideas, come in. Forty-one ten. No, fuck all of them. They strong on me to the bank. You think I'm gonna give them shit? <laughs> yeah, Eve, Eve, so Eve does play men as well. She had like fucking ten. Dude, of the Fiona the Barry was once. behind me. Do you know what? I, I, you know what? If I asked Barry to stab Vito, you think he would have done it? Probably. Probably. I should not say that. I was about to say. I was about to make the comment biggest rug pull of 2024, but I, well, what if they fucking like take this to court? Cool? <laughs> just sent me a, a gif of an, a man getting his ass slapped. <laughs> Who did? What? Joe. Oh shit. Uh, 4410, yeah. Hello, 4410? 41, 41, Four one one zero. Yes. Yeah. All right, and the PF. One one zero eight. Sorry, I'm like so cooked that I'm just like I need to ask like twenty times. Yeah. One eleven oh eight. Yeah, 1108, 1108, 1108, 1108. All right, there you go, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not poor anymore. Hi, Gloria. I'm a thief. Hey, Ma. What's up? What's your guys up to? You guys good? Hey, son. Hey. Good seeing y'all. Mm. We'll catch up you. soon, okay? We'll catch up soon. I have a gift for you soon. Who? For who? Your mom? What do you mean? Oh, he's gone now. Bro, Juno, Should we drive into the sunset? Juno is something else, man. Holy, I can't wait until she meets her maker. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. I mean, Juno's on the table now, right? Like, yeah, you can be. She can be fucking homesick and see how that goes for her. Holy. Do you want to go, Eve? Want to go back to Paris? Nah, I'll just, I'll just get out anyway, honestly. <laughs> go hang out for a little bit. I'm hungry. I, I, I'm not gonna do anything at all. I, I, I just, I, I'm praying that Juno or someone, mostly Juno, does some dumb shit. I'm waiting for Mateo. 
I can't believe... when he knows how to think with his hands. I mean, the guy's the guy's like a he's like one of those Waiting jocks in high school that just goes. I can't believe Ugh. we brought up the issues that is happening, and then Mateo did exactly that, and they all yeah. and they all just said, oh, "That's not the issue at hand here." Yeah, but you didn't speak to Lucia. I don't have any issues with Lucia. If she wanted to talk to me, she could talk to me. Do you know Whoa. what the crazy thing is though? Is like the thing that blows my mind is that nobody at all questioned that Vito was still stepping down. Like that is so mind blowing mm -hmm. to me. You would think, right? If we were such bullshit liars and we were the problem, if we're gone, why wouldn't Vito step back up to the plate? Everybody thinks that like they that they're just glazing over the fact that this is not gonna work again. Yeah. We go to a gas station. What's up? We go to a gas station. Mm. You need food? Yeah. Me too. Because when, when, when Luciano backed down, everyone was pouncing on him about leaving. Right? But when Vito stepped down, everyone's still riding his dick at the fucking Venetian. I don't get it. I don't know. It's because he threw us under the bus in the first meeting, and that's how it was painted, and we weren't mm -hmm. getting out of that. He threw us down, yeah. and I, he... I feel... Eve, I keep telling this to Viona, but I, I feel so good right now. It does feel good. It feels we, so good. We hit the biggest lick. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I think we hit... We really did. We don't even need no bank, you know what I mean? Listen, guys... We hit the first big... We hit the, we hit the first big lick in the city, ever. Listen, guys, if Nino stops waking up, I have his house, so... <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna hit another lick. I'm definitely gonna try and talk to Nino if he's around and work at his mechanic shop for sure. Listen, Paolo, now is the time to become a mechanic, like... Nino needs mechanics, and you make bank from mechanics. Like, he has so much parts really? and no mechanics, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Especially now that people are starting like, to buy cars and you shit. You know, if, if we start, if we, we can just go and run Nino's mechanic shop. Like, we can do that. Yeah, and then just save up our house from there? Yes. I can't be a mechanic, I'm but with, with me, with me supplying materials and like either both of you or one of you just down because i can't work grime or group six you I'm being still like banned. a full-time mechanic it's it's literally it's literally what we need i'm having a talk with nino tomorrow because i don't think he wants to be around all the time i mean to be a mechanic i'm in for it we could we could literally do that i'm like he told me buy as many mechanics as you want we need the shop running yeah, I mean, I'm in, I'm in for it. If he doesn't want to be around all the time, like, I mean, we could fully up run that thing, especially with, um, with people, uh, what do you call it? With people kind of looking, they're like starting to buy a lot of, like, people are starting to buy a lot of cars now, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And mm -hmm. like, it's only a matter of before time before, like, everyone in the city's got their own car. And, you know, they're definitely going to need mechanic shops. And his mechanic shop's in a good spot. Yeah, it's like, so right in the accessible. Middle of town. It's, it's actually great. No, yeah. Nino, I'm having a talk with him tomorrow, but like, I I was thinking about it like yesterday when I saw, like, so he he, he has four benches, Carlo, to produce all of these, like, mechanic parts, basically. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Holy shit. we have four... Wait, he's got four benches? Like, big benches? <laughs> no, he has two, two and two. Oh, yeah, because you can make, you can make them with the small. Yeah. So it's like, I, we have all of these, and then it's like... We have all these parts, but no mechanics. Okay, yeah. I mean, fucking sign me up. I mean, if I'm around tomorrow, feel free to call me. I can meet up with him too, and he could run me through it. Mm -hmm. What's what's the steps in that? You gotta like go sign in at Mosley yeah, still, yeah, or how does it yeah. work? Yeah, you have to you have to become like a junior mechanic and then work up. Okay, so as a junior mechanic, can I only fix certain parts, or how does that work? Uh, I have no idea. You'd do I gotta to... do like the local cars first? I have no idea. You'd have to talk to Nino about how it works. Okay. Yeah, just give me um, a call tomorrow when he's around and I should be around. Mm-hmm. For as, as long as I've known Vito, 
and the, and the dumb shit that he's done in the past years ago uh, I, i'm just i'm 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 just mind blown the fact of him not holding accountability i feel like he's always been someone to do that and that's just no we were we were the easy scapegoats uh, it was just so easy for him and now he wants to and i, yeah. I, I and i asked i plainly you know i plainly I've asked seen, no i've never seen so many people around until today i plainly asked if we are if we are the issue like us three right the only people bring up issues then why then and us leaving then why aren't they still yeah. crying and silence yeah i just i it's Yeah, it's 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 mind blowing. Guys, we are so there, fucking but... up good. We hit the fattest fucking yeah. lick. Holy! I am fucking. We minus a house, but we're still oh. up fucking good. I, I, God, I. It's... Oh. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh God, hold on. Hello. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. Why? What's up? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just. Uh... Is this busy? Uh. Also, I can't believe they just said, stood there and said okay. that the pack are their friends. Uh, no, I'm just curious because I, I I might have some ideas for you uh, down the road shortly if you're interested. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Ow! Sorry, Fiona. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll give you a call in, in the next few days or something. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. I'm gonna start building those connections up. I can't believe they Zed. stood there and said. Zell. I can't believe they just stood there, and said. And they said that. Oh yeah, but they 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 contributed to. They contributed to. Like the the Pack's house. That we're friends with the Pack. And I'm like, no, you're not. Bane and Marty came and talked to me and said, we don't even fucking know Donnie. Oh, no one took account. No one just can take accountability down there. Like. Donnie, he all he did was fucking just deflect and just fucking be like, well, I did this only because of this, because the family. It was only three thousand okay, like, dollars. So did you did you miss when Vito listed like twelve people and, and was like, said, what? It's only yeah. these guys. Who else? Just just who <laughs> I know, else? I was like, Vito, listed like, Vito, like half of like, the family. Look, I was like Vito. How long of a list do you want, man? <laughs> You want us to make a fucking PowerPoint presentation? Fucking like the, the, that part of that conversation was just going nowhere. That's why I tried to steer it away. Because it was just like, okay, and who else? And who else? Like, who fucking cares if the family aren't together anymore? Like, take some fucking accountability for what happened and shut the fuck up. I'll fucking stab us, I guess. Whatever the fuck you want to do, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Why are we here? Just to get away from everything. This place is spooky. Look, I'm not gonna brush over the fact. All right, and I don't care because I love the guy to death. But I'm not gonna brush over the fact, Eve, that your husband stirred. <laughs> <laughs> your husband fucking uh, goddamn stirred. Uh. Hey, Brandon. I mean, Hello, Miss Eve. Hey. How, how are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Are you sure you're all right? It's it's been a long fucking day, Brandon, and I um I have gone from singing karaoke to just almost thought. Oh, I, so you're drunk? Oh, no, almost thinking I was about to die. So. Um, oh. All right. Well, um, this probably should be your emotional roller coaster very much. Do you have any parts? <laughs> Holy shit, I wish you asked me like 10 minutes ago when I was in the city. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not a rush right now, but... Oh, I'm so You know, if, if you get freed up or whatever and you have the access to them, I could probably use some. Oh my it's been God. pretty busy. Um, yeah, give me like a bit, okay? 
All right. I'll uh, I'll Help. send you a text um, of what I need. Yes, yes, I mean. All right, all right. All right okay. It's gonna be kind of like oddball right, stuff because right. I have like more parts and certain good. things. And you're good, you're good. all right, mm -hmm. all right. I appreciate you. All right, bye, Brandon. All right, bye. Damn straight. See, Brandon already <laughs> needs I, I, parts. I, I, I told you, I told you, I can invest better than Donnie. You guys just had to believe me, man. I got double my investment back. <laughs> yeah, well, if you would have said that back then, I would never have believed that this is how the investment would have paid off. And we're gonna buy a house, the Italians. We're gonna sell it. And we're gonna Luciano make did stir so hard though. He he knew to to to, to he knew Bro. to bring up the Juno fact, so we would bring it up because he knows that's a soft he knows spot for Vito. it triggers him. Yeah. God damn it, Luciano! You fucking fucking smart bastard. I just uh. <sighs> it's my husband. Yeah, it's my best friend. You know, I, I texted him I'm free and I called him and he was in shock. And then I told him that I'm busy and he said he has to make another phone call. And and then I asked him later and he he talked to Vito already. Yeah. Hell. That was something there. That was something. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm keeping all the weed plants, by the way. I lied and said uh, I got rid of them, but uh, I kept all the fucking weed plants in Bucky's house. Give him the racks back, though, because I, I have decks. I can hit up decks if I need racks myself, but. We I'll find new growers, guys. though. I'll find new growers. We got this. I don't mean to be, uh... I don't need to... I don't mean to sound more like the villain here. But, uh, there's a reason that I've been doing everything. <laughs> and I hope that they learned a lesson that they need to have assets in their name. <laughs> because, like... <laughs> I mean, by all means, this was never my plan. But in case... This was definitely my fallback option in case this were to ever go south. Me doing everything, I, I don't lose much. I got all my crypto. I got all my parts, the computer. I got all my rep with weed. I have money. Money now? Oh god, am I that person? I'm that person. <laughs> I don't have contingency plans. Con this, we have contingencies. We have friends and we have connections. We can literally go and yeah. run a mechanic shop and make money. We have Bane in the pack who literally saved our asses today and they want to start a, a weed op and they don't have the people for it. I'm looking at at a people right now. I have, I'm looking at people right now. They don't have, they have crypto going right now, Carlo. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure that we can just add on to that with a conversation. Yeah. I'll figure it out, though. We got time. Yeah. I mean, hundred percent. Like it's, I, I, it does hurt a little, but majority of my emotion right now is um, just uh, a positive one. I, you know, went to bed last night, and I thought to myself. This is what I want to wake up to tomorrow. Is what I want to end my day with is three of us. Yeah. I manifested this. this. You did? Luciano did too, I think. Probably. He's been trying to poach me for a long time. I'm just going to say that. 
Luciano. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. I feel like that's a given. I, I probably could have guessed yeah. that. But at the end of the day, I... Should have just sent the 300k the other day and... <laughs> No, not you shouldn't have sent it to him. Holy shit! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> At the end of the day, um, I have made him like understand that as much as I love playing, I loved working with him. I just could not see myself working for people again and answering to people again. Opportunities yeah. I have right now was just people who came to me like Nino and treated me like an equal from the get-go and I didn't even have to ask for it. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried. Uh, and I'm fully on board for this mechanic shop thing. Obviously, like, it's been a long time. It's been a long fucking time uh since i worked like under nino but i know what you know he's capable of and Lang, you gotta stay? I, don't... <laughs> I don't even know god damn it this is where i lose her to lang <laughs> uh, i can hate her i can hate you so much <laughs> Yeah, I never, I never really got to know Nino that much, right? Because um, there was a lot of hi a hierarchy. I worked under like Miles. I don't know if you ever remember Miles. Mm -hmm. I poured coffee on his dead body. Yeah, all Jesus he did was Christ. drink fucking coffee, man. That guy had a coffee in his hand like fucking every second of the day. Yeah. But yeah, funny enough, like Miles and them got, got me out of my last situation. Like they were the ones who helped me get out of that shit. Last Italian collapse. <laughs> oh my god, how many Italian collapses have there been? Uh, it's, no, I, I mean, I left that one, yeah. But, um... But yeah, so, I, I'm fully on board, board, board for that uh, mechanic shop shit. And then obviously, you know, I'll keep doing... I'll keep doing the other stuff. Like the, the weed shit. Yeah, I think... This is just the start, guys. We just have to... We just... We just pulled the rug, and... It's gonna be... It's gonna be nasty for a bit, and at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I, I... I was made the villain so many times, none of that shit fazed me. I do not give a fuck. I really don't. People... You know, Vita called me a coward? He, he called me after, I think, he talked to you, Carlo. He just called me. I have no balls on the he phone. He called me, and then he literally said, "He literally said, yeah, you done being a coward, Eve.'" And I'm like, "How am I the coward when you threw us under the bus?" Yeah, mm -hmm. it was all going well until he made the comments like, "If you want the, to know why, ask Carlo and Eve." I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Well. I mean, surely the the people down there maybe they'll start to think for themselves or something. I don't know. I doubt or maybe it. not. I doubt, I doubt it. it. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is too is like like you said uh, we already said before but mateo literally proved our point <laughs> like he, he proved the point like uh like i just was saying he's glad he stabbed me and then brought up like all this stuff with fiona and stuff like out of nowhere are we still playing football like, still underlying issues that were not being brought up mm-hmm Uh, oh, I mean, fucking maybe, you know, honestly, too, maybe I'll give a uh, fucking when what's his name gets back from his trip. Give uh, fucking Mickey a call. <sighs> he wanted help with some stuff. There's a lot of opportunities for us, and it's not in this dead family. Sorry. 
Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Flash as well. Flash, I'm sure, will help us out with shit. Oh, he'd be great for the weed stuff. You want to start? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we just um, focus on our connections, focus on us, and then just everything else will come in line after all the you know the work we do. I can't look so. Right before you guys walked up to all of that, Lorenzo asked me how long have we been planning this. Yes, <laughs> he, he called me that when I was driving I, with Fiona. What has Vito been telling them mm -hmm. to like... Oh. <laughs> to like tell us that we've been like maniacally like sitting here and rubbing our hands together and just planning the downfall of them. Like, I do not understand that. I, I, he's uh, PRing, you know, he's uh, <laughs> minimizing the damages to himself and putting as much on everyone else, you know? Yeah, it's the, I mean, the PR tactic. Lorenzo called, called me and said the same thing. <laughs> he's like, How long have you been planning this, Carlo? <laughs> what? Like, Bro. planning what? Do you think I you think I wanted this? If I wanted this, I wouldn't have sat here uh, fucking directing. Uh, the you know putting forward so much fucking effort for everything like god i would have just fucking walked away when i had the chance that's what i wanted oh it's crazy yeah look i mean sheep will be sheep you know what i mean it's nothing you can do about it Maybe we should have said we've been planning this since day one, you know, just to like seem like masterminds. Maybe, yeah, we should have <laughs> just taken all the credit for it. Yeah, that would have made us look pretty cool, to be honest. The start. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I should have done? Be like, Danny, you were right. You should have never sent me that fucking money. Guys, my... my Only if all of you thought like Danny did. My fucking overmeter when Barry was behind me in the bank and Vito was standing next to me waiting for the money was like ticking over to the evil side of me just whispering, Barry, stab this guy. <laughs> but then I remembered he's Luciano's brother and I can't do that. Yeah, mm. God, Thanksgiving dinner is going to be awkward, huh? After five years, Luciano, I mean, Vito at least found me funny, but then he called me a child in two, like in he two times. He called you that. that was no, he, little, he yeah. called me. He called me a child again, in the phone call when he Vito, called me a coward. Yeah, like did. I do not get that. Vito loves kind of. The guy can talk. Yeah, I, I can say like the guy knows how to talk with his words. Like he loves. He knows how to spin things really well. Like he's he's a, he's a waffler, but he's like a good waffler. And I've got to know that after knowing him for so long. But he um, he loves throwing subtle remarks at people. You know, he kept. <laughs> We set up marks at Lottie for like no reason earlier. Dude, I was like still a, not like a, <laughs> a bug loving, backpack wearing, rainbow skipping. Dude, he was hitting bars and I was like, what the fuck did Lottie do to him? <laughs> I know. Well, again, it go I think it goes it's back to the Juno, Juno thing. It's Juno. It's just Juno. God. Dude, sure, Lottie but, will help yeah. us out with stuff too. Oh my god! And the fact is, I don't know if you, you guys don't realize that how of a valuable of an asset Lottie is. You, mm -hmm. Fiona, you, you know Leslie Lingberg. You remember him? Lottie mm -hmm. has Lottie has that same ability to analyze and read and observe people. She really does. Stay quiet. And then after a conversation, she will come to you and she will literally stand here and tell you whatever they were saying was bullshit or real. And I never correct Vito once because he did not deserve any of Lottie's attention at the end of the day. Yeah. And there's I mean... way there's way more things. There's way more things about Lottie that nobody knows. And all she was yeah. depicted oh, was a child. I know things. 
yeah you do follow and he but literally said no loss no loss to Lottie and Vito knew these things too It's honestly kind of a good thing he said that because I mean she was completely fucking right and I'm glad she got herself out of there. She basically said yeah. I gave he said she said that you know he gave us two weeks to prove ourselves but I gave him two weeks to see if he could be, the, be a leader and he could not. I'll talk yeah. no action. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be honest too like I'm just waiting for them to do some shit because I, I know they're itching at it. Like it's 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 especially people like Mateo. All they think with mm. is like knives and and, mm -hmm. and fists. Mm -hmm. like I'm just waiting because I would just love to just tank every single one of their jobs and reputation. <laughs> and, and 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 oh god, you know it's gonna do it to herself because she always does that. At the end of the day, she's only in office for three months. I'm already yeah. in the DOJ permanently. I'm just I play my cards right. What? I'm a county clerk. I'm already that permanently. It's permanent? Yeah, she's only that. She's three only months, there right? for three months. Yeah. Until she does some dumb shit and I get her fired. She's also right hand to somebody me and Fiona know oh, personally. She, here's, here's the thing. If anyone knows how to push Juno's True. buttons, it's me, okay? So I'm just telling you, if I see if I see Juno in public, I'm pushing those goddamn buttons because if I can get it across the line. She's losing that goddamn job. <laughs> She's got to push the right buttons. Look, if, if, I'm just saying, like, I mean, if Juno gets a phone call tomorrow with war sounds in her ear, you know, I don't know who it was. <laughs> you? <laughs> just let her move up to Lola Sanguine and Polito and let Jaeger after her. <laughs> Imagine. If anybody want to fuck with us, guys, we literally have it unlocked. Yeah. That's the thing, like, at the end of the day, right? Like, knives and fucking fists can only go so far. Things that will continue to run this world are money and politics. So, uh, you know, I mean, if they want to just waste their time and resources, on trying to find me every day and put a knife in me. I mean, fucking by all means. Rent free, baby. Rent free. I do want to stab Mateo. Definitely rent free. Oh my god. I should just twat out rent free. Oh no, you guys don't know what I used to do. I used to twat out my ears are burning like constantly back in the day because I just knew every 30 minutes somebody would be talking about me just because. I was just so rent free. I'm just gonna do it right now. Hold on. I'm just gonna say ears are burning. That's just it. That's it. That's just, that's just it. And then that's just it. I love it. I just, I just, I just don't care. And other people are more bothered by it than I am, and that's the beautiful thing about. The, the, the thing that bothered me the most about that conversation with Vito, right, is when we were talking, like, alone, hey, it's like, we asked him, like, we bring up all these issues, and oh. then he he act, acts like he recognizes them, and then we ask him, yeah. okay, what is the solution? And then he just glazes over them, like, I he didn't know about them, and he's not going to do anything about it anyway. Yeah. And that was never going to change at the end of the day. If you know, we don't have to go to football games anymore. But, Carlo, that was... I, I love your football league idea. 
Yeah. I mean, I, could, I might be able to still do it in the future. Oh, good. I enjoyed the outfit. It's been a good day. True. Two K Discord members, hell yeah. Anonymous, thank you for gifting ten gifties. I don't ever want to be part of a group or a gang again. Kind of over it. It's always the same issues. <laughs> Not wrong. Mm. Thinking back on it, a lot of things fall apart purely because of lack of communication and just high school bullshit. Mm -hmm. Can't wait until I tell Lottie all of this. She's gonna, she's gonna be so happy. Yeah, I mean it's. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy how how many people come out of the woodworks too when no one's around for the last fucking yeah, hour. Yeah, when that's like an actual issue, and then all of a sudden, like all drop, of a sudden, like, everyone's yeah. down at the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's funny that Vito, like, they just, they're all so supportive of Vito, when Vito is the one, he's the leader who's leaving them. I, I just... What's funny, too, is when Tiny was like, all right, who's got, who's got invites elsewhere? No one said anything. Vito didn't say shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I said no. I just none of their goddamn business, to be honest. True. <laughs> and that too as well. But... That's why I didn't say shit. Like I don't have any fucking I offers or whatever the fuck they think I have. But... Why is that even okay. like relevant either? I don't know. I don't know. They probably <gasps> think we Papa! already have some shit lined up, and that's why we decided to sabotage, right? Uh, that's not even what happened. Again, that's just them being narrow-minded. Rods, thank you for the tier one. Oh my god, we have a golden kappa train. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, cool. can I twat this out? Hold on. I'm surprised we're not dead, to be honest. I was, guys, when, uh, when he good. said, yeah, when Mateo said, when Mateo said, Luca and DeVito go to the bank mm -hmm. with Vito, can I... I definitely thought I was getting ocean. Can I, can I twat that, that out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I talk that out? Yeah, sure. Hey, Walker. Hey, Eve. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. Um, did Nino get a chance to talk to you? But I don't need to put like the little text on it tomorrow. No. Okay. okay. Um, I'll let you talk to him first. We were uh, him and I were just talking. 
because uh, I'm, uh, I don't know if he so told you or not, but, like, I'm on the panel, yeah. but we haven't water. been able to meet up to, like, to get a key cut. Right okay. So he's like, well, well he's like, well, sad. maybe try and get a hold of Eve or Donnie, you know, when they're awake. And, uh, I didn't know you, I just talked to Brandon a little bit ago, and he said you were awake. I was like, shit, well, I'll call Eve and see. I don't know, But, um, I know it's kind of last minute before, uh, Storm. So maybe if you're around after Storm or... Tomorrow or whatever. Yeah, I he told me later in the evening. So yeah, after storm, I'm around because I want to get the shop up and running. I want to get it operational when Nino's not around. Let me, um... That's right, right, I've right. been noticing. I know Brandon needs to pass right now, but I'm up north, so it's like, um, are you I'm gonna, gonna be around after wanted. storm? Absolutely, yeah. And I talked to Brandon too. I said, um, because he called me after uh, he talked to you, and I told him I was like, I will, I can get you what you need if you let me know what you need. If you need him now, he said he's good for right Might now, but to be a he'll definitely so need him for storm. I said, great. And dying. um, we, I'm glad you brought it up. Hold on, let me clock out real quick, so I'm not having this conversation. Just What's stand up? out in the public. I'm gonna have to train to be a um, doctor in EMS just so you don't. Yeah, die. I told him I said the same, basically the same right, thing you're saying. Okay. I was like, look, bro, I, you know, so some you nights, know, I did, I did, some nights it's really fucking slow. Want to talk to Joe? And uh. So like as long as one of us has got a yellow page ad up and we're clocked in and we're available, like if you if you get kind of brain numb from just sitting there and you're not making any money, then let me know and we'll trade out and just make sure somebody's working it. Because I know that's something we needed to have a sit down with Nino about anyways. Yeah, yeah he's, you know we're doing he, it for he, the yeah, love of the he, sport. Yeah, he basically told me today. Um, he basically told me today hire whoever you need to hire, and um, I basically said. I basically said, yeah, I want to talk to you about that tomorrow. I want to get the people who are, you know, on the panel, whoever. We we need to get this up, up and running because I can provide as much materials as we need. And um, I uh, think we, we need to get this up and running because I have people who want to also be around and I, I have people who are willing to as well. Got you. Got, well, yeah, I, like I said, I'm... If um, if you want to wait till tomorrow, we can do that. If you want to wait till after storm, um, we can do that. I'd yeah, love I mean, to sit down and talk. Cause... Yeah, I, I don't think I can do a talk after storm, but I can help you like cut a key real quick as well. As well. Go, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, uh, we'll plan for that, and then um, yeah, I think it'd be good to have a sit down chat so that way everybody's on the same page and knows uh, kind of what we see and what we go through. Mm -hmm. Sweet, well, awesome. Eve. I appreciate you. All right, bye, bye. Goodbye. How are we supposed to do it? It's a storm. Does Joe want to talk to you? It's long. Um. No, I, I mean I reached out to Joe. Oh, I was about to say, do not go to a talk right now. No, I'm not. I'm not. Alone I'm not going right now. I'm not. Because honestly, it's just. <laughs> I, I don't want anybody to get stabbed and it should right now. Uh, I even, guys, no, I put away no. my phone because I was like, I'm not losing my phone to these bozos. Like, I'm not losing my contacts to these Eve, bozos. Eve, I'm not going to lie. When we left the Venetian, I was going to grab the key out of my pocket and toss it to him and say, here's the key. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God, I'm just going to keep the key. For, guys, we, for we, guys <laughs> we got our karma by not getting half the money back. But at the end of the day, that's the only karma we got served, and that's but At the end of the day, it. we got our money back. Yeah, we did. <laughs> like, our personal money we got back. But like... Uh, Coco, thank you so much. Oxide, thank you so much. Curry, Yellow Wolf, thank you guys. Yasmina, thank you for the two months. No. I'm tired of what Eve, what Juno told me. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I met the creepiest old lady today, guys, as I was running around the scrapyard. In the scrapyard, I was like looking for the furniture guy, and I thought he would be in there. And I, shit you not, I was walking in the old rust, like, like, base inside. And there was just mm -hmm. an old lady there, and I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Okay, no faint. Thank you so much. Thank you for the golden capas, guys. Oh, Lordy called me. Shit. Ah, uh, Lord. Hey, Lordy. I'm breaking Hello. news tour. <laughs> How are you? We are free, Hi. Lordy. We Hi, can't, Gigi. We can't really, uh, you know, we can't <gasps> really do that thing to today. Don't talk to Gigi right now. She's gonna be really mad. Oh. Um, I, I'm okay. I just wake up. Um, it is good to see you. Yes, yeah, very light. I don't stay up long. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hold on one second, okay? Oh my uh, god. Uh, I, I, I have to... Do not, okay, do not okay, hang okay. up. Do not hang up on me. Do not hang up on me, Lordy. Um, no, no, I'm Fiona, we can't really... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. can't really uh, what, do that thing we were going to do because we just don't have time. Why would she be upset with me? Was it our GG? Yeah. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. I, ha I have everything something? ready. I, I just. Done anything. I need, what like, have I done? What have I done? She didn't do anything. Do I said she's going to be mad at me, Fifi, and Carlo. Oh. It's going to take you like an hour, maybe, or less. I don't know. Oh, okay. What do you do? Well, yes, it'll take us an hour. We pulled the rug. Car. Oh, okay. What? Huh? The family, what is, rock? The family is no more, Lori. What? Yeah, and me, Carlo, and Fiona are being being thrown under the bus by Vito. What? Yeah. It's, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, first of all, first of all, if the family is no more... Isn't that Vito's fault? Yes. Okay. Uh, what, so, so, why are you being thrown under the bus? Because we all told him about all of the issues and grievances, and we all agreed that we are gonna, you know, cut loose fat and just be nothing moving forward and do our own thing. And then when confronted about it, um, he threw me and Carlo under the bus. Okay. He used us as scapegoats. Okay, well, um, I got to be honest. Anyone who thinks it is you two fault, mm -hmm. don't have I. Yes, they they don't. So if 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 they believe that, you know, it probably good thing they they don't want to work with you. It's kind of solve your own problem, right? Yeah. I mean, it no, was so it was I, it was a shit show. He, it 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 was crazy. I can probably talk to you more in depth tomorrow because a lot happened today, and I am so fucking cooked. But moral of the story yes. is, is that we're out. We're good. We okay. sold the house. And oh, do I get my money back? Do I, I will, get my money back, please? I will. I will send you your money back because you know what they made <laughs> us do. We got we got half of the money back, and then oh. they they strong armed me to the bank and i only sent them 50k wait what wait who is that who is that all of them all of them who is them all of them it was vito juno mateo lorenzo all of a sudden all of them are awake by the way mm. oh okay okay so family isn't over it is just them Honestly, no probably no better. vito is leaving but... too Vito, but Vito they, live too? But what, they do why? not question that. But what, why? No, Vito, why was, Vito, Vito... Was, Vito was stepping down with all of us. But they do not, question, they do not question that <laughs> at all. But they still put it, or put, blame the finger, point the finger at us and blame us. Okay, well, first of all, okay, that makes sense because they haven't been awake, you finger. know? Yeah, uh, whether it is the, their fault or not, you know, um, for being awake, uh, that makes sense if, like, I, I, I just, okay, hold on, hold on, first of all, Vito leave family? Hold on, hold on, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, Vito leave family? Who? 
But he's blaming other people. Yeah, he was blaming me and Carlo. Okay, why? Because he stood what do there. You and Carlo we, have to we, do with we, we told him all of the issues, all of the concerns of all of the people, of everything that was being brought up. And then we all agreed at that moment. Joe was there too. We agreed that at that moment that this was not going to work anymore. And when we were going to stand in front of those people, and when they started asking questions, Vito was like, "Yeah, I don't know about any of this. Um, it was just, <gasps> it was just brought upon me. If, if you want to, if you want to know anything about it, um, talk to talk to Eve and Carlo, and he just oh. threw us under the bus. Yeah. Vito. Yeah. Okay. What about all the problems I've been bringing to him ever since I saw him? He, Lodi, he called you a bug loving, backpack wearing, hop skipping." I don't know what he was spitting bars and he basically said he just said you left your problems don't matter i mean that's true to be fair no it doesn't he is only... you're, no, you're, no. it does it doesn't because when i brought up the issues with juno when i brought up the issues with juno he got so the fucking defensive he called me a child in a woman's body he immediately oh. insulted me as a person when i just called out his bias towards juno Okay, well, look, it, part of the reason I left is because he is too stupid to see my own value, right? I know that. So, him saying that does not offend me, I am offended that he called you child a woman body. He called me a child twice today, and he called me... Oh, is that related to Papa Shizzy? I have no idea. Okay, okay. It is alleged. I don't have much of a filter now, I, you know, I know that... I've been awake and in the city dealing with this bullshit for over 13 hours, and... It's been non-stop. Okay, I have a question for yeah. you. You know, do you think we can convince him to kill Juno? Um, Vito? No. I have an idea about... No, 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 no. I think that... Oh my god, Juno went so hard in front of me. She acted like the biggest, biggest, like, queen on her throne in town in front of, like, these ten people who will not even care if she ever got hurt. And she was, sure, she was yelling at me and saying I was emotional when I was just standing there, coming to face them because Vito was too much of a coward to tell them how it was. And I came to fix whatever problem that Vito was, you know, trying to run away from and throwing me under the bus. And I just stood there and I just let them yell at me. And you know what? If any of them, I, I was so sure that I was going to get stabbed and ocean dumped there, Lottie, by... Because Matteo was dragging people left and right. He was he wanted to send Luca and Davido. Okay, but he has he has not been around to know any of this. No, they don't, but they just took whatever Vito was saying at face value. And then when they asked me questions, I brought up all of these issues and they were like, Yeah, these issues aren't issues. And then as soon as we were like gonna leave, Matteo was like, Yeah, Carlo, I should have fucking stabbed you back then. And he <gasps> brought up he brought up all of these issues. And I was like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. People cannot get rid of these issues. And then when we brought that up, they were like, yeah, but that's not the point. And I was like, this this family is never going to survive. Okay, well, I think first of all, uh, do you remember me saying that I told Vito that I need to see you as a good leader? Mm -hmm. I think that he has shown whether he is or not. In he... the most... <laughs> yes, I, I, I don't understand how... He is related to Papa Shizzy. I've seen. Okay, I'm not. I'm not here to talk bad about that, but that is incredible to me. Incredible. If he is leaving too. He, but nobody is. How does that Nobody work? is brush. Like I told, we were telling them. We were telling this group of people there is no family, and they stood there and they were still saying, like they were like, but why couldn't you have traded the house with us? Like we could have great, like continued our operations in there. But I was like. Vito, didn't we just tell them there is no more operations? This is over. And Vito just stood there and just stayed silent. Wow! <gasps> Vito! Wow! Yeah. Okay, well, you know... Uh, I guess they do deserve each other, huh? That's... I do, I do think it would be a good, uh, you know... You, uh, we talk about it later, depending on what happened moving forward. You know, if he tried to come after you at all, um, uh, or if Juno come after you, or anyone else in family, 
uh, you know, we should probably, you, me, and Luciano have little talk about this because we cannot personally hurt Vito, all right? Mm -mm. Okay, no, sorry, uh, this is late. I'm not saying any of this. <laughs> don't count this as anything I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that I have ideas. I don't think, um, I, I, I basically, I don't think Vito would hurt us because I stood in okay, the bank. You know. I basically said, hey, I only sent you 50k. I'm not sending you more. You can stab me and throw me, me in the ocean, but that's all you get. And he said, why would I do that? Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, but the thing is, is that uh, Aurora sneezed on Juno five years ago and she <laughs> wanted to kill her. So I just feel like uh, <laughs> Juno might be a problem. Uh, but oh. if we get... But anyway, we, oh, we talk about that later. Juno called me uh, a bitch and a dumbass. And oh my God, yeah, she, she probably mm. has it out for me. What is this on the ground? You know, oh. I really like dark. You ever thought about living here? Yeah. Uh, I don't worry. Ooh, a plank! Do you need 15 plank of wood? I found for plank. It is heavy, okay, I don't Lottie, care. we have um, a lot what? of people and a lot of resources at our disposal. And people think we do not have that, but... At the end of the day, I hope people realize Bless that... You. Thank you. At the end of the day... You know, there's a reason the house was in my name for this exact moment. Now I'm so proud of you for going to Nino and uh, already exactly. setting things up. We and I'm proud Nino. of myself for also setting things up, yes. uh, you know, it's exactly, uh, getting things going. It's exactly uh, for these reasons. So that we don't have to fall back on people who have been waiting for us to hold their hands. Yes, okay, you know what? A uh, good thing it doesn't hold you back anymore. Uh, we do, yes, we need to talk a lot about moving forward. Um, because, you know, if I can include you in some of these things, and uh, I have, I've been uh, having ideas. Who, if, if you are saying that we have resources at disposal, right? Um, and Carlo and Fifi live, right? Mm -hmm. I do respect Carlo and Fifi quite a bit. I think they have good head on shoulder and also are very good at making... I wouldn't have been able to do this without them today. Oh, good. I like mm -hmm. them. Okay. And then okay. Ba the Bane and especially the if they see. Oh yes, Bane. Bane is good. Good egg too. Oh. <laughs> you know. Uh, I still don't want people to know that I'm anything other than what Vito say. Like mm -hmm. to I me, know. Vito saying that is a really good thing. Vito know. know way too much about me, and if he still somehow forget all of that, oh thank goodness because. Uh, you know, uh, as if he see me as bug, uh, skipping well, whatever he say, to me that is a win <laughs> in my book. So, uh, <laughs> if uh, what about where? Okay, Joe isn't around that much. Joe uh, was tiny... around, but he called us all rats. <laughs> Why? What? Because of how Vito was spinning things. Oh, he called us. He called you all rats. He called so us rats. He believed yeah. Vito. Yeah. Wait, what? Why? Because if he was there at the talk, he was. He was decided... at the talk, and we all decided together that this was the the decision. And then they all trickled back and said, "Well, you know, now we're talking with everybody and who has these feelings. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done it because we listened to these rats." What? Yeah. Ja! Yeah. Ja! Yeah. Okay. Well, then why don't they? Just not to listen and continue with family if they want to that's, do that's that. Right. They I want to them. deal with all that. I basically said, well, if the rats are leaving, why don't you just continue the family? And Yes, I, it should make them I stronger looked, in their eyes. I, I looked at Vito and there was fucking silence, Lottie. Okay. Okay. What? And that that no, really surprised me about this job. Nobody questioned it. Okay, look, if, if, if they were upset, I, I don't understand why Vito and Joe leave then. Why don't they just continue family without you? Good question. Maybe ask the rest of them that. Yes. Also, I would be mad if I was still in family and Vito and then called you all right and then still left. Hmm? I would be like, what about me? Hmm? It's just because we were the one actually voicing our opinions and issues that they've been having. Okay, but also Joe with that you okay you know it's this is this is very confusing i feel like i'm missing a lot of context probably it isn't really my business because uh to be honest i don't give terribly much of a shit about what they like the other family do 
as long as you whatever you do is successful. Um, I left because it was a shit show. And, and if you leave because it is shit show too, regardless of whether shit show still exists or pop and flame, I don't really care. So okay, cool deal. Hmm. Yeah, yes, let's meet tomorrow and talk about the plan. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. I have a lot of Sound folks good. to have. The only thing that I'm that I'm questioning is that I told Luciano that I'm free and then he had to talk with Vito right after that, and then he talked to me again. <gasps> and oh no, he tried to he tried to okay. And then I talked to him right after that, and I and he told me that yeah, but I don't know all the concerns you guys have. And I told him that me, Carlo, and Fiona literally met up with Luciano yesterday, and we aired out all of our concerns. And now uh, now like Luciano told me he didn't know what all of our concerns were, and I and what? I don't I don't understand that. Then I'm. Uh, Okay, I tell you something. Uh, Vito has Luciano way with word, yes? But it's not the common sense. And a lot of the time, that makes it so that when he talks, uh, he can still uh, make people follow his word, but uh, it doesn't need to have logic behind it, right? Mm. So maybe something like this has happened. Um, and also, Luciano love him so much. Yeah, they definitely if... are each other's blind spots. Yes, um, we talk, uh, but the thing is, is that even I talk to Luciano about issue. I don't know, maybe, maybe it is one of those things of like, uh, and also Vito gets so emotional, right? He is probably very emotional oh. right now, and if he go crying oh. to brother, you know, I would feel bad as Luciano too, and be like, oh no. That is probably what is going on, you know? Mm. And I think, um, oh, but the thing is, I wonder, I wonder if, hmm, no, nothing, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, we, we talk, as long as uh, Vito doesn't try to turn him against you, you know, it doesn't matter. No, that won't happen. Yes, it better not, uh, like I say, um, Anything or any person who gets between the three of us, I don't care who it is, they will be a problem to me. And uh, as long as that doesn't happen, I don't, I, I don't give a shit. Yeah, we'll deal with them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I'm excited for future then. Me too. I feel, um, I feel free. Oh, uh, yes, and um, also, I I feel quite... Um, well, everything that I saw and thought would happen, happens. It was kind writing of... on the wall. Yes, um, and I don't know why Vito don't... He took, zero, me when I... <laughs> he took zero accountability, Lottie. You just have those well, people yes. who will take accountability, and then you have people who just do not take that accountability. Just how it is. Uh, that is that is why I left. When I when I speak to him about problem and he he don't take accountability or see problem, then that was like okay. Do you, do you know what so. happened yesterday with with when I called him and I asked him why didn't he tell me about Tessa? Do you know what he said? He said he needed yeah, to he, speak to Jano. That kind of stuff. Yeah, yes, and when yes, I, yes, I, yes. I asked him about it today, what he meant by it. He basically said that it was a completely different circumstance. He basically said he did not care for you at all. And that that is why he could come and announce it. But he had to talk to Juno first to see if he could rectify the situation. Um, with Tessa. Oh, because he valued Tessa. Okay, I no, because he cared about Juno's feelings. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then, I, and then, I... and then he said me bringing that up, like, was unnecessary. And then we circled back to it. And when I said that I don't care about it, I just wanted Joel. And then God, he got so defensive. And that's when he called me a child in a woman's body. Oh, uh, you know. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you know, good riddance. Uh, good on you for leaving. I'm glad you don't have to deal with that bullshit anymore. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yes. 
Uh, I honestly, um, like I say, uh, I'm glad he does not care that I leave. Uh, because it means I'm guessing that maybe uh, I'm just... When, when we first get back to your city, right? Mm -hmm. After a while, we talk, Vito and I, for a bit. And he wants to work with me, right? He wants to work with me for goal. And I'm upset that I trusted him any bit mm. to even let in on those sorts of things. You know? He already knew what I did because he had to, because back in the day. But uh, he was giving all this talk about how he and I would work together. Uh, you know, I have big ambition and, you know... Um, we talk about we, we talk about things thorough. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know what's changed between then and now. Uh, but I am upset that uh, I was lulled into sweet talking because I remember hey, sorry we're late. listening to his word and I was get gut feeling Fuck. that uh, I shouldn't trust him, but also he is sorry, we're late, he's Luciano brother. He's a Luciano brother, and if... Yeah, and that trust should uh, Who the fuck are those people? No, but... Uh, that scared the I don't fuck out of me. I think he has grown terribly much from uh, the issues we see... I don't know, a while ago, and... Mmm... Mmm... Eh... You know... I wish... He wasn't related to Luciano, so we could just kill him. Maybe I shouldn't say that over phone. That's okay, no please listen to me. The government isn't even set in stone. Oh, apparently me and Luciano have to get married again. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I have to pay I already thought care. you all... Ugh. Yeah. Eh... Uh... Oh, man. Jim getting involved in government. Uh, it's okay, it's only three months, Lottie, then she has nothing else after that. Oh, I didn't realize it was only three months. It's only three okay. months. Um, no, so, I think she will make enough people mad that, you know, maybe we don't have to worry about... Okay, anyway, sorry, I'm uh, really tired. That's me too. Uh, That's okay. Yes, um... Uh, I feel like a lot of things that I normally think and I, I filter and don't tell anyone is kind of coming out right now. Uh, okay. okay. I'll Good see you tomorrow, okay? I appreciate you. Okay. I love you too. Right. Okay, do you talk to... you? you I, 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 should I call Papa Shizzy? Is he awake? No, he's not awake. He went to sleep. Okay. Oh, you know it? Okay. Is it? Is it a... Uh, are storm clouds coming in? Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. I mean, I, okay. I have... Okay. God damn it. <sighs> what a fucking day, chat. Holy. What a fucking day, chat. Mm. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was a crazy fucking day. That was a crazy fucking day. That was a crazy fucking day. That was a crazy, crazy day. I wanted to tell her that I, I need to talk to him first, right? Like, at the end of the day. Uh, I need a login to give Walker like a copy of Nino's key. Um, <laughs> the Lang raised Eve well. I hope I hope they're proud of me for that W move and not taking bullshit from them. Because at the end of the day, like. I do- I'm not phased by anything that happened there. Like, I'm- I was- I was really not phased, like, at anything that happened there. Like... 
I'm just happy it happened. I'm just happy it happened. No, looking back. I like starting early today. It felt so refreshing, you know? Um, we have a talk with um, Bane tomorrow. We have a talk with... Um... We have a talk with Bane tomorrow. We have a talk with Luciano probably tomorrow. I want to have an actual one on one with um, Fiona and Nino. And then we just move on, right? Yeah. God, Penny is going to love this tea. I can now spill all the tea to Penny. I can't wait. I can like spill all the tea to Penny. You streaming tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow's Sunday. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go raid Harry. Because Harry always stays on after Storm. I don't know about all the other people, so let's go raid Harry. Um... I just have to get on for a little bit though to trade in this tea. Um, then I have to get off. Like, I'm so hungry. And um, then I'll maybe be back tomorrow. Join the Discord. We just had 2k in the Discord, which is pretty huge for us. And um, yeah. Discord is amazing and um, yeah, appreciate you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Go say hi to Harry. OG. Love you guys. Bye.